Wow, I really wanted to play some GameCube, but like the N64 was plugged in, and I was just like, eh, I really need to uh, to finish some Diddy, finish Diddy Kong Racing. Ugh. I finished a little bit of um, I played through a little bit of uh, Mario Kart Double Dash last night. Um, I did the All Cup Tour and I failed. I really should have done it the first time because it really wasn't that hard, but uh, I got fucked over on a couple of tracks like really, really badly. <laughs> And like I wasn't able to pull through. Like I, 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 I had a lead for most of it, but then towards the end, I just sort of petered out. Uh, all right. Let's see, where was I going? Yeah, yeah. Um, I guess we might as well beat the octopus first, and then head to the dragon forest. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's um, I think it's official. I, I probably will be making a video about this, but I don't think I care about I care for Mario Kart Double Dash all that much. I think it's uh, a rather weak entry in the series. Uh, I think I prefer 64 over it. I think I prefer, like, uh, DS, or 7 and 8 over it. Um, which is really, really surprising to me, because I was expecting Double Dash to be, like, one of my favorite games in the series, but no. Um, at this point, like, I, I firmly believe that the, uh, the people who, uh, promote Double Dash as being, like, a highlight are people who grew up with it, um, who are admittedly, like, kind of dying down in recent years, but, um... It's really difficult to keep track of, like, just what's actually good and what isn't. It's it's kind of weird. Um, yeah, so, like, somebody asked me for, like, a review of, like, the Game Awards 2020, and I was just like, I, I, I can't do that. Like, maybe I could... Um, I really should be recording videos in general. I, I've been... I was exhausted when I went to bed last night. Because, like, I stayed up... I got up early to do the Game Awards. I, um... I did that. did a live reaction to it. Uh, stayed up all night. And then went to bed around, like, 7 in the morning. 8 in the morning. And then, like, apparently I was out for, like, 12 hours. Because I just got up. Um... No idea how I got so tired. Like, it was that bad. Like, it was, it was awful. They, like, I spent the rest of the night, like, watching movies and, uh playing Double Dash, so it's not like I had a stressful night or anything, like, the only thing weird about my day was that I watched the Game Award. It was so bad, it made me unwilling, unable to get out of bed the, uh, the next day, it was unbelievable, awful, um, yeah, we're just gonna have to do, just do this over and over again until we win, uh, just like old, just like Lord Cat used to do, um, ugh. He's just too fast, like shit. Okay. Uh this is gonna take a lot of practice, I think. Um I think I should probably get a, a homing missile. Hmm. Yep, yeah, I'm trying to figure out what to do. He's so fast, even getting a boost at the beginning doesn't really help. Damn, that took a long time to get to him. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to get, like, uh, the homing missile. Every time. There's a balloon around the corner there. I'm not sure how long, how much time it's going to take. I think it's the best thing to do right now is just get homing missiles and just get them to stop just so I can keep up. Damn, this guy is so much faster than me. Hard to believe I, sh I beat the walrus, but not the fucking octopus. Like, I made fun of the walrus for being a lot faster than it should be, but, like, <laughs> surely walruses are faster than octopi. Like shit. 
Ah, fuck, I'm gonna bring my squid friend and have it spray ink all over you. Oof. Yep, here we go. Ah, damn! He's so fast, even when you're ahead of him, he just he just pushes you out of the way! Yeah, like like I said, it's this kind of thing that makes this game like kind of unfair. Uh... There we go. And there's the one around the corner here. Like, he has to stop whenever you hit him, so... It's like... The things are in awkward angles, it's like... Uh... He's so far ahead, there's nothing I could possibly do to keep up with him. All right. Well, I'm closing the distance at least, but... Yep, yep. So, I was catching up, but... It's not like a 12-wrap lap race. Well, he's so much fat, even if you did catch up... Maybe next time you won't be such a terrible racer. Like, it's not me, it's the vehicle. Like, this guy is just incredibly fast. Yeah, the rematches in this, uh, in this game can be kind of cheap. Like, oh, you think this is bad? Just wait till we get to Wizbear. Like, I, I cannot wait to demonstrate, like, the bullshit that Wizbear gets up to. Uh, I'm not sure how, like... How many people have actually beaten this game? Because I, 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 I legit think it can't be that high. Like, because this, this, I legit think I have more problems with this than like uh, Mario Kart Double Dashes, um, All Cup Tour. I think I'm having more problems with this than I would like uh, Hollow Knight's um, uh, Final Pantheon. Like, I am just uh, really, really struggling with this right now. Um, legit, this is probably one of the harder things I've ever done in any game ever. Like, I, I cannot imagine the kid. Are able to do this shit. It's ridiculous. Um, he gets so far ahead. Look at that. You think there's like a, a character that makes it easier? That's actually what I had to do against Wizpig. Is that like uh, I actually had to switch out of it, switch out Diddy because like Diddy was just not good enough. Um, do you think there's like some hidden item box somewhere that I I'm just not seeing? Uh, <sighs> like, I, 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 there are very few games I think I can't beat, and like, I, uh, I struggle a lot with it. I've beaten this before, right? And I'm still struggling with it? Like, what the fuck? I, I'm definitely gonna have to get through my collection and, like, really, really piece together, like, what the hardest games I own are. Uh, cause I, cause I legit don't know. Like, I would, I'm thinking, I think, I'm coming up with shit like Odama and, uh, Maybe Resident Evil Zero. I don't know, there's something about classic Resident Evil that I'm just really, really bad at. Like, I am not good at uh, classic survival horror games. I have no idea what I'm doing in classic art. I suppose what you're supposed to do is just fuck around until you figure it out. And then, if, like, from that point forward, where you could just breeze through the game in a couple of hours. But uh, I've never been able to figure it out. I've actually never beaten a classic RE. Which was a shame. I was getting into, like, RE2. But, like, towards the... Like, I got bored of it. You know what I mean? Like, I just... Well, not really bored of it, because it wasn't really, it wasn't a bad game at all, but, I don't know, I just, ugh. I don't know, I, I, a lot of times I feel like I, I, I have, I have better things to be doing. Like, last night, I was, like, so tired, I couldn't play games at all. Uh, I was incredibly worn out. Oh, that's it! I remember what you do, okay. Okay, what you do, you ignore the, uh, the red ones entirely, and you just get the, uh, the boost. If I remember correctly. 
Um, I think that's what you do. So if we just do that. Yeah, the, the bubbles are just fucking with me right now. Um, so I think you get the, like the boosts no matter what, and then like if you can squeeze in a, a shot. I was skipping the boost up here to get in favor of getting like a double uh, thing, but like as, as we all know, the boost is better than the uh, way better than the actual missiles in the team. So. Alright. Yeah, it's gonna be satisfying when we finally get this uh, figured out. Yeah, I'm liking this game a lot more as I get older. Again, I was kind of down on it as a kid because it was so hard, but, um, I think it was a lot closer last time. Yeah, yeah. This is going to take a lot of practice, I think. Uh. Oh, here we go. That might actually work. Uh, just... I missed? Oh, come on! He was right there! Ugh. Yeah, I think if, he, if, I, I think if I can get him right here, if I could, like, uh... Get him in a position where I can hit him with both those missiles. I can get ahead. Do um, you think he just, like, gets... He's really fast at the start, and then he sort of peters out near the end? That's, like, sort of the impression I get. Sort of. Here we go. Yep. What? How many balloons can he fucking... Bubbles. Why, why am I calling them balloons? Bubbles can you spit out like shit, this piece of shit. Right? Missed. Yeah, if I had him. If I could just loop it. Alright. Yeah, if, if I had gotten him there, I think I could have pulled ahead. Uh, but yeah, like the way this is looking, it looks like you have to peg him with every single balloon. You have to like use every single boost, and you have to hit him with every single missile. <laughs> Which is ridiculous. Why can't you just outrace him? Why do you need the item balloons? All right. I think we're just gonna have to reset every time we don't hit the right notes, because I think I think it's gonna be impossible if I don't get that first laugh. Where I get like every single thing. Um, if it's a little bit closer, I would be able to do it, but it's so fast. Yep. You know it's bad when you're like resetting before the race is even over. And then even worse when you do it before you take the first turn. Okay, uh. There we go. I missed. And how did these bubbles get here? Like, he's not... He's not dropping them. They're just sort of there already. So it's not even on, like, the second lap when they show up.
fucking got him. I should not have had to take these ridiculous turns! Ah. These bubbles just ruin everything. All right. Like, I'd eat... It's hard even without the bubbles, but with them, it's like... I'm struggling a lot. All right. Yeah, I can't even get my aim. Like, I had to fire it, like, right away because I had to get in position for that. Look at that! It's like right in position to prevent you from getting that balloon. Ridiculous. Uh. Alright. Final lap. Okay. I missed? Oh, come on! I- I 100% hit him. Like, fuck that. Alright. Yeah, I think I can beat him. I just gotta, I just gotta hit him. Like, you have to like do it while you're like jumping in between these ramps. Like, ah, ridiculous. All right. Yeah, so I, I guess I prefer this kind of game design to uh, the double dashes, which is just, yeah, we're just gonna hit you. We're gonna hit you with every item in the game all at once. We're gonna knock you off the right. Like, I just. Uh, I'm so salty towards Double Dash right now, because, like, I really should have beaten, like, All Cup Tour, like, the first time. But because of, like, hitting the wall... I don't know why more people don't talk about this, but Double Dash feels like it's unfinished. Like, it feels like it does a bunch of, like, really funky shit that it really shouldn't be doing. Like, when you hit a wall, you shouldn't, like... You shouldn't, like, be slowing down. Like, did I... Fuck. When you hit a wall, you shouldn't, like, bounce off spin around and then like turn into an ice block that's just that's just ridiculous that happened to me last night that's the only reason i lost is because like i, I lost my lead because of that oh well, that was one of the reasons okay. yeah, why am i letting go of the acceleration i keep thinking it's a boost but okay Yep, yep. Shit. Let's 
if I just hit him, like that's the night that's the thing right now. I just got I just gotta hit him. I'm, I'm still pretty close because like once you get the boosts. Once you get, start getting boost, you can, like, close the distance. I do think he gets slower as it goes on. There you go. Got him. Yeah, I think I'm still a little bit too slow. But I'm, getting, I'm getting there. No! No, no, no. Unacceptable. Like, I don't... That bu bubble is just fucking with me all the time. One bubble is just. Ugh. I need that missile, so like, yeah. All right. yeah every time I, I get crossed up past that arch, he wins. So I just got a little bit further. What, if I could get to the second balloons, I think I think that's what I need. I need to be like right behind him. I need to get a balloon and I need to shoot him, and then like I need to get the other missile to shoot him if he gets ahead of me again. So, um. But the thing is, like, it's so. It's so specific in what it wants you to do. It's kind of frustrating. All right. Um. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, now it's, now it's doing funky things. Oh, it starts you off in a bad position, too. Like, it's preventing me from turning left like I want to. See? All right, well, I'll just turn off immediately. Fuck you. Um. You need to go to the left to get this missile, so you can shoot him. Of course, I miss. No, like <laughs> these bubbles need to stop. Okay. Da -da -da. Let's try that again. Yep, nope. Yeah, you can't get directly behind him, otherwise he's just gonna bubble you. He's not faster, he's just cheating! Alright, okay. Uh. Yeah, Double Dash does this too, but... Uh, I don't know, like... This is one of the reasons I like Mario Kart 8 so much. It feels so much more balanced in this shit. Like, it actually feels like you're actually racing against someone as opposed to, like, it just cheating all the time. Oh, look at me, I have unlimited bubbles while you have to get balloons. You go out of go out of your way to get balloons. How did I get so close? I did better this time and I'm not sure how. Well anyway, uh Yeah, but he's really pulling ahead. Think I got him? Yeah, perfect. That was a really good shot. Alright. Uh, this is a pretty good big stretch, so it's actually pretty easy to hit him as long as you're close enough, which I wasn't. Take this, you bitch. All right. a little bit faster, I would have been able to shoot him. Stop him in his tracks, and then I would have been able to catch up. But, but yeah, hitting him with missiles doesn't do a whole lot either. Like, and there aren't enough boosts to get ahead of him. Like, he's just so fast. Because you kind of see how, like, he pulls ahead even if you get a boost at the beginning. Um... Fuck that. I, I, I have no patience with the bubbles. Nice. 
Damn. Where's my next? Really? Okay. Why is that bubble there? That just annoys me so much. I'm just like, <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is getting ridiculous. I, I should be able to win this. It shouldn't be this hard, but all right. And to think that, like, Whizpig is even harder. Wow. I don't remember the dragon very well. I think the dragon is, isn't that bad. Maybe the dragon, like, levels are harder. I don't know. Let's see. I don't remember, I don't remember fighting the dragon. I don't remember fighting, uh, racing the dragon at all. I think when I finally got around to it, I did it pretty easily, but... I think it took me a while to do it. Um, yeah, I don't remember the dragon. I remember it being in a plane, but like I don't remember anything about the horse. Like it's weird. Um, it makes sense that I don't remember, remember anything about Whizpig though, because I think I've all, I think I raced those tracks like a couple of times just to beat it, and like I never really played them again. Um, yeah, I, don't, I don't know Future Funland nearly as well as the rest of the game. Well, because it's so hard to get to, you know? Like, every time I've been playing this game since I beat it, it's always been, like, doing mirror mode. Alright. It's not a matter of my reflexes, it's a matter of... Uh... Yeah, I think I'm at the point now where I'm just like, what the fuck am I even doing? Because, like, nothing I've tried works. Like, it's just... Come on, that, that clearly hit him. You saw that, didn't you? It just went through his head. You had to hit him at his, like, base? Like, at his, like, midsection? It's like, it went through his head, but... It's not something you would normally hit, like, aim for. But, because I was in midair. Yeah. yeah, I think I hit him there, too. So, yeah, like, literally... The thing isn't... The thing doesn't have a big enough hitbox to, to hit, okay, half the time. 
right. That's the best I can do. Uh, it feels like I can't get any any faster. Walls better than that. I keep missing. I keep missing. Got it. All right. Let's see how this goes. Ah, oh, damn. Maybe I should have saved that for the. Uh... If I'd gotten it three times, but it's so fast. How are you gonna do it? It's just too fast. All right. the distance but hmm. it's the same every time like it, it goes about the same way like it's uh... I think I will a little bit further this time but um, it's not nearly enough I mean, the thing is, like, I have to hit him, right? I have to, like, get him when he's coming. Uh... Avoid that one. It's not like I need it anyway. It's just a, it's just a missile. Hmm. Cause that keeps happening, but. Nope, I need it. Oops. I got him there too. You, you can see the missile just going through him. Just shit. Okay, well. And it stops you completely too. Hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely getting it, but you have to have like a perfect run to beat him. It's.
looks like I'm pretty close, but... Damn! Like, it is too particular! Alright. Yeah, he's, close. he's uh, widening the distance, too. Hitting like the uh, the octopus at this angle is just plain ridiculous. It's just not gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't even want to see your cutscene. That's how ready I am. I can do it. I can definitely beat him. Uh, but it's, it's gonna take like a ridiculous amount of luck. Well, maybe not even luck. I just thought they like actually hit my shots. I think that's the big thing. Is that like I keep taking missile shots at them and I keep missing because I suck. But I think it might be better just get a, a normal boost. Just gives you time to aim, to get behind him and push. Yeah, that, that curve is getting me. Da da da. Oh, oh the battle might actually help a little bit. Right, let's see. Nah, he's already turning. He's so far ahead, he's already turning by the time I like enter an area where I can take a shot. It's ridiculous. That's how far behind I am. Uh, yeah, their idea to make bad this game as out as much as possible is like make it as hard as <laughs> make it insanely hard like this game you would be able to clear it like pretty easily in like four hours if um probably sh quicker than that if like it wasn't so fucking bullshit all right because like i beat like all of mario kart 64 in like an hour right um you know 16 tracks um fuck yeah, Mario Kart 64 was nowhere near this difficult. Um, oh, I should just beat Mario Kart 64 recently. I probably should do a Nintendo Classics video on it. Um, I, have a, I have a lot of ideas for Nintendo Classics. I probably should just go ahead and just get everything I'm playing right now and then just uh, do a Nintendo Classic videos on it. Starbucks 64, uh, Ocarina of Time. I haven't even like recorded more footage for Star Fox yet. That, that was like gonna be my focus for the channel going forward. Uh, did I miss? Oh shit! Did I just randomly just get it? Damn! I just randomly nailed it. What the fuck? How does that make any sense? Okay. Uh, but look how quickly he gets ahead again. Like. Yeah, and I keep missing too. Even at like that reasonably close distance. Yeah, it, it gets ridiculous. Um, so unless he gets like way slower, even at that that distance, I can't hit him properly. Like what the fuck? Like I I nailed it perfectly, and he still got ahead of me. Like it just. You think I could like get a a, a racer with a higher top speed? Like, is there someone better suited for this? Because like I'm not really getting uh, sidelined at all. Like, the issue is that, like, Diddy just isn't fast enough. 
I, I think I should just, um... Should I try another character, do you think? Do you think that'll work? But then, like, why would it be impossible for the, to win a Diddy Kong? Like... Yeah, who are the, like, the other racers in this game? Like, who who has a higher top speed? I, I think that's the thing I need right now, uh, more than anything. Like, someone who can actually keep up with this motherfucker. So, like, he he's in my line of sight! Alright. All right. Oh, do you think that's it? Maybe I could, like, just save up, get, like, three, um... Get three bullets, and then just peg him every time he... Every time I catch up. Every time he's in my sight. Fuck. Yeah, these... Things are just ridiculous. Yeah, let's see if you can get 10 here. Like, they, they might actually limit you just so you can't do that. Ah, fuck. Alright. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Yeah, what are the stats of the other characters? Um, I think I'm gonna whip out the Badger and see if the Badger... The Badger, I remember, is who I used against uh, Wizbig. So let's see if the Badger can... Uh... <laughs> yeah, I care so little about the other characters, I don't, I don't even remember a, lot, remember a lot of their names. I know, like, Drumstick, I know Pipsy, I know, like, Tip Top, I know... Uh... I think everyone except the Badger? Bumper the Badger, okay. Yeah, the one character that's never appeared in any other games. Well, Drumstick and TT are secret characters, so I don't really count them, but, uh... Yeah, Pipsy never appeared again. Alright, let's see if the, the Badger can do it. I'm not sure exactly why I used it against Wizpig, but I remember it worked, so let's... Let's see if this guy can uh, pull through for us. Yeah, Diddy Kong uh, getting cucked out of his own game by Bumper the Badger. Well, to be fair, <laughs> this is a joke that I've been like, uh, this is something I've been noticing, like, the entire game is, like, supposed to be about Timber the Tiger, right, this is Timber the Tiger's Island, like, Wizpig invaded and took it over, and, like, he invited, like, Timber invited all his friends over to, like, fight him. So this should be, like, Timber the Tiger racing, but it's not, it's Diddy Kong racing, just because Diddy is much more recognizable than the rest of the cast. <laughs> so, like, Timber the Tiger got cucked out of his own game. Let's see how this goes. Oh, what the fuck? Was... Okay. Um, yeah, he can. He does control a little bit there, but differently than Diddy. I have to get used to it. I think. It's gonna. It's gonna take a while before I uh, come to the decision. I think. Um. Yeah. What makes Drumstick the best racer on the island? Like, is he actually better than the others? Like, should I just use Drumstick for everything? Like, I don't. Ah, fuck yeah. I'm just. I'm just playing badly now. Um. Yeah, I'm not gonna blame Bumper yet. Uh, Let's see how he kind of handles this. Let's see how he handles a good run. Like, the thing about Diddy was that, like... Here we go. The thing about Diddy is that I was using, like, um... Literally everything to get ahead, and it just wasn't working. So, like, I think if, um... If I find a good character who actually, uh, Can handle, uh, these tight turns... Oops. I'm in that bad habit of releasing the accelerator when, like, I'm firing a missile. I have no idea why I'm doing that. It's because the boost, uh, the boost requires you to let go of the accelerator to go faster. Yeah, I'm using the boost trick and I'm still losing. That's how ridiculous this is. Uh... Yeah, it's about the same. Well, no, it's about the same even though I was, like, even though I got fucked over. I think, I think, I think switching to bumper was a good decision. Uh... Okay. But I don't understand the logic behind having a boss that's so fast that you literally cannot beat it with, like, specific characters. That's just... That just doesn't make any sense to me. It comes off as really, really unbalanced. Um, like, obviously it should be hard no matter what, but... Um, I don't know. Like, maybe you should, like, adjust things to suit different play? I don't know. But remember back in, like, 97 when games were still good? Like, shit, I, I know I keep, like, 
bringing this up, but like this is so much better than like basically anything else I've played this year. Like even like the other Nintendo games, I think I'm having a lot more fun with them. Um, I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe I should give Origami King more of a shot, and uh, Deadly Combination 2 more of a shot. Uh, I mean, I liked both of those, but I just. Uh, yep, yep. Look at this. Yeah, I think it's become easy now because of uh, my character. Thing. Look how much closer I am. Uh, he's still like tearing ahead, but it's because he's a cheater. It's not because, like, uh... Oops. Yep, yep. This is definitely what I... This was definitely the character strength I need to make. Um... Yeah, he has to, like, be ahead of you because, like, his gimmick is the bubbles. So, like, if you get... If you ignore the bubbles, um... If you get ahead of him, like, his bubbles don't do shit, so he's not that much of a challenge. So if you ever actually got ahead of him, you would... Uh... What the fuck? No! Shit! Yeah, I was so close. Yeah, I think I can do it with Bumper. Um, not gonna lie, I think I basically have it in the bag. Uh, the issue right now is that he cheats so much, you know what I mean? Like, he just darts that far ahead of you. Yep, I definitely got a lot farther. If I hadn't get, gotten bubbled, like, I would've been fine. Uh... Cause, like... When you get to the end there, you have, uh, two, you have two bubbles. Uh, you have two balloons. I keep getting bubbles and balloons confused. You have two, like, red balloons that you can just shoot him with, which stops him entirely. So if you can reach those islands, and then just peg him twice, you're good. Um, so I, I think, I think Badger, I think Bumper here must have a higher top speed than Diddy does. Uh, because he can keep up pretty well with the octopus. Obviously it's not, like, ideal, because I, I still really should have won that, but... Because he pulls ahead, like, even when you shoot him, like, he... It's like in Double Dash, when you get someone, they, like, immediately, like, recover and immediately like, pull ahead of you, like, for no reason. Whereas when you get hit, you, like, lose all your items. It, it's ridiculous. Double Dash is, like, straight up broken, okay? Like, I know I'm bitching about this, but, like, Double Dash, I think, is way worse. Like, Double Dash is just... Just really bad. <laughs> about, like, balancing issues in, like, regular races. Um... I'm, I'm not a fan of Double Dash at all. The more I play it, the more I'm just like, nah, this is shit. Like, I, I did the All Cup tour, and, like, I, um... Yeah. I, I only lost because of, like, how ridiculous, um, the RNG can be with, like, the, the items hitting you, and just, um, the random stage hazards, like, that seem to affect you, but no one else. It's, it, it's ridiculous. Like, it's, eight is so much better, like, you know, keeping it, like, feeling like a normal race, as opposed to, like, Double Dash, where it feels like everything is just out to get you all the time. Like, I can see why they, like, toned it down for Wii, actually. Like, people say that Wii was casualized. No, they just fixed all the bullshit with Double Dash. Like, Wii, I think I, I like more than Double Dash, actually. Uh, I'll have to play Wii again, because I actually have I've not played Wii at all since I, uh... I, uh, I, I got Double Dash, so, like, I, I'm really curious. Like, do I actually think Wii is better than Double Dash? I think it might be, actually, uh... It's up in the air at this point, because I haven't played enough of it, but... Uh, we are definitely gonna find out. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Fire. Yeah, we're gonna have to square it up and fire. It's ridiculous how, um, how difficult this is. Even with my boy Bumper. Uh, Bumper the bad dude. Uh... Ah, damn! I missed my boost! Yeah, I am so fun. Um, if I had the boost, if I hit that curve... Yeah, I, I definitely fucked up a little bit. Uh, is it really gonna take me an hour? I've done nothing but like do this uh, boss since I started playing, so it's like, is it really gonna take me an hour to do it? Yeah, 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 look at this. Yeah, I'm definitely getting a lot closer, even though that I'm, I'm making more mistakes. So like, Bumper is just better against Diddy. Just better than Diddy, like there's no getting around it. Like, Diddy, I was like doing everything right. And like I wasn't even getting close, and like here I am, like getting, getting, getting to the islands, um, even after getting uh, knocked around a little bit. It's uh, kind of ridiculous, honestly. Uh, kind of, kind of pisses you off. Um, why is it called Diddy Kong Racing if he's like if he fucking sucks? But anyway, um, kind of weird to think this game might be unbalanced. I've never heard anyone, like, talk about that, like, the, the actual stats of, like, the characters and, like, who's the best. Um, I think TT is considered the best, but, like, um, 
you know, nobody's exactly unlocked TT. I actually have never unlocked TT, so I, uh, that's one of the things I want to do in the stream, is, like, actually unlock TT and actually run this episode. So, like, I'm doing mirror mode right now. Do you think I should do TT now? Like, do you think I should just go ahead and do that? Is it something you can do now, or do you have to wait for the end? Well, I beat the game once, so I should be able to just, uh, get him now. Um, how do you do it? I'll have to look it up real quick. Because uh, I have Drumstick, but Drumstick kind of sucks. Like, Drumstick is supposed to be the best character on the island, but, like, I, uh, I never cared for I never cared to play for him. Like, here I am, like, <laughs> looking at a strategy guide, like, being told that Drumstick is, like, the best racer in the game. Not the strategy game, the, uh, the, the, uh, the manual. Like, being told that Drumstick is the best racer on the island, and then, like, getting him, and he's not that great. Um, I guess he was, like, all hype, no actual substance. It's shocking we never got a real sequel. Like, why did they make a Diddy Kong Racing remake? Like, they should have done a, a should have sequel. Like, the remake was completely pointless, because I, I think the remake kind of, uh... What did the remake even add, really? Like, it, it replaced, like, D Dixie and Tiny with Conker and Banjo. Well, it replaced Conker and Banjo with Dixie and Tiny, which I guess makes sense. But then, like, it, it's a handheld game, so... Like, you can't really play multiplayer, like... <sighs> like, what were they thinking? Like, I don't know, like, I think they should have just made it a straight-up sequel. Like, make it, like, I don't know. <sighs> like, have the same characters, they just... Like, I mean, replace Banjo and Conker, but you don't need a remake. Especially since, I think they came up with that, like, before the game was even, like, 10 years old. No, no, it was 2008, so it was about 11 years old. Um, you know, a game that, like, 7 million people bought. Well, this game was, like, really successful, so... Um, I don't know, I think the remake was kind of unnecessary. I mean, I, I'm hoping it gets uh, re-released again, actually. Uh, with Donkey Kong 64 getting re-released um, on Wii U, I'm hoping it happens. Um, I mean, with Banjo and Smash, I think it's uh, inevitable that it's going to happen eventually. Like, Microsoft and Nintendo uh, seem to be pretty good at uh, coming to some kind of uh, deal with the, the Rareware games. But, like, it's to be real, like... Rare should just be developing for Nintendo at this point. Like, I, I don't know. Like, Rare was... I, it's remarkable how terrible modern Rare is. Like, the best Rare games that have, like, surfaced in recent years, like Killer Instinct, uh, the new Perfect Dark, like, it looks like Rare is just handing off that shit to other developers. And it's just like, they're, they're making shit like the CFDs. It's just... Like, which is just awful. I don't know. Why aren't more people bitching about, like, CFDs? Is it because it's, like, it's not seen as offensive as, like, Connect Sports? Like, oh, they, they at least tried to be creative. Like, see if Thieves was bad to begin with. Like, come on. Like, it's a lot like No Man's Sky in that regard, but, like, I think a lot of people understate how terrible it actually is. Um, yeah, I, I can definitely do it. I can definitely do it. I just gotta get in the zone. Get in the zone! Like, there's a reason I didn't want to do this the other day, because I knew it was going to take a while to, like, figure out, figure this out. Uh, and the Game Awards was, uh... Diddy Kong Racing was better than literally everything at the Game Awards. Especially The Last of Us Part 2. I don't know. We're at the point where, like, literally every, like, award show or, like, uh... Literally everything is, like, rigged as fuck. It, it's ridiculous. Like, literally no one thinks The Last of Us Part Two won anything. Literally no one believes Joe Biden won any, anything, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, in the eyes of, like, the, the controlling uh, the controlling party, it, it's ridiculous. Um, the Mana Party, I suppose I should call them. It's, uh, <laughs> it is ridiculous. Um, and again, it, it goes beyond just entertainment, obviously. Like, it, if anything, entertain the en entertainment industry doesn't really matter. Just, just ignore the, the award show we give a shit. Uh, but... Here we go, shit. Um, it's really weird. Like, they have to, like, subvert every level of society. It's kind of it's kind of laughable, actually, how pathetic it is. Like, not only do they have to, like, <laughs> to, like push Brokeback Mountain on you, they have to, like, uh, rig video game awards and just, like... Oh, they have to rig video game awards and... Uh, and like fuck with like publishing industries, it's it's ridiculous. Um, 
I don't know, it's not really sustainable though either, because I think like once people really start pushing back against it, as they have been over the past couple of years, uh, it's gonna it's gonna collapse. Like the only thing really keeping them going is just like this uh, the sheer monopoly they have over like basically everything, uh, which again isn't gonna isn't gonna hold um, hold very well. Like once uh, more independent um, studios start coming up, like focused on actual talent, you know, like we've seen this in gaming already, where um, indie studios are just overtaking um, a lot of this overhyped shit. You know what I mean? Like, who the fuck cares about, like, Darksiders 3? People, people will, um, talk about, like, uh, better indie games. Oh, yeah, I have heard that. Uh, I'm not sure... Um, I, I don't know anything about that. Um, I haven't done any research on it. Well, I mean, I, I know it happened, but I'm not sure what the, the reasoning for it... What the reasoning for it was, or... Um... I don't know, the fact that they even, uh, refuse to hear it... Yeah, that's not gonna... <laughs> that's not gonna fly. I think people are just gonna, um, get uppity about that. Again, like, uh, we're, we're sort of seeing them, like, rejecting cases that they really shouldn't be rejecting, so, uh... Um... Honestly, like, the issue right now is that, like, no one's really fighting at all. Um, as we've been seeing, like, the Republicans and the Democrats are basically the same party. Who well, have the same interests and uh, need to have uh, Donald Trump out of office. And uh, they're exerting their control over basically every, uh, every level of government. Uh, so it's not like they should have, uh, they should have thrown up the case. They, sh they should have thrown the case out at any level, but, um... But I don't know, they, they can't really, like, keep exerting their corruption like this, you know what I mean? Because, um, it, it comes off as really desperate to me. Um, and, like, it's really transparent, too. Um, like, I think we're gonna, like, see some, uh, major- SHIT! Uh, some major, uh, pushback, um, in the, in the coming weeks. Because, like, they didn't- they simply didn't do what they were supposed to do. Uh, Yeah, if I didn't get bubbles. It's the bubbles, like every time it's the bubbles. Um, I don't know, like the thing, like again, this is the thing that I think a lot of people don't understand is that like even if Joe Biden takes the presidency, like uh, <laughs> even if that does happen, it's not really gonna do anything. Like I think people are just gonna think that like Trump supporters are gonna go away, but like, that's not gonna happen. Um, like, if anything, they just overplayed their hand, I think. Uh, basically everything. Like, uh, people don't take race issues seriously anymore uh, after the after the, uh, after the protests. Um, they basically used everything they had to get Trump out of office. And uh, it's either not going to work or it's going to render them, like, powerless in the future, I think. Because, like, um, again, like, they're disobeying their own laws, right? Like, um, the laws they set to, like, be biased towards them in order to get this to happen. Here we go. Fuck. Uh, oof. Fuck. Here we go. Like, make no mistake, it's not about the law. It's- <laughs> it's not about, like, they didn't actually come to, like, an actual conclusion. They, like, uh... They, they decided that, like, uh, they, they needed to, to vote a certain way, um, for their own, uh, benefit. So when do you think they're gonna try to... Damn, I can't do this. I... And at this point, I'm like, I'm not really worried about it. Um, honestly, like, oof. like I said, like they didn't win legitimately. They didn't, they didn't win an election. They, they didn't win the popularity contest. Uh, they have like, 
They have control over, like, everything, but it's not really, uh... I don't think it's gonna amount to much, honestly. Like, I don't think... I don't think having the presidency is really gonna, like, change anything. I don't think it's gonna um, if Biden were to win. Because I think people know now that, like, not to trust, like, to trust the Monoparty, which is something I've been saying for a while. Like, don't trust the Republicans. Like, I'm not a Republican. I'm a Trump supporter. Um, and again, like, um, I think above all else, like, people people know now uh, for a fact that their vote simply doesn't matter. So, like, that's that's gonna like um, really dampen their uh, <laughs> dampen their uh, their prospects going forward when they start pushing for like more and more uh, extreme. Um, extreme policies, which I think are going to happen. Um, we're kind of already seeing that now with, like, the mask thing, which is uh, completely unnecessary. Um, but, like, they, they really can't go beyond the mask thing. Y you know what I mean? Like, that, that's all they've been able to do, and they can't even really get people to follow that. Which really shit. No, fuck, I missed! <sighs> no, no, he did not win. Um, that's a, that's kind of a given at this point. Uh, no, he did not win. No, they just they just declared Biden the winner. And that's that's all there is to it. There was never actually an election, but um, so we have like an illusion of election of an election at this point. They're not outright like. Um, putting certain people in office yet, but like they just, um, they selected Biden and, uh, well, Kamala, I should say. Because I do think it's kind of obvious that, like, they're gonna replace Biden with Kamala eventually. Uh, I know, I'm just wondering when that's gonna happen. Like, when they're out, when they're, like, uh, come out and actually say that. Oops, shit. So narrow. All right. Okay. Yeah. Damn. Ah, damn. <sighs> yeah, I hate how I can't just... Hey, look how far ahead he gets, like shit. All right. I can't believe I actually hit him there, huh? Um, I did not I did not actually expect to do it. Uh Oh, come on! Really? 
I got him, and he still... So he still keeps moving forward even when you hit him. Shit. Wow, ridiculous. Uh, damn. All right. Yeah, I was pretty close there, though. Uh... Okay. Fuck! Enough with the bubble! Like, okay. I basically have it in the bag, but alright. Alright. Maybe I shouldn't even bother with that one. Because I keep missing anyway, and like there's a, another boost up here. You know, maybe I shouldn't boost at all, and maybe I should just get the, uh, the turbo boost. Do you think that would help if I just, uh... Yeah, maybe, maybe I should try that. Like, let's try getting a... Let's try avoiding that red balloon, and uh, try and getting a double boost. And see if that helps. Um... Because, like, once I pull ahead, it should be over. Um... So tempted to use it now. Uh. Yeah, I think that actually worked. I lost control of my uh, craft, though. I, I gotta watch out for that. I think that actually did help, though. Um. Damn! Okay. This is getting really ridiculous. I want to beat this boss, but... Fuck! Oh, did I use it? That was weird. That was so close. Why are those bubbles just going everywhere? Like, isn't that ridiculous? All right. Yeah, fuck you, you little bitch. All right. What? What? I was ahead of him. He spit that thing out sideways. All right. That was bullshit. All right. If I got that mad and still win, oh shit, that's gonna be hard. Uh. Ah, fuck. I can fuck that up. Ah, damn it. Yeah, fuck that up. Yeah, I would have won. Okay. Yeah, if I didn't get bubbled, I think I could have pulled through there. Uh. But that was bullshit. Like, let's let's not mince words. That was complete crap. Okay. Okay. That was complete crap. Yeah, I should have won that. That is ridiculous. All right.
I was looking at something on Twitter. Uh. Nope. And the bubble thing, I am sick of the bubbles, okay? The bubbles are just driving me nuts. All right. I didn't just keep hitting the fucking wall. All right. All right. I, I didn't let it go with like, the button. Look at how, like, well I'm doing. Look how close I am. And he's still gonna, like, pull way ahead. He's shit, man. Oh, shit. Yeah, I missed the pull. Oh, what? Again? Cheap-ass son of a bitch. Like, blocks the entire path. Like, did you see that? Alright. Yeah, we had that. We had that. That was... Okay, I don't think I'm, like, bullshitting. Like, I think I'm... I think I legit got cheated there. Uh... That was bullshit. That was bullshit. I think I might be able to pull through here, because like once he pulls ahead, I'll just be able to uh, fire there. Then once he pulls ahead again, I'll be able to shoot him again. Yeah, I'll, I'll be. Yeah, once you get ahead of him, uh, you're able to shut him down pretty easily. So. Oh, check this out. I'll be able to get yeah ten missiles here, and then I'll just be able to shoot him every time he gets ahead. Okay, so I should be able to win. Um, but let's see how this goes. Uh, did it really take me over an hour to do this? Um, shit. Alright. So yeah, once he pulls ahead, uh, I'll be, I should be able to peg him. Um. Yeah, once you get ahead of him, there's nothing you can do. Because, like, his, his one gimmick is just relies on you being behind him all the time. Yep, you did it. An hour and 15 minutes. Well, an hour, 14 minutes, and 13 seconds. Ridiculous. It should not have taken that long. <sighs> All right. Well done, Shrim. You are the beast of the ambulance. Now I'll try the trophy challenge. Goodbye. Just one more piece left. Right, one more piece left.
Yeah, now we're back to the regular races. Ugh. Finally, shit. All right. Okay, let's, uh... It'll be nice to actually do it. Yeah, we're, I didn't even do the silver coins yet, so I guess I had to beat Smokey, like, twice. So I guess I didn't even... I didn't do this one at all. I don't know, I, I guess this has never been, like, my favorite circuit, but... I've always liked the dinosaur one, but... Uh... This is the one with the most plane levels, right? It's weird how, like, little I actually use the planes. Like, I like using the planes on, like, the volcano level. The volcano level is so good. The Volcano one's probably my favorite track. Uh, oh man, Rareware and Nintendo. Uh, shooting like someone down in a plane is so satisfying. Aren't like the planes technically really OP because you can't really shoot them in cars? I find it weird how you can, like, have, like, cars and planes race, like, <laughs> in, like, a multiplayer. It, it, it feels like this game really is kind of a balance when you think about it. Uh, I mean, it's a great game. But shit. I guess you don't really need balancing, because, like, nobody's gonna, like, mini-max this game, you know what I mean? Like, do, get the best possible result. Like, they just have to beat the other guy. It's, it's nice to just throw up race and chill. Aw, oh, man. Is this the game that introduced, like, the the, the, uh, the googly eyes on random objects that uh, Banjo-Kazooie is so known for? It's weird to think that Banjo and Conker are in this game. Like, since that technically means that, like, Banjo and Conker are, like, established Mario characters by extension of being, like, involved with Diddy Kong. So, like, Conker canonically takes place alongside Super Mario, like, that's just bizarre to me. Um... Uh, yeah, bizarrely, like, Kazooie herself is not in this game. Like, uh, you can hear her, I think, if you play as Banjo, but, like, she's not actually, like, there. It's, uh, she's not actually present. Like, you don't actually see her, like, in the back then. It's, uh, it's kind of weird. I, you can understand why. Yeah. 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 I'm so used to playing this track in, like, regular... This is one of the tracks I play the most because of the, uh... Damn, I've played this track a lot. This is... This is, uh, really fucking with me, the mirror mode. Honestly, I, I barely even noticed I've, uh, I've been playing mirror mode for a lot of this. This is one of my favorite tracks, actually, because, uh... Because of the variety, like, you, know, you go through the woods and, like, the, the well, it looks awesome. Like, I always love this sort of area. one of those mirror mode levels that are, that are really fucking with me. Right. Um, I might have to play this one a couple of times. Uh, I mean, not that I mind, because I do like this track a lot. Do you think we're going to see, like, future Funland tonight? I'm probably not. Like, I probably will stop, like, once we get to the Silver Coins. I, I probably will do a couple of Silver Coins, but I think I do want to play something else. Um, how am I in last place? Shit. Alright. Should I switch back to Diddy Kong now that I'm done with the bosses? That might that might be part of the problem, not just the bumper on regular races. Yeah, 
tried going into the well. But... You, have to, you have to finish first out of all the races, so it's kind of frustrating. It's not like Mario Kart we can theoretically only. I don't know, I think the Mario Kart structure might be better, where like you just you just where you have to race every race like over and over and over again. As opposed to this where you only have to win them once, which is kind of uh, I don't know, it's different, like it's nice that it's not like a rehash, but at the same time, like I think the Mario Kart one is better. Like again, I, I think Mario Kart 64 is better than this. Um it's certainly not a bad game, I, I like it a lot. Pleasant. You just play this game and just relax. Uh, used to going left down there. I used to be able to hit that turn like it was nothing, but yeah, I think I'm going to have to, like, not do it. Or maybe just get someone better steering. Because I think Diddy can hit it pretty easily. the fuck? Why would you go back there? Why is it a thing? It's not a shortcut. It's... Yeah, I think I'm going to switch out Diddy. Uh, switch out for Diddy. Uh... I mean, I just prefer playing as Diddy in general, but... Right. I'm Diddy! Like, who else would you be? Shit. Uh... So, yeah, we got three out of the four, but now we gotta win all the races, beat Smokey the Dragon, and then go to... And go to Future Fun Land. Which I'm really curious, like, I'm really curious, like, when I show it on stream, like, how, how many people have actually gotten to Future Fun Land? Because I... It can't be that high. It has to be like one of those things. Except most people have never taken it. Like, it has to be like 90% 90, 90 of players. Like, there's no way that like 90% got to Future Frontline. Like, it has to be a lot lower than that. Like, I don't think it's even half. Uh, like, obviously, I haven't seen any evidence of that, but like, considering how much I, a pro gamer, have struggled, like, doing this, like, well, uh, to be fair, I'm doing it on the internet. Um, yeah, so it's like, did he better at, like, regular races while Bumper was better at bosses for some reason? I think it might be it. Like, I think Bumper might actually have, like, shit acceleration or something. So, like, it's not a big deal against bosses because, uh... Because, like, they can't really hit you all that much, but he has a way higher top speed. So he's, like, better against bosses, but, like, sucks in regular races? Is, is that what I'm getting at? Like, Diddy's a bit better at, uh... At, like, both... So do you want like higher acceleration in regular races so you uh, so you can recover after getting hit? Because or... it does feel like it's gotten a lot easier now that I switched. Uh... What? How did the fuck did I used to do that? I used to slide right in. Well, all right. Uh... How did I get in seventh? Well, anyway.
bump it up it up it up 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 Bump it up it up it up Yeah. The nice thing about this game is like it's really easy to just replay races and get really good at them. So it's not like Mario Kart where like you have to move on to the next course. So, I, mean, I mean, I guess it kind of screws. Yeah, I was struggling with this race last time too. So I'm kind of curious as to why. Uh, what about this one is throwing me off? I think it is just the mirror mode because it's not that hard of a course. Uh, I keep doing like the B turn because I'm so used to doing it. I really should just start using the R slide. Uh, because like you don't lose your as much speed when you do that. Like the B turn does uh, does um, sharper sharper turns, which I need a lot actually. Uh, hang on. Timber, get back here! Get shit. shit, I missed. How these fuckers? That far ahead of me. Yeah, they don't they don't use the boost trick at all. So like if you use it, like you're probably gonna win. Shit, this time. Ah, damn. Only because I got slammed by him? Really? Ah, damn. Only because he ran into me. Shit. I, I would have pulled out. I would have pulled in front if like, he hadn't run into me there. Alright. Mine? Was that the one I like? No, it's not. How was one there that early, though? Where did it come from? This is the second lap. And that, that was right at the beginning, so they would have to get like two green balloons right away. I don't even bother with the green things at all because they're just so useless. Oh, 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 shit. The game does feel a lot more balanced than Double Dash does. Like even when I'm struggling with it, it's like, well, I'm not getting fucked over. You know what I mean? Like if I lose in Double Dash, it's not because I'm like racing badly. It's because like the AI fucked me over somehow. Uh, well, the RNG fucked me over. I think it's safe to say. I don't think it's the AI really. Damn, really? Ah. How do you hit that last turn? Oh, okay. Alright. Yeah, I should have won there, too. Mm. 
It's not that hard of a race, but... I can only imagine how obnoxious the silver coin is going to be. We're going to have to go in the well and we're going to have to take that shortcut. It's like... I guess there's a reason I didn't do Dragon Village. I guess it is, like, kind of... Is it more difficult than the rest of the game? Because, like, I, I noticed that, like, I, uh, I was able to do, like, prehistoric, uh, the prehistoric one, like, right away as a kid. And, like, the others I really struggled with. And, like, this one took me a while when I came back to it. Um, again, like, I, I noticed I, I didn't get... I didn't uh, win these races at all yet in this playthrough. Um, I guess I just didn't bother, but... I don't know. I wonder if there's a reason why I just didn't want to do it. Um, struggle with it. I wanted to get everything else out of the way first. Is that Timber? I think it was. Fuck off, drumstick. Drumstick, you wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for me. Alright. It's not turning so sharply that I can't even hit these. Uh... There we go, got it. Yep. Okay, I know how to hit it now. Oh, damn, I thought it was the other way. The mirror mode is fucking me up here. All right. I think that's the main thing I'm struggling with right now, is I'm just not used to playing this course on like Paramount. Because this is one of the courses I played the most as a kid. Uh, you couldn't tell. A lot, a lot of these other ones are boring that I never really played. It's not really a problem with a lot of them, but for, for this one, it's really bothering me. So I, mean, I think it's the I think it's like the, the boost placement and, and just like the, the level design in general. It's so different. What? The fucker stuck! He pushed me off the boost! Alright. Okay. Yeah, I keep raging after this. Huh? To be fair, though, I have reason to rage. Like, it's just... I had that one. Uh... Yeah, if you want to get the rage out of me, just put me in front of a race again. Shit. I was raging at um, Mario Kart Double Dash too because all the bullshit. Mario, Mario Kart Double Dash, I, I can't, I can't emphasize it enough. It's so much worse than this. Like when it comes like the bullshit, like uh, moves that the computer pulls, like it, 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 it's so much worse. Um, Going to the left. Okay. Okay, I'm not sure I'm gonna win this one. Uh, I don't have enough of a lead. All right. You have to go to the left to get the, uh, the other banana. Turtles should not be this fast. All right. All right, that was easy. All right. Okay, let's go. Let's go on. Uh, that was too easy. This game sucks. I should. I should be playing Crash Team Racing instead. No. Um, yeah, Boulder Canyon. Boulder Canyon? Is this is this Mundane Matt's favorite level? Uh, oh yeah, to be fair, this is a really good course. Why didn't I play this? This course is awesome! Oh, but doing the mirror mode. I think this was the course I was playing when I, I last played the game. Shit, I remember like struggling with this one. This is such a good track, holy shit. Okay, yeah. This is like probably the best public craft level. I love it. Man. Like going down the rapids is... I don't know, like, there's something about going down in rapids in racing games, which is, like, the greatest thing ever to me. Like, Shy Guy's Fall, well, Shy Guy Falls is in a rapid, but it's a fucking waterfall, but same thing. Uh, I mean, look at this, you're going through this tunnel. Damn, yeah, this, is, this has to be my, one of my favorites. Didn't they talk shit about, like, Dra 
the dragon era, dragon forest when like I first started. Now like we've uh, <laughs> we've done three courses and they're all like really good. Yeah, damn. Like I, I really like this. Song. I really like this. Song. I mean, like the game. Like here's the thing. I think this game has over Mario 64. I think it looks a lot better actually. I think like the, 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 the tracks themselves look better. They're just not like very good tracks. You know what I mean? Like the design, the aesthetics, they're, they're, they're like top tier. But... Fuck you, Conquer. Barry's never coming back. <laughs> You're never gonna see your girlfriend again, Conquer. Alright, um. I really wish that like 12 Tales got made and then they made Bad Fur Day. I think that would have been funnier if like they put out like uh, 12 Tales and then released a sequel, Bad Fur Day. Rather than, like, retooling that for Like, right now, there's so many, like, cancelled Rare Rare projects that we know, like, existed that I really wish, like, uh, Racer Surface. Like, you know, Donkey Kong Racing, uh, Conquer Skull Tales, uh, Dinosaur Planet. Like, one of the things I'm really noticing uh, when I'm playing, as I'm playing through, like, Star Fox Adventures is that, um... Is that, like, there's a lot of shit from, like, Dinosaur Planet still in the game. Like, lore bits... Like, it, particularly, like, there's a lot of, like, stuff in the lore that makes it pretty obvious. Like, um, it was meant to be, like, a lot more important than the Dinosaur Planet game. But, like, unfortunately, it doesn't really get a lot of acknowledgments. Like, I'll probably be talking about this in the retrospective, but, like, there's a lot of content. Like, Crystal herself is, a. am not sure why people don't talk about this. She's technically the last... Are you... How... Who was ahead of me?! I don't see anyone ahead of me, do you? I didn't see anyone ahead of me! How did I get in second? Well, Crystal is uh, technically the last Nintendo Rare Rare character, and uh, I, think that, I think that's a big reason as to why she's so popular, is that she kind of sticks out compared to like a lot of other, uh, other Star Fox characters, I think. Because um, again, like Crystal was, uh, in the original Dinosaur Planet, Crystal was meant to be like her own playable character with her own storyline, with her own dinosaur partner, which sounds awesome. Uh, again, like, Dinosaur Planet, I think, if it had actually come out, would probably have been, like, a top tier Zelda clone. Like, I legit... Like, honestly, like, playing Star Fox Adventures again, I think I prefer it to, like, games like Okami, like, uh, Beyond Good and Evil, like, Darksiders. Uh, I think that game is great, um, honestly. Like, playing it again, like, I, I am having a blast. Like, I thought it would be, like, some kind of... Con I, th I thought it was, like, some kind of polarizing favorite, but, like... As I've gotten older and, like, have uh, kind of refined my taste a little bit, like, I, I kind of feel like Star Fox Adventures is really, really good. Um, it's not just, okay, I like it, for, despite its flaws. Like, no, I, I like it any. I, I think it's great, like, um, so far. Like, may, maybe I'll change my opinion later on, but, um, like, especially the ending, because, like, whenever people criticize the game, it's not like modern Nintendo. When, when people criticize Star Fox Adventures, like, I agree, like, wholeheartedly. Like, when people criticize, like, Star Fox Adventures, like, the ending in particular, like, the final boss, like, yeah. Uh, it makes sense why people wouldn't like that, you know what I mean? But, um, at the same time, it's like, well, uh, what about the rest of the game? You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's still good. You've gotta be kidding me. Like, I didn't get the balloon or the boost. What is going on? Uh, okay. What is going on? It's like, one day Matt is must be fucking with me. Shit. He must be flagging this video. Fuck. Alright. Why is this boulder king? I don't see any boulders. Like, did Matt make make off with all of them? Like shit. Ugh. This is a really good course though. I like it a lot. Wouldn't it be something if Crystal was in this game? That would have been something if, like, Marcus and Crystal were in this game, too. <laughs> and then, like, Marcus isn't a thing anymore. Well, actually, yeah, the, the protagonist's name of, like, is, uh, of Dinosaur Planet is Marcus, right? I, I, I believe so. Um, I, I was just doing some, like, uh, I was considering doing some, like, um, a, a Star Fox Command retrospective as well. Like, I was, gonna, I was gonna do, like, this really thorough, like, analysis of, like, the lore of Star Fox Command and do, like, a comprehensive, like, guide to, like, all the crazy bullshit that happens in it. Because a lot of people do not remember some of the finer points of Star Fox Command, which are actually, in hindsight, really, really funny. Like, uh, Crystal's views on Andros, which are basically, like, NSJW's views on, like, uh, 
unlike Worf, he basically like treats Cornarians like they're white people, and uh, Andros like they're innocent apes who didn't do anything wrong. Like, um, like Andros only did what he did because because General Pepper uh, sent him to Venom, like ignoring the fact that like. <laughs> Andros, like, was conducting all these terrible experiments. Like, Command tries, this, tries to do this thing where it tries presenting, an like, the Andros and, uh, um, Andros versus Pepper thing is, like, a, a much more morally questionable, like, relationship. But it, but it really isn't. If I, if I remember correctly. Uh, I'm gonna have to, like, play through the game again, like, extensively. Um, I think I'm gonna get it on Wii U and, uh, probably go through, uh, record a bunch of footage for it, um, because I think it would be really interesting to do that. Um, I talking about like Crystal's like weird shift in personality in and of itself. I think is a is a really good idea for a video. Because uh, Crystal's just bizarre, like all over the place. Like when it comes to personality, like adventure, she's like you know how rareware imagined her, and then like in assault, she's like just a, a member of the Starbucks team, and then in command, she becomes like she cucks box, joins Star Wolf. <laughs> And like tries to justify Andros's actions, like, like what? I, I don't remember how she tries to like. Oh yeah, yeah. She tries to tell Fox that the the only reason he hates Andros is because he killed her. Fa he uh, Andros killed um, his father, and and he doesn't. He's not actually considering like Andros's like actual motivations in doing so. Like I think she tries presenting it as like um, they're at war and like it was just a casualty. It wasn't anything personal. Um, I don't know, Crystal comes off like a complete cunt in, in a, a command, if, I, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, I'm gonna have to play it again, to be sure, but like... I don't- I think it depends on the route you pick. Like, I think depending on what you do, she becomes like a lot more sympathetic. Uh, but in some routes, she becomes like, terrible. Like, um... Like the fucking, um... Like the fucking Cursed Path? Where like she just she just leaves everything behind and becomes a completely different person and like Fox meets her again and doesn't recognize her. Like I don't know. Like I don't know. There are a lot of characters in Command that uh, I'm kind of I'm kind of kind of surprised they didn't bring Miu or Faye back for Command. Like I remember them adding like a bunch of characters that like nobody cares about anymore. Like Dash, like Andros's grandson, um, who's actually like a good guy at first. But then he becomes the emperor, like it just like the anglers in general. I don't think I don't remember the anglers being bad villains. Uh, I'm really curious as like how they're gonna hold up, like on a repeat playthrough. Uh, I have not played Command at all since it came out, so it'll be really interesting going back and playing it. Like it's the polar opposite of Adventures, though. Like Adventures, I've played a lot over the years. Like I know everything about Adventures, but like uh, fucking Command, I I, I can tell you. Um. Yeah, I'm kind of curious if, like, the strategy, the strategy game aspect is any good. I suspect it might not be, but, uh... I've heard the game is, like, monotonous as fuck. Uh, but, I mean, well, I, I played the game. I think it is, but, like, yeah, I don't know. Command was, like... Honestly, it felt like a step in the right direction after, like, Assault. Honestly, like, Assault is the one, like, I don't care for at all. Like, which is kind of weird, considering how most people feel about it. But, uh, Assault is the one that I, uh, I don't like at all. Like, like playing it again, I was just like, no, I can't do this. I've only beaten it once, actually. Uh, Command I've beaten several times uh, when it first came out, and then Adventures i played consistently since it came out. Uh, but Assault, like, just awful, like, I think. Which, you know, yeah, that curve is really fucking with me. Like, wh why, am I, why am I losing all my mem momentum? Is it just because I, I turn a little bit? And... Shit, go! Go! Yeah, we got it. Well, here's the thing about, like, well... Trump's not losing anything. Like, here, here, here's the thing. Like, uh, the public is very, very aware, aware of what's going on. Uh, so it's like... Um, they're not really doing themselves any good by, like... Constantly refusing to uh, to hear people's very real concerns about the election, right? We we have uh, we have plenty of evidence. Uh, the fact that the courts are like uh, refusing to look at them, like it it's uh, it's making them look bad. Like they're not they're not going to have any credibility. 
Um, well, they, they lost their credibility, I should say. Um, so people just aren't going to take them seriously um, going forward. Um, we already know the election was rigged. Um, like, going to the courts was just a formality, I feel like. Yeah, I really can't emphasize it enough, like, Biden didn't win shit, like, he didn't win any one of those states. <laughs> Let's be real. Like, other than maybe, like, the coastal states, like, no, he didn't, he didn't win shit. Um, Why I shit, on, shit talk Dragon Forest? In hindsight, like I love all these tracks. And this might actually be my favorite in the game. I think I said the Dinosaur Place was my favorite, but I think I like this more. Uh, What we have to understand is that, like, the government is really, really not doing anything but making people hate them. Like, if they force in a candidate that, like, nobody actually voted for, it's not going to end well. Um, oops. Alright, oops. Ah damn, what the fuck? Ah, uh, we gotta fight Drag, we gotta fight Smokey coming up. Oh, I'm so looking forward to it. We gotta raise a fucking dragon, huh? You would think this would be like one of those highlights of my childhood thing, but I don't... I don't remember Smokey at all. I don't even remember his name, really. I don't remember the octopus's name, either. Uh, what? Fuck! Damn, I should have won that! Ah, damn, alright. Okay, I got conned, whatever. So far ahead of me. Alright. Banjo, right. fuck off. There we go. Yeah, I, just, I keep missing that last boost. I had it. Here we go. Da, 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 da. Okay. 
I just have to hit that last boost and I'm good. It's not that hard of a race. Like, it, I really shouldn't have lost the first couple of times, but I keep missing these boosts. And my enemies take advantage of them. All right. <laughs> yeah, they're not other racers. They're my enemies. Uh, yeah, fuck you, Banjo. Ah, shit. Take the mark turn. Yeah, fuck you, Banjo, you piece of shit. This guy looks like a, a low, sounds like a low IQ voter here. Shit, all right, here we go. I challenge you to a raise. Wait, he went before the, he took off before he said go. What a piece of shit. Did you see that? What a cheating fuck. Well, anyway, what a piece of shit. He literally like started running before the bell went, went off. Can I? All right. So he really is a Biden voter, huh? All right. Well, we gotta take him out. No wonder I don't remember this race. It's lame as fuck. I'm sorry. You can only, like, get a false start once, you stupid dragon. Right. I'm not even using my boost. I'm just going to wait for it. Is he going to get turbo boost out of nowhere? Like I said, if he is, if he is a Biden... If he is a Biden voter, he's going to have a lot of... A lot of methods to cheat. All right. Ah, I probably should have got the little hopes. This, this, this is real. After the octopus, this is really easy. Uh. I wonder if it's just as easy in the rematch. I didn't even use a whole lot of balloons there. Excellent. Now try my new challenge. Collect all the silver coins from my world. Find eight from each level and win. Then come back and see me. These coins are gonna be obnoxious to, to get. Uh, they're they're really bad with like the, the planes because like they can technically be anywhere now uh, because you can go any any direction you want. It's uh, they don't have to restrain themselves to the track, so like, they can hide themselves in really really terrible areas. Uh, I didn't shit, yeah, there's one over there. I've literally missed like all of them so far. Look at this one. It's way out here. Now we have to do the silver coins again, then we gotta fight the dragon again. But then we gotta fight Wizpig. This is gonna be obnoxious. Here we go. You have to fly way out of your way to get a lot of these. It's, uh, it's gonna take a while to get that get the hang of it, I think. Here we go. Alright, so there's one to the left here. One to the right.
the silver coins are kind of fucking me up at the moment, because I'm like, what am I supposed to do? All right. Okay, to the right here. Yeah, there we go. Uh, is there one... Huh? I don't see any more. Where... I can't think of where more could be. All right. Did I miss any? I think there's one up here that I didn't get. One that I keep missing at the end there, but I'm not sure where the remainder could be. I think the race itself will be pretty easy, I just need to find all the coins. Uh, honestly, I'm more worried about the coins than I am about the, uh, the race. Like, the thing to do, like, on, on, the, on the rematch is just figure out where all the coins are and then try to win, try to get them all, and then try to win the race. Uh, oh, damn, they're way ahead, shit. Where the last one is. Um, I keep missing that last one. Uh, there. I'm not sure where the one I'm missing is. One, okay, okay, but where's the one I'm missing? Like, that's the thing. Like, even if I win, if I don't have all the coins, it doesn't matter. All right. Uh, can it be the left here? I never did. Get no. I think like getting hit by missiles are worse when you're in a plane because you just tumble to the ground and it takes a lot of recovery. Yeah, there's one over there. Yeah, yeah. I, I have all of them, but... Well, I, I, there's the one down here, but where is the last one? Shit, yeah, I keep missing that one for some reason. Uh. Yeah, I don't, I don't see it. I, I don't see it. Like, where could it be? Hello, hello. Yep, I'm playing Diddy Kong Racing again. I'm trying to beat this, uh, trying to beat the Silver Coin Challenge. Oh, oh, there he is. There it is. Yep, knew it. Behind the haystack. Alright, All right, then there's the one at the end. Alright. Alright, so I just gotta get all the coins. I, I think I should be able to do it next time, uh, now that I know where they all, where they all are. It wasn't too bad. Um, I mean, that one behind the haystack. I wonder if it's like how hard it's gonna get to, to grab it without losing momentum. But other than that, um... go for it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, damn, I got it. Yeah, yeah. All the all the coins with eight plus. Yeah, that's uh, that's exactly what I was supposed to do. Go. Okay, first things first, collect all the coins, and then, and then win the race. Uh, easy peasy. Oh, fuck! Okay, that is, uh, that was kind of a fail on my part. Oh, get back here! 
I wonder if I can even come back from this. This is kind of uh, ridiculous. Okay, yep. Yeah, there it is. All right, yep, easy. And then, yeah, that's actually that's actually an ideal location because I, I want to fly around there. Get the blue thing. Uh, yeah, I'm an eight to plays, but wait, did I miss one? Which one did I miss? I got the one behind the haystack. Uh, oh, yeah, here it is. Okay, yeah, it's a long course. Okay, so it's a, yep, yeah, we got them all. Well, as long as we get the one down here. Yep, fuck. Yeah, I had to spin around to get it. Okay. Uh, how in the world am I gonna, am I gonna catch up now? Look at this. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do my best, but shit. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna think, I'm gonna have to work on getting them smoothly. Um, fuck yeah. I was trying to get that balloon, but I'm not sure if that's possible. Yeah, they're so far ahead of me, I don't think I can win. Uh, yeah, in between the spin and, like, the... Uh, that awkward bit at the beginning, yeah. I am completely fucked. There's the way I can come back from this. Uh, There's legit no way. There's no way I can win. Fuck. I was so desperate I got the boost there. I got in seventh. That's so lame. Okay, six. I think I, I think I'd made it four. Yeah, like, you know, it's always the top three that you need to crack into. Like, it's like, in order to, like, have a shot. Like, look at the gap between us. Like, I can get four, but that's the best I can I'll be able to do. Dude, what are these guys doing? What, what are they racing like? like? Shit, why do they suck so much? Okay, we got all the coins, we got in fourth place. Okay, so... I know what I'm doing, okay? Like, I know how to do it. But that takes a lot of trial and error to do this. I, I cannot, I cannot repeat this enough. I, I don't like the silver coins in this game. They're, they're pointless. I just, I just want to raise. I don't want to collect shit. Okay. Yeah, fuck DK City Four. This is, this is the real game that killed the collective on Shawnee. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean that's an easy one. So we can, we don't need to get that. Yeah, yeah. Oh damn! All right. Um, yep, I think we're still in the running here. I cannot believe I hit that shit. All, all that time spent, like, missing the, uh, the, the, uh, the octopus, and I can't even hit, the, I can hit these guys with no problem. Like, these guys who are in the air in planes, I, I have less trouble shooting them down than I do the, the octopus. Right. Yeah, they're pulling ahead, but I think I can do it. I, I, yeah, I think I can still catch up. Uh, I have plenty of time. Uh, and I'm, I, I'm simply a better racer than them. That's, uh, that's the main thing here. But yeah, they are, they are still getting way, way ahead of me. Uh, get third place. Okay, come on, got it. Okay, that was painful. Did you see what I had to do there? Like, shit. Like, some of these coins are ridiculous to get. Uh, yeah, I got a ground boost just because I was so desperate. But, nope. Yeah, I, I can't hit that turn. Like, I, there's something about that turn that I just cannot hit. All right. All right. Yeah, I'm not sure I'll be able to win. Um, maybe if I, I had... Oh, why am I competing with Banjo? Like, it's like we're in the lead, but they're so far ahead. There's nothing we can do. Alright. Okay, I missed that. Um,
Oh, yeah, yeah, there's no blue shell. Yeah. People forget the importance of the blue shell because it prevents people from getting too far ahead. Um, so people can actually recover and actually uh, get back into it. Yeah, I mean, I think I do like the Mario parts even better, honestly. Uh, yeah, I need, I need to stop doing that. That doesn't work. Like, I keep trying to get that balloon, but it, I don't think it's... Uh, it keeps, like, hindering me more than anything. Uh, yeah. I'm probably going to have a lot of problems with uh, Greenwood Village as well. But, um, for the most part, I'm not sure... I don't think Haunted Village is going to be all that hard. We'll see. Shit, uh... Oh, I forgot the haystack. Shit. What are you doing, Diddy? All right. That was just ridiculous. What am I doing? All right. I'm curving all over the place. Um, I don't know. I, I, have, uh, I, beat, I beat the Octopus. I beat, like, all these races. Uh, maybe it's time for me to take a break. Uh, play something else, I should say. It does the uh, Star Fox sound good. I never did beat it last time I played it. Uh, yeah, because, like, I got tired. Like, I was, like, I've been streaming for, like, six hours. And, like, I popped in Star Fox 64, and I got to, like, Area 9. And I was, like, I, I just can't play it anymore. I, mean, I was just so tired. I would have just paused it and then just uh, ended up playing it again. But, like, it, it's an M4 game. I couldn't, I couldn't do that. Yeah, I forgot the haystack in. Shit. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm going to have to go back and get the... I am completely... Uh, yeah, I completely... Even if I do win... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to get the, uh... The gear up the SP4. Wait, no, wait. No, it's the wrong haystack. Uh, yeah, the, the plane has sharp turning, too. Uh, I just don't use it very much. Alright, uh... Wait, what am I missing? Yeah, the haystack one, I know, but... What's the other one? I'm completely missing my other, uh, my other thing here. Here it is. All right. Okay, if I can get, if I can shoot him down. Okay, is that good enough? No, it's too late. Shit. Oh, we were close. If we didn't have to swerve out of the way, we're gonna have to swerve out of the way for that. Ah. Uh, We're good. Okay, we are good. We're in last place, but we we got all the coins at least. Uh, oh, damn, I, I missed. Yeah, we're in fourth place, but yeah, the guys in the lead got way ahead. Uh, damn, no! Are you serious? All right. I knew I should have gone to the right. Like that windmill is just not just. Uh. Two guys right ahead of me. So like then there's the uh, the guy way out in front. Yeah, if I didn't fuck up the uh, 
Okay, I think if I get ahead of Conquer, shoot him down. Oh, fuck. Yeah, fuck that up too. Uh, okay, I might be able to manage it. Uh, no, I don't think so. I think we're uh, fucked. Yeah. Damn, just barely. Just barely, but yeah. Yes, yeah, second is the, uh... Oh, I forgot the haystack again. Shit. It's always the one I forget, right? I'm concerned about, like, staying out in front of the moment, so it's like... This one is kind of annoying, too. Uh... Can I just bump Conquer from behind? Shit. He's right there. Yeah, I think I'll be able to overtake him. Uh, he doesn't... They don't like... See, they don't seem to like using the boost right now in this course. I think it might... It might be because of how the plane AI, AI works. But, um, they seem way less aggressive than they do on the ground. So I got shot, but he was ignored? Oh, come on. Right, uh, yeah, I would have I been in front if uh, that hadn't happened. Um, but I can catch up. Plenty of time. Oh fuck, no. Yeah, you can't hit both, it feels like shit. Yeah, I think I fucked that up. Uh, yeah, I was so close, but I just I had to hit the windmill on. Huh? Oh no, if I if I had saved it. Ah, damn, mom. Oh. Now oh, he's crying over smoke. Smoke I suppose. I, I totally had that. Uh, yeah, I totally had that in the bag. Uh. Honestly, like, should I just skip the boost? Because, like, I think it's... I think it might be just be better for me to just grab the balloon, fly around it. Just because, like, I keep running into that window so often. Yeah, so a couple of things fucked me over that last race. I got hit, I got hit at an opportune time. And then I got... Then I hit the windmill. I think the windmill was the thing that really clinched it, though. Um, but nothing got, nothing got it there. Wait, what the fuck was that? All right. I'm getting aggravated playing this shit. Man. Uh, yeah, I think I think I should just get the, the balloon to the right there. I think it's. Better. Right, here we go. But we're in four. How'd they get so far ahead? All right. We have an entire other lap. But yeah, I'm not sure how to do it. They're too far ahead. Uh. Okay, well, I got that one. Maybe if I had another lap, I'd be able to catch up, but I don't think I'll be able to. 
it angles you to go forward when it really shouldn't. Like, I'm going at an angle trying to go around it so I can, like, get the boost but get the blue balloon as well, but it's not working. It's, like, re-angling me, so I I go towards the windmill, which is not what I want to do. Uh, Back one again? I think I must have. I missed this one too. Shit. Yeah, I, I, uh, that was not what I needed to do. I did not need to go off in that direction. I do have Luffy Oh shit. Yeah, I think it's screwed. They did. They just, um, the courts won't see it. They're throwing them out before they actually see the, the they actually present the evidence. Because, like, once the evidence is presented, it, it becomes really, really obvious. That uh, Biden cheated. They just desperately don't want that to happen. Um. But of course, like the public already knows, so it's like it's kind of pointless at this point. Um, like if they force Biden through, it basically just means your vote doesn't matter, and then people won't vote for them in general. And then, like, we're gonna see a lot of, uh... <laughs> we're gonna see a lot more, um, let's say, active political protests uh, going forward. Oops. Because you can't replace these people. Like, you just can't, you can't throw them out of office. You can't do anything about them. Uh, and they need to go. They all need to go. Uh, if anything, Trump's the one guy who shouldn't go anywhere. There we go. Yep, we're on the front. All right. Like I said, like the whole system is corrupt, which is the only reason they're uh, putting on this facade. In, in, in general, oops. at all, I should say, in general. Time. The only reason they're putting on this facade is because they're corrupt. That's, that's all there is. Really but uh, oops. yes, at every level, um, for the record. Damn! Alright, that's annoying. Um, get flying around. Yeah, yeah fuck that. Wait, wait. Oh yeah, he can do it with no problem. They have no problems flying through there, but me? Oh yeah, fuck you. Yeah, fuck you, Diddy. You can't fly through that window. Right. Uh, fuck you, Drumstick. He's probably gonna recover, too. And look at that. Like, he... Okay, I'm in front. I have all the coins. I think I'm good. If they try boosting in front of me, I'm gonna shoot them down. I think we're good. Yep, we're good. Who won? Alright, awesome. Yeah, all they're all they're trying to all they're proving is like how how oppressive they are, like how tyrannical this government is. Uh, so they are they are proving they need to be replaced. So uh, yes, I, I do think that's going to happen. Um, I think they made a really really critical mistake in uh, pushing for uh, Joe Biden as hard as they have. Um, Oh yeah, I should be collecting coins. What am I doing? Well, I mean, to be fair, I'm looking for the coins and I haven't seen any. Like, uh, there's one in like the well, right? So we have to like, one of the first things you have to do in this one is like, like do this ridiculous curve. 
Is there one in the well, too? I don't think there is. Uh, let's check. No, no, it's over the well, so yeah, that's fine. Uh, here is the evidence.org. It's like, it's easily available, dude. Like, don't be a, don't be a fucking dipshit. Um, Again, you're not changing anyone's mind. That really, that really needs to be like, that really needs to like, uh, you really need to realize that like nobody who's seen the evidence is gonna like, is going to like take your dismissal of it like seriously. Um, just like we're not taking the uh, the Supreme Court decision seriously. Um, like it happened because they were corrupt. That's all there is to it. Like they didn't come to the right conclusion. Uh, here we go. Well, assuming that, like, uh, that's even true, because, like, it, I, I've noticed that the mainstream media has been, like, presenting certain things in, like, a really weird light, so it's, it's very possible people just don't understand, like, uh, what's actually... They actually did something completely different, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, in the next couple of days, we'll see. Um... I mean, like, I think something else is just going to pop up, though. Like, that's the thing, is that, like... The, the evidence is so overwhelmingly powerful that, like, any court that, like, seriously throws it out is just setting itself up for failure. You know? just, set, just setting itself to be laughed at. Um... Oops. Like, you can't have a system that's clearly so... that's so clearly biased towards, like, certain groups of people. Like we've been having, and not have people like fight back against it. Like that's kind of what we're uh, we're doing right now. Uh, the situation is in the situation we're in. Um, it, it's just like extremely violent. And I think things are gonna get worse too. So like, uh, it's not gonna like end after Trump. So yeah, we'll see uh, how things turn out. Oof. Fuck, what the fuck is that? I... I don't know, I'm really, I'm really, I'm really curious, like, how the mainstream media would hypothetically, like, hype up a Biden administration, like, uh, try to pretend Biden is, like, a great president, but he's clearly not. Like, even now, they're, like, going full overboard, like, putting him on, like, Time Magazine. <laughs> like, trying to convince people he's, like, he's, like, a good person. Like, he's a good, he was a good candidate. It's, it's ridiculous. It's, like, worse than, like, the Obama administration, I think. Which was already pretty bad. Like, Obama didn't do shit. Like, not before his pre presidency and not during it. But, uh, Biden hasn't done, like, anything, period. Oof. Oof. Honestly, like, we just need, like, some kind of, like... The problem right now is that there's no way to deal with these people. Like, you can't just ignore them. Because they're just, uh... They just sort of force themselves on you. Like, the mainstream media needs to, like, be held accountable for all of its actions over the past, um, four years. Like, there's nothing you can really do about it. Like, I mean, I don't watch them at all. They change their narrative so much. I'm not sure how anyone can even really follow it. Um. Oh, that's right. There's one back here. What the fuck? How are you supposed to get this one? All right. I think I'm ready for a break. I mean, I don't know. Maybe she'll just know. This is not like... I don't know. The silver coin challenge is kind of wear me out. Is there, um, is there a silver coin challenge in Future Funland? I think there is, right? You fight Wizpig once and then you have a rematch. Is that is that what you do? Or, or do you beat Wizpig twice? Or is it three times? I actually don't remember what happens. I've only done it once. Um, yeah, not a, not a fan of uh, Future Funland. I mean, yeah, you know, I think I'm ready to take a break. Um... Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Let's see here. Uh... Let's 
place is Star Fox. Hey. Expert. It's about time you showed up, Fox. You're the only hope for our world. I'll do my best. Andros won't have his way with me. Grimlock. Open the wing. All right, let's go. It's nice to uh, play this, uh, to be playing this regularly again. I, I love, love me some Star Fox. I mean, this is one of those games like I've played to death. You know what I mean? Like I've played it, I've been playing it constantly for like 20 years. It, it, it's always fun to come back to, but like yeah, it, it is one of those games I really can't play like, play again for the first time. It's uh, oof. so frustrating. Entering Corneria City now. This is horrible. Everybody stay alert. Take the one behind me. Something's wrong with the G diffuser. I guess I should be thankful. This game never gets old, it really doesn't. Oh man, I'm just so in love with it. Pretty smooth flying, Fox. It's a Falco. I kinda miss fighting the first boss. Like I, I tend to almost like default to the second boss, but like. Follow me, Fox. Now, should I go to Katina this time? Last time I did uh Where you going? Last time I did um uh, Aquas, but I think I'm gonna like go to Katina and then Solar and then probably Macbeth. Hit the switches myself and then go back to second nine. Ah, that's getting over time. Time for a little payback. They really need to like make more Star Fox games. They really need to like make more arcade shooters in general. Um, gotcha. Yeah, honestly, like, do they really? Yeah. I don't know. I, I've been thinking about this a while. Like, do we really need like to be worried about like entertainment and stuff we want to see? Like, it's just. Yeah. Incoming I'm more concerned about like the government at this point, uh, honestly. Um, thinking about that all day. Like, how are we gonna fix everything? Oops. All right. Get him when he gets a certain distance away. Right. I got him before he fired this time. Uh, 
Metal awesome. Oh yeah, it is. It's truly one of the greatest games of all time. Star Fox 64. Oh yeah, yeah. It's not just the uh, United States for sure. Like uh, I think India and China are going to war. Uh, France has its um, tax problems. The UK, uh, the UK pulled out of the EU. Um, yeah, it's going to be shenanigans for the next couple of years. Um, it's not just the United States. Uh, really, I, I think this is the main reason I'm not like too concerned about the election right now. Um, um, like the power, the establishment is losing control over everything. Like that, uh, that's the reality. That's why they've come so hard on down on this on a world worldwide scale. Why they've locked everything down. Why they're becoming so oppressive. Uh, they're trying to stop the pushback. They're trying to stop, like, the revolution, basically. Uh, and, and they're failing. Uh, they, they can't even, like, get people to wear masks. Like, like they are basically failing to control the population. Like, everything that they had set that was meant to, like, control the population, like a, a climate uh, climate scare tactics, um, uh, race baiting, um, academia, like, it's all basically, like, become powerless and um, not as influential. And uh, people are, like... Um, uh, becoming aware of that and that uh, people aren't buying into like the socialist narrative like they're supposed to um so yeah the next 10 years is uh gonna be something uh somebody's gonna pay for all like, I'm kind of worried about like uh, publishing a book in like a wartime economy like that because it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be one of those things. It's gonna be like World War Three tire maybe. I don't I don't know. Like it, it doesn't feel like we're fighting each other. It, it feels like we're fighting like uh, uh how should I put this? Like a, a bunch of different wars happening at once. So I'm not sure if I would call it a world war. Uh. A bunch of civil wars, mostly, and like the the China and India one. Um, so we'll, we'll have to see how that turns out. Um, yeah, it, it would be nice to see the Chinese get fucked, honestly, because uh, they've been ruining everything with their like microtransactions, pretending Genshin Impact is good, like things like that. Um, um, honestly, like. Hmm. It, it's probably a good thing overall that we're like going this way honestly like make some major changes like we need to get rid of like uh you know the homosexuality agenda and things like that um like there's there's just a lot of fun things fundamentally wrong with society that i think that like a good conflict would like put an end to like people like dsp wouldn't exist anymore e thoughts would um, wouldn't be able to exist it's uh Mm. I've got everything above. I don't know, like, we, we really need to, to deal with, like, the people who don't work. Like, that's the that's the big thing that's, like, really getting to me right now. Like, I don't like how it feels like um, so many people have so much more than I do when I don't have shit. Well, when, I, when I've been uh, working so much, basically. Um, it's not just, like, rich people. It's, like, um, people on welfare and stuff like that um, who just get all this money from the government for no reason. Uh, that, that, that needs to stop. Um, we're gonna break through that fleet. You're becoming a better pilot. See, I'm, I'm expecting shit to like get really wild in like the next couple of years. I'm on your side. Um, it's like I, I think the government did overstep their bounds uh, with like the the COVID shit. Location confirmed. And like people are beginning to realize that. Um, it's basically over. Like people are like actively like protesting the uh, the lockdowns and shit. And I imagine that's going to erupt into, like, protesting uh, against, against yeah, um, the fraudulent election, too. Um, like, I, I think the issue now, right now is that, like, people... I think people are organizing to do stuff tomorrow about the election. Uh, so we're going to see how that turns out. Uh, that, that's, that's, a get, that's another reason I'm not concerned about the, the Supreme Court decision, because people just aren't going to let it happen. Uh, 
uh, we are <laughs> people are, are going to fight against that, and it's going to be uh, something to see. Because again, like, how 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 long can they really reasonably continue to pretend that like 80 million people voted for Joe Biden? That, that that didn't happen. That that did not happen. Like, if they did, well, where are they? Like, where are these people? Like, <laughs> trying to try a new weapon. Yeah, like I, I think I think that the narrative right now is that like Trump supporters aren't going to do anything. Uh, I think they are. Uh, I think there are plenty of people in a position to, like do something about it. Um, because again, if the government is corrupt, you have no obligation to like obey their rules. Like if they're not following their own laws, like fuck them. Um, if they're not holding like organizations um, like Facebook or YouTube accountable, like fuck them. Um, I, I do think that's the main thing we need to do, like, exert some control over these fucking corporations. Because, like, I think it would have been even more obvious that uh, Trump had won the election if, like, uh, YouTube, Google, uh, Facebook, Twitter hadn't been actively suppressing the information. Um, and we know they've been doing this, so... Like, you wouldn't have retards like this guy coming into my chat asking where the evidence is. He would have already... It, it would have already been shoved in your face, like, several times. We're heading for Auckland. Report in. There you go. Your skills have improved, Bob. I guess you're good for something. But, like, I, I think, like, the, 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 um, the big thing is that, like, people aren't going to trust elections going forward. Because, like, we know that, like, they're corrupt at every level. They had every opportunity to correct the ship, to, like, to really go in hard on Biden, and they didn't. Like, they didn't go in, they didn't go in on the bunch, the Hunter thing. They didn't go in on, like, the election fraud, which we know happened. They didn't go in, they didn't do shit. Like, they just, they just threw up their hands and said, like, Biden won the election. Like, which was completely unacceptable from the onset. Biden didn't win shit. Um... Uh, so again, like again, it's not just the Democrats. Like when I say the establishment, I mean like the Republicans as well. Like, um, well, they're they're all just puppets. But like we need a, we need a way to like actively get these people out of office and have them all replaced. Like literally all of them. Like it's not just like about like oh Pelosi sucks. Like no, they're all awful. They all get behind her shit. Like this should not have happened. Um, we can catch up later, Fox. We can catch up later, Fox. I think this was the first mission I ever got a mission uh, a mission accomplished in. Oh no, no, it's not. Uh, well, I mean, is that really a mission accomplished? Is, is to get the one on Medios? The one before this, the one where you get the warp. This game never gets old. It really doesn't. Like it's like everything about it is perfect. Like it is the iconic like real shooter. People talk all this shit about like Ace Combat being good. It, it, it isn't. Like I was shocked at how much I did not like Ace Combat. Like Ace Combat cannot hold a candle to fucking Star Fox. Like there was a brief period of time, like right before Ace Combat Seven came out, where like oh man, Ace Combat Seven, it's uh, it's the best fighting sim ever. And, and then like it came out, and like nobody cares about it anymore. Like. I don't know, the corporate shilling is getting way out of control, I think. Like, it is really ridiculous, like, uh, seeing things like Cyberpunk come out, be completely broken, and seeing people, like, justify it, like, saying, like, aha, that's what you get for not supporting the PC version. It... it what? <laughs> like, the game is broke, like... <laughs> they, like, make the issue about something it isn't, it's just... Um... Again, it is, like, blind corporate worship, I think. Uh, primarily, oh, here we go. No, I'm not. I'm not a socialist. If anything, I would. Uh, I get nothing from the government, right? So, um, if anything, I would put an end to the uh, the socialist programs that are already in place. Um, Here they come. 
No, I'm not blaming other people. Um, hmm. They just shouldn't get anything from the government. That's it. Like, I actually have plenty of stuff. Uh, hmm. How best to, like, express my views on this? I remember being a, a retarded kid and not being able to tell apart, like, the ship. Was I the only one who wasn't able to tell, like, the good ships and the bad? Because, like, I kept shooting down our guys. Uh, oops, here we go. Damn, all these missions are so creative. I just... I just uh, wait. Kevin the base. I fucking love Bill so much. He's so cool. The bad guys, Wait, I, okay. I don't even think I shot it. Ah, oh, whatever. Bill actually says me. something different if you manage to get through here with uh, relatively few casualties. These guys are so fucking incompetent. I don't understand. Like, it's a handful of dudes in ships. Like, just shoot them. Like, the I can kill, like, three guys on my own. Like, is Fox really that much better of a pilot than, like, everyone else? Like, he's the only one that can get things done? Like, you know, we make fun of Slippy, but, like, what, what's with these guys? Like, what are they doing? Like, they're not shooting at the mothership. They're not doing anything. Like... Fuck off, Bill. Like... Alright. But yeah, seriously, I love this mission a lot. It's so, it's so cool seeing, like, so many guys on screen at once. Yeah, that, that's that's all Star Fox really needs to succeed is just like in, just have like larger scale battles. It's kind of what Zero did. Like it kind of had those awesome like space battles where you're like going inside ships and shit. Like it was awesome. Like they just need to do more of that. Like they just need to be. Uh... I won't let you get away from me. Again, like all Star Fox. Uh... Man, there's just no end to these Here we go. There's some sort of energy there's some reaction. Sort of energy reaction. The core has appeared. Stand by to attack. This is one of my favorite games ever. It really is, like, it really never gets old. Like, I wish there were more games like this. Like, like I don't know what you would call this kind of this uh, this kind of game, but I don't think it can be considered a shmup, considering, like, it, it's actually mission objective-based. And it's, like, in an easy-to-process manner. It's not, like, Rogue Squadron. Um, it, it's kind of interesting. Like, I like Rogue Squadron a lot, the original, uh, but, like, I don't... I haven't replayed it at all since I beat it. Um, maybe that could be something I do on stream, like, uh, Rogue Squadron... Uh, Return to Rogue Squadron, uh, because I have not played through that in years. Since I beat Diddy Kong Racing, actually, I think. Uh, Diddy Kong Racing, uh, Rogue Squadron is really fucking hard, um, when you don't know what you're doing. Uh, I think once you, like, know the missions, though, it gets a bit easier. Like, yeah, Rogue Squadron is, like, a little bit too complicated, you know what I mean? Where you have to, like, figure out how things work, and, like, it just, ugh. Like, figuring out, like, what um, containers to shoot during that, like, Vespin mission or whatever the fuck it is. Um, I, 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 like, is this safe to say this is better than Rogue Squadron? Like, I, I would say it is, because it, it's, uh, it's had a much longer legacy and people want to see more of it. Uh, I'm glad we're on the same team, Fox. You owe me one. Oh, yeah, yeah, the, the music of Star Fox is, like, top tier. Like, legit, probably my, uh, my favorite game soundtrack ever, um... Yeah, top ten. Yeah, yeah, I, I would say it is my top ten. Uh -huh. I like F-Zero X, too, but, like, F-Zero hasn't had, like, enough sequels. To, like, I like F-Zero X's soundtrack. I don't I don't like the original soundtrack. I don't like it. I don't like F-Zero GX's soundtrack. I don't like anything about GX. I'll be careful. Why do we treat Solar like it's a planet and not a sun? Like, I don't, I don't understand that, like... Fucking really? Like, it's not a fucking planet. Like, it's clearly not a planet, but... And there are, like, living creatures in the sun? Like, how, do, how does that work? Like... Keep an eye on your shield gauge. So, like, Andros is so overwhelmingly powerful, he managed to conquer the fucking sun? The Arwing might not oh, is, is that the lore? Is, like... Did Andros make these things to live in the sun? Up to 9, the sun is a lot hotter than that! 
Wait. How hot is the sun? It has to be a lot more than 9,000 degrees, right? Or am I, like, bullshitting? Like, how hot is the sun? Like, come on. It, it can't be 9,000 degrees. Well, I mean, I'm getting hurt, so maybe that's why. Like, Oh, yeah, I love how Bill comes on this mission where you literally do not need him. Like, Bill, like, you didn't even help in Katina. Like, come on. Like, don't you have better things to do? Like, don't you need to be helping your unit, like, not get murdered? Did you just protect Katina and then just give up? Like, I don't know. I don't get what it is with Nintendo and, like, their mercenaries being so much better than, like, the actual government bodies. Like, Star Fox is better, like, Samus is better from Federation. Uh, what was the other example I was thinking of? Uh, oh, yeah, Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem mercenaries are way better than, like, every every group of people. Like, the Grail mercenaries in Path of Radiance are, like, the strongest group of people on the continent by the end. Uh, like, for sure. Like, even, even like, gameplay-wise, they clearly are. Like... I love how in, like, Radiant Dawn, like, the game tries to present, like, the uh, the conflict between Dan and, like, uh, Micaiah and, like, Ike is, like, completely serious, when, like, in reality, like, Ike would just destroy her, like, without even really trying. Like, it, it's kind of, like, pointed out in lore, too, that, like, Micaiah can't even, like, see the future. Micaiah can literally see the future, and there's literally nothing she can do to deal with Ike. Like, th there's nothing. Like, she is so fucking outclassed by fucking Ike. It's hilarious. Um... Micaiah is, like, really obnoxious. Uh, definitely, uh, definitely not one of my favorite Fire Emblem characters. Um, honestly, like, she was probably my least favorite until, like, Azura came along with her bullshit. Like, I'm not going to explain, like, the shit that literally would have saved, like, thousands of lives. Like, fuck off, Azura. You're, you're a piece of shit. Uh, like, Micaiah is annoying, too, because, like, the game wants you to think she's, like, a literal savior of, like, Dane, but she's not. She just sucks everything, like... Everything she does is wrong. Like, like she's like... Part 4, she's a lot more bearable, because uh, by that point, she's basically possessed by Yuna, and it's not really that big of a deal. And, like, Ike takes his rightful place as the protagonist. Um, it's just... This is the enemy's bio weapon? I love this game's line. I don't even know what the fuck is so, like, horrifying about this thing, but it's great. It's not even that hard of a boss, but, like, Falco freaks out of it, like, when he sees this. Like, I don't... I don't get it. Like, maybe it's an arm? What the fuck does that mean, Peppy? Okay. Maybe it's an arm. Shoot the arm. Yeah, I'm really wondering how, like, how badly I'm going to be affected by, like, all this shit's going to happen. I don't... I don't know, man. Uh, I mean, I'm definitely not, like, fighting on behalf of, like, the United States government. Like, that's not... that's just not going to happen. Um, damn, this game looks gorgeous. Like, look at that. Look at that animation. Like, look at the... look at the design. I just... Even today, this is really impressive. Um, you did it! Glorious. Absolutely glorious. This game never gets old. Like, damn. Every time you play it, you can just do something different, and it just... Of course, it, like, we always end up going to Macbeth, because it's the best level ever. And then we also end up fighting the left side of Andros, because... I, I, don't, I don't like fighting the right side of Andros unless, like, you deliberately want to do everything in the game. 
and like just just for a, a radical change of pace like generally speaking i always like like going the left side um there's no reason not to right that is definitely the one thing i think zero was really missing was that like a true ending like maybe that was the plan like maybe that's one of the things that was cut because we know like a bunch of shit was cut from zero like uh people don't talk about that but uh they were gonna have like multiple missions per per planet so like it was gonna have like three times the amount of content so um like i legit think they probably should have just delayed zero again like just delayed it a couple of years released it on switch uh with the motion controls i don't know it was just a matter of bad timing you know what i mean like they they had they had the switch plan but i think zero would have been successful if like they it was in a normal environment right like people were really determined to hate that game um, I don't know. I don't take, like, gaming critics seriously at all anymore. Like, I, after, like, the Game Awards, like, you really shouldn't listen to the people at all. Like, not the YouTubers, not, like, the, uh... I don't know, man. It, it, it does feel like people are, like, having having enough of, like, these critics and their bullshit. Like, The Last of Us Part Two, like, people were just, no, it, it didn't win shit. Like, people were literally saying that, like, literally anything other than The Last of Us Part Two would have been acceptable. Like, Animal Crossing, Ghost of Tsushima, Doom Eternal. So it's not, like, they've gone beyond just, like, fucking over Nintendo fans, basically. Like, they're, now they're fucking over everyone. Um, and, uh, that, that's gonna get more and more people angry. Um, Oh, should I do a Mario's Award show? I don't know. Like, I don't think I played enough new games this year, honestly. Like, I've mostly been playing old stuff all year. Um, to be fair, a good reason for that, because nothing good has come out. Um, I mean, I, I guess I could play some Origami King. Um, yeah, I need to stream some more. Like, games like Sakuna, games like Origami King, like, uh, Deadly Hermitition 2, uh, they were really, really good, but I just did not... I could not stick with them. Like, I had so much going on. Like, I, I just want to play... I, I just want to chill, like, sometimes and play some games I, I want to play. Like, I wanted to play Pikmin when I got today. I didn't actually play it. I, I think I'm going to do it tomorrow, actually. I'm going to plug in the GameCube and try to... to try to do some GameCube stuff. Um, I was thinking of making, like, a Nintendo Classics for Soul Calibur 2, actually. Um... I guess I should be thankful. Actually, come to think of it, I could probably just make a, a Nintendo Classics for uh, Star Fox 64 tonight. Hmm. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm struggling to, like, find a, a direction to bring the channel in, honestly. Because, like, I want to use it to, like, uh, to review shit, but, like, I don't have time to do it. It's just, like, it's, it's obnoxious. Um... With everything I do, it's really difficult to, like, um, put in time to, like, edit content. You know what I mean? Like, this is just this is just my ordinary game time, like, that I just decided to stream. But um, actual, real edited content, it's, like, it's basically impossible for me. Like, yesterday, um, I was so worn out. Like, I think I, I didn't do anything after the Game Award. Um, because of everything else that had happened that week, uh, this week. Um, I, I do think it's a really good sign that, like, uh, we as a society are, like, severely overworked when that, that happens. Like, when you can't even, like, do anything after, on your day off because you're so tired. Um, I, I don't know, maybe it's just me. I think I, I think I do have, like, some kind of serious health problem. Um, but again, like, that goes into another issue, like, why am I not being checked out? Why was I not checked out? Uh, well, I'll tell you why. It's because my parents are lazy pieces of shit, but... Oh, we're lazy pieces of shit, I should say. Uh, I guess I don't really make decisions for me anymore, but... I mean, that that's kind of the underlying issue. Like, whatever a problem like this turns out, like, oh, why why didn't I do this? Oh, it's because my parents. Like, every single time. Like, oof. Yeah, now that I'm gone, it's like, holy shit, like, literally all my problems went away. Like, overnight. Like, um... Well, all, all the really grating stuff. Yeah, 
Yeah, this game is so much fun. Okay, now shoot the switch. This never gets old. This is legit, like, still the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. I, I, I cannot, I never get tired of seeing this. Come on the gas. I review games when I have time, but there's a lot of shit I haven't been talking about because I'm just so busy. Oh, hit the brakes! Stop it! Oh, damn! This is still, like, the most awesome thing I've ever seen in my life. Like, I, I love this. Like, top 10 NC4 moment for sure. Damn. Phenomenal. Yeah, people shitting on N64 graphics are like, I legit do not take them seriously. They are so full of shit. Like, um... It's really bizarre, actually, how well, like, Super Nintendo N64 GameCube games have aged. Like, at the Nintendo era games. Like, it's not just Wind Waker. Wind Waker is the one that people always point to as, like, an example of, like, Nintendo's artistic uh, merit having, like, not aging, right? But, like, it's not just Wind Waker. It's, like, shit like Luigi's Mansion. It's shit like this. It's shit like, uh... Um... Yoshi's Island. Like, those games are still gorgeous, even today. Like, I would say Yoshi's Island legit looks better than modern games. Like, I was looking at Miles Morales the other day, and I was, like, laughing at those cutscenes that, like, look like they're out of the PS2 era. It's just, wow. Like, they haven't improved at all, like, over the past decade. Meanwhile, like, Nintendo is always putting out cool and innovative things on all their consoles all the time. It's, it's just remarkable. Um... Oh yes, by the way, I have gotten all the medals. Um, this is a game I have completely, like, demolished. I am playing on expert mode, I don't think I, uh... Should I play the credits, just to, just to show it? Because I, I sometimes, uh, as a kid, didn't go through the credits. Um, because, you know, I beat the game all the time, right? But, like, I do love them. They, it is a great ending. I think I will show it off, uh, actually. Um... Do you copy? Yeah, I, I love just playing these great games and sharing them with you guys. Uh, just talking about things we like. Uh, um, it, it is something I really enjoy doing. Um, Entering Venom Air Defense Zone. Everybody, stay alert. Space mines ahead. Yeah, this is where I gave up last time because I was so tired. I should be able to beat it this time. Um, I'm not as tired. Um, actually, like. Oh, for the past couple of weeks, um, I, I guess this is the big reason why I'm, I'm not complaining so much anymore. Uh, I have been able to recover, so, like, I, I have, like, taken a day off to, like, recover, and, like, I, I do have energy again, so it's not, like... Th there, was, there was, like, such a long period of time where, like, I, I was so tired I couldn't even, like, stream. I would, like, stream for, like, an hour and a half and, like, went to stop, and now I'm, like, doing it for, like, six hours again. It's just... It's great. No, 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 I, I take that back. I stream for six hours. I, I write... <laughs> I, I go offline, I write, I watch movies, I do all this stuff, like, I watch, I actually enjoy my life again, it's, uh, it's fantastic. I, I, I can't emphasize this enough, um, quitting my last job was a, a really, really good decision. Uh, like, I think a lot of people were speculating, like, oh, is he fucking himself up right now? It was, uh, it was the best possible thing I could have done. Fuck that job! Like, seriously, I, I can't emphasize that enough. Um, it is terrible. Um, I really, like... You just need to not put yourself in that position, and, uh... I don't know, because of my background, I had to put myself in that position. It was just... It was really, really frustrating. Not yet, sir. They're on me! I'm getting challenged! What's taking you so long, boss? Ah, oh, Those tin cans are no match for me. It threw me for a loop when I saw these things for the first time, and like they throw out like the double energy beam instead of like the single one they do on normal. 
What are these things called? Like, why do they only appear, like, right before the checkpoint? Like, like has anybody else noticed that? Like, they're, they're pretty consistently, like, only seen, like, right before the checkpoint. Like, I, I don't understand, like, what, what they are, like, what their purpose is. Like, is it to protect the checkpoint? Like... You know, playing this again, like, it, re it really, like, just brings it back, like, how much I love this game. Um, obviously, like, I think Zero does a lot better, but, like, it, it uh, I, don't, I don't think it became, like, I don't think Zero is, like, a classic the way this is. And I, I think a part of that is because it's so pol polarizing, but, like, I, I do think, like, Zero needed more content. Um, or difficulty settings, at least. I think that would have, like, really helped. Like, have, dif have difficulty, difficulty settings, have rankings boards. Make it, like, a real, really good, fleshed-out arcade experience. Um, I think it's what Star Fox should be, is, like, strive to be, like, a classic arcade experience in the home. Like, have it be something you can replay, like, endlessly. Like this, you know what I mean? Like, um, Assault is not that. Command is not that. Uh, Adventures is not that. Um... The last, line has been the last line has been breached. I can't believe I gave up. Oh, did I get the medal here? Wow. It's so much easier to get the medals on like expert mode because there's so many more enemies. Enemy ahead. This one's different. Oh, and I have all four of my guys too. So. Uh... We were so close to Ben. Yeah, this is a great boss, but boy, does it take a while to be. Uh... It's such a creative boss too, like. Um, like, I can't emphasize this enough. Doesn't it feel like bosses like this don't get made anymore? Like, that, like, they all feel, like, completely unique. They all have, like, completely different fighting patterns. They all, like, they all have different weaknesses. They all even have, like, different personalities. And, like, you don't even know what this thing is. But, like, you know, it's so iconic. It's just, like, you can see this as being, like, Andros's last line of defense to the planet. Uh... Yeah, I don't like how you have to, like, uh, weaken it several times to do it, but I don't know. I guess it makes it feel a little bit more unique. Like, maybe, makes you think that maybe you're doing something wrong. Uh, be, I know what I'm doing. And I think the last several times I played this game, I, I, I lost someone. It's kind of remarkable I still have some, like, all my guys. Hey, Einstein, I'm on your side. Yeah, they're whipping out, like, everything they have to try and win. And, uh, it's not gonna be enough. Star Fox is gonna pull through. Destroy all three energy balls. Yeah, but then the, the thing goes out. Got it. We got our medal, too. Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as you have a plan, it, it shouldn't be a big deal. Uh, yeah, I haven't been able to like accomplish any of my goals. Well, I mean, some of my uh, some of my weirder goals, like uh, you know, growing all my own food, that that hasn't happened yet. But like, other than that, like I, I think I'm pretty set. Like I'm not, I'm not in an area that's gonna be in a, a war zone or anything like that. Uh, Hold on, we're entering Venom airspace. Yeah, I, I expect things are going to get a lot worse uh, going forward. I don't know, as long as you're prepared for it, it shouldn't be that big of a deal, though. Because, like, you're dealing with people whose, like, entire operandi, is, modus operandi, is just to tell you, like, to do certain things. And then they get uppity when you don't do, do whatever it is they want. Like, if you just... Uh, if you're in a position where they can't really control you, there's really nothing they can do. We'll just see about that, Star Wolf. And that's kind of that's kind of happened with me already because like uh, I've talked about this before. I'm not. I actually don't need to wear a mask at, anymore. 
like they try to force it on me and I'm just like no so I, I just like take steps to like not go places where they mandate it and of course I haven't gotten sick because of course there is no pandemic there I mean there is no pandemic um Peppy what you fucker Peppy ran into me and then blamed me he got rid of my blue laser fuck okay you don't really need the blue laser to win, though. Yeah, when you have all four guys, this is a this is a great final encounter. But when you have all four of your guys, it's kind of it, it's uh, kind of easy. You know, I, it would be easier if I had my blue lasers. Yeah, why would I do that, Peppy? You flew into me. Okay. I'll take care of you. Okay. Yeah, right now, um, I want, um, here we go, oops. Right now, the, the plan is, like, to get the books to, ta um, to become very, very successful, um, independently, and then I should just be able to, like, just live off of that. Um, obviously, well, like, I, I need a big enough fan base, like, I don't want to just have one major success and then just live off that, that's... Not really what I want. Gee, I've been saved by Fox. How but like, I, I think the point is that like, uh, when you work for yourself, it's gonna be a, you're gonna get more out of that than working for someone else. You know what I mean? Um, I'll go it alone from here. Again, like I've already seen like life improvements, but um, I still have a long way to go to like accomplish my goals. Like, what was I even talking about? Like, I, I kind of like lost the the boat there. Oh yeah, we got, yeah we got we got the medal. Awesome. Control the galaxy. You know that I won the presidential election. It is foolish to come against me. You'll feel true pain. I love how much I'm just LARPing as like every every bad guy in every game is like Biden or like <laughs> a fucking Biden supporter. Okay, oops. But yeah, uh, ma make sure you're, you're like in a good position before you quit. Uh, absolutely. Like, I, I want to be like in a perfect condition before I, before I like permanently leave the workforce. Where like nothing can touch me. So like, I, I would suggest you do the same uh, before you do it. Oops, uh, oops. I was thinking of getting a motorcycle, actually. Um, I was thinking that, like, uh, saving, like, not not owning a car would actually be really cost-effective. Oh, here we go. Only I have the brains to rule Lila. Oh, no. Oh, no. You show your true form. So he was a giant brain all along. I love how they never actually explained this. Like, I've, uh, I've actually heard, like, uh, people debate over, like, when exactly Andros became a giant brain. Because clearly he was he wasn't always one in the lore. He just kind of is in this game. They don't really like elaborate on like why this is. It just, it just kind of happens. It's just kind of kind of ridiculous. Um, I don't know if like if the Starbucks series continued the way Zelda did, we'd probably have a better idea. Just like we know, like have a better idea like where the masters were being from and stuff like that. Shit. Oops, yeah, 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 I, I am getting careless. It's not that hard of a fight, but... Yeah, I, this is actually the first time I've played this game in a while with a good controller. Because uh, I, I recently picked up some... 
Well, I, I've more recently picked up, like, good N64 controllers. So, like, I have a bunch lying around now, so I don't feel guilty about using my, my good ones. Because um, I, I, I wore the shit out of, like, my Trialboard ones. They're, like, they're downright unusable. Um... Ah, damn. Yeah, I lost. No! Ah! Hang on, let's do that again. That was kind of embarrassing. I've been waiting for you, Star Fox. I mean, working isn't that bad. Like, I don't think the problem is really uh, working. The problem really is just, like, how you're treated, like, the expectations, uh... Um, the requirements to get a good job, actually. Uh, um, the refusal of the, um, among, like, older people to train you, it's, uh, it's very, very noticeable. Like, it's very, uh, very clear, a very clear problem. Um, I don't know, once you start, like, making it, though, it starts becoming easier, easier and easier. Uh, it really, it really does get better, though, uh, once you get into, like, a position where you're, uh, Pretty comfortable. Because again, like you don't want to sit around playing video games all the time. You know what I mean? Like you want to do something else. Like I, I do legitimately like what I'm doing right now. So it's. Um... So wild to get him. So does he actually get hurt even when he's not flashing? That's kind of interesting. Only I have the brains to rule my life. So, Andros, you show your true form. I wouldn't try to become a YouTuber, though, because uh, I think with I think like the way things are going right now is that like uh, people are just going to the YouTubers are eventually just going to be cut out. Like you're going to have like a select group of people who are allowed to be uh, successful YouTubers and everyone else is just not going to ever become successful. Um, um, it's not really a viable career path. I don't, I don't think I need to tell you that, though. Like uh, YouTubing as a career is retarded. Um, I've always maintained that. Uh, um, get a real fucking job, you bums. Um, That was quick. All right. Uh, I love how like he tries to spin away, keeping his weak spot away from you. It's it's great. Uh, as a kid, this was actually not that. This is actually a pretty difficult boss fight. Oh, Yeah, do you think I should, um... I started to play through a Paper Mario. Does Paper Mario sound good next? Oops. I think that is one of those games I want to... I want to, uh, get through again soon. Um, so the Paper Mario, starting that again would be a lot of fun. I mean, I, I did start... In the, I already got through the, uh, the, uh, the amazing opening segment, by the way, but... Um... Yeah, I think I want to continue. I, I love Paper Mario. Like, the original... Like, the original holds up. Like, The Thousand Year Door, not so much, but the original is a classic. I might, I might actually do that. Like, The Thousand Year Door versus uh, Paper Mario. I really need to, like, talk more about that. But that's been something I've been kind of been saying for a long time. But uh, um, in the world of, like, in a world filled with Arlos who, like, think The Last the Thousand Year Door is the greatest thing ever, I think I need to, like, outright come out and make a, a really good video on it. Um, I don't know. There's always so much shit I want to do, but, like, I never have time. Uh, oof, all right. 
Unless I like really commit to it, it's like uh, we got shit. And like honestly, like YouTubing is just a passion project for me. It's never gonna be a career. It's never gonna make me money. So like, all right, here we go. I'm taking you with me. I wonder if that is like the Democrats' plan. It's just like we're just gonna fuck things up so badly that even if we lose, you're gonna have to deal with like the fallout. That, that's kind of what I'm, I'm feeling like uh, right now, because like the uh, don't ever give up. People are starting to realize that the COVID uh, payouts weren't really a good thing. Um, I, I've been saying this for a while, but um, they should not have given us like money. Um, Follow me, Fox. Just because of the pandemic, like no, just. Like, no, people are not starving. Like, fuck off. Nobody is starving in America. <laughs> like, fuck off. Um, if anything, people need to eat less. But, uh. this way, Fox. Yeah, I think we're going to watch the ending cutscene and then play some Paper Mario. I am really fired up about playing some Paper Mario. It's been a long time. Um, I got to get, like, I think I'm going to play through, like, a, a number of, like, N64 games and then... Uh, and then I'm gonna go back to Super Nintendo. Oh, GameCube eventually. Um, I think I want to stream Pikmin and Luigi's Mansion before the end of the year. Actually, I might do that tomorrow. Actually, I mean, I guess I could just set it up tonight and then just do it on air, but um, just switch consoles. But <laughs> then it would be like Let's Play N64 and GameCube, which is kind of, which is kind of weird. I wasn't planning on switching consoles. Uh, You've become so strong, Fox. You've become so strong, Fox. Isn't that cool as fuck? Like. Top 10 game endings, for sure. Love that. Love that. There's so much about this game that's, like, literally top 10 worthy. Like, seeing that for the first time, like, blew my mind as a kid. Like, magical moment. Mission accomplished. Okay, uh... Holy shit, it's only 11? I thought it would have been, had to have been a lot later than that. Okay. That's our leader. What's wrong, Fox? Nothing. Nothing's wrong. Yeah, I was thinking about this ending a while ago. We're like, uh... 
I was thinking about this line a while ago where like uh, Pepper offers Fox like to be part of his like his armed forces and Fox is just like no thanks fam. We are in your debt. I would be honored to have you as part Oh, Rick May died recently, didn't he? Oh, no, sir. We prefer doing things our own way. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to be one of those We don't want to be one of those schmucks on Katana. You can't even shoot down like one of those tiny tie fighter things. It's time for us to go now. Yeah, yeah, we're gone. Like fuck off. It's such a shame we never got a real sequel. Like, I, I think they could have done a lot, really. Um, like, is it safe to blame Rareware for, like, the shit they pulled with Adventures? For, like, why we never got a real Star Fox game? Because, like, I like Adventures, but, like, you know what? I would have preferred getting a Star Fox sequel and getting Dinosaur Planet. Like, it, we lost two great games in favor of, like, one okay one. Like, come the fuck on. Uh... I'm hearing that the Supreme Court might have thrown out the case because the election technically wasn't over yet. So that might be, uh, that might, that might explain, like, the bizarre, uh, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, I, I, again, um, the bottom line is Biden didn't win the, the election. Uh, yeah, kind of an interesting uh, idea there. I'm not sure how relevant it is. I don't know, the narrative changes so much, like, from the, the, from the mainstream media. Because they were pretty scared of, like, the Texas law lawsuit up until tonight. Because um, I'm, I'm kind of wondering what happened. Like, I thought the Supreme Court was just threatened, but we'll, we'll see. Uh... So it's safe to say that, like, uh, the sequels take place in, uh, the timeline where you didn't go to the left side of Venom and Andros got away. Because, like, you kill him for good here. You don't see his face here. Um... Great job. I don't remember this image. Huh. I guess you get it when you beat it on Expert, but uh, I guess I don't really pay attention all that much. Awesome. Yeah, eighth, seventh. That's my best score. Yeah, three thousand. Oh no, that's the one that. Yeah. What? What? Okay. Awesome. Uh, great, great game. Uh, Yeah, in hindsight, I probably should have recorded a... I should have been recording so I could make a Nintendo Classics video later, but I, I guess I could just do it later. Um, I mean, I have plenty of time to... Wait, what? What the fuck? No, fuck. No. I 
And did it delete all my files? Oh, let's see if it's permanent. Sometimes if you turn it off quickly enough, it's uh. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's a lot better. Uh, <laughs> that's a lot better. All right. 23, 23. Yeah, so it takes about I took 20 hours to get through this. I guess I should stream through the entire thing. <laughs> so I, I love this game. It is... Oops. Hang on. Yeah, we gotta... Yeah, this is one of my favorite RPGs ever. Uh, one of my favorite games on N64. Um, and I... <laughs> My favorite game in the Paper Mario series. Uh, I greatly, greatly prefer it over any of the sequels, including the Thousand Year Door. Uh, I love how you don't have action commands right away. It kind of eases you into like how the, how the battles usually work before you add up tacking on like the action command shit. Yeah, I prefer this game way more than the um, than uh, um, Legend of the Seven Stars. I think this game has a better combat system, I think it has a better story, I think it has better characters. Uh, I think the, uh, the level design is way better. I think the environments are more creative. Um, basically everything about this game, uh, this sequel, is way better. I kind of wish Nintendo did, had done that more often. Like, every time like a company turned Raider, okay, we're going to have a new team do it. Like, <laughs> like oh, oh, uh, Rareware Bounce? Okay, we're going to have a new team making collected thons and first-person shooters. Like, Nintendo really should have been on the ball with the first-person shooter thing. I don't know why they still don't have, like, a first-person shooter franchise. Like, just make a Metroid. Like, just make a, a Metroid game where you play as the Federation and make it, like, you know, an online first-person shooter. That's all you need to do. Like, just shit. Um, I don't know. I was playing, like, Halo earlier today. That, that's actually what I was doing before I went live. I was playing Halo, and it was... Uh, it was actually pretty awful. Um, not gonna lie, I was uh, I was playing some online matches with some people, and I was just like, "This game is boring. It's slow. Uh, fucking, fucking Perfect Dark was way better." Like, um, Halo was only successful because of its control scheme and because of uh, and because it had, on uh, had it had online play when most games didn't have it. That's it. Like, it's not it's not that special of a game outside of like those two things. Um, Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I guess I could. I mean, I, I guess I could do that, yeah. Uh, that might actually be uh, beneficial to me, actually, so I don't have to worry about, like, uh, recording footage. Um, I mean, I'm doing voiceover work. Like, uh, when I'm, I'm doing, like, the Star Fox Adventures playthrough. I'm not commentating over it at all. I'm going to add the commentary later. Um... Red and blue? I'm sorry, isn't it supposed to be red and green? I don't know. I don't buy that you're actually brothers, because the blue one should be green. Uh, but anyway, uh, they sort of like added that into like the Thousand Year Door, but like every every younger brother was like green. I, I guess it kind of just slipped their mind for this one, but. Um, But yeah, like, one of the things I really like is, like, every, every, like, encounter is so memorable, it's so, like, iconic, like, like, it's all so creative, like, you're just going up against Goombas here, like, you meet a nice family of Goombas, and then you go up against, like, bad Goombas, it's, uh, it's simple, but it works really well, uh. You'll pay for that, Mario! Yeah, this is uh, probably probably one of like the go-to like um, I would say um, beginner RPGs. Like this is something I would recommend to like kids who have never played the genre before. It's something I'd recommend to like anyone like looking to get into the genre. Like it, it, it's simple and accessible but appealing. You know what I mean? Like, it, it does a really good job of that. Like I, I legit think the only reason that like so many people prefer the Thousand Year Doors because it's way darker. Like, um, I don't, I don't think it's a better game at all. 
Um... Yeah, I have not played this. I have not played this, this game in like since high school, actually. So it's a, it's really interesting uh, coming back to it again. Hang on, let's uh, let's heal. Mario beat us up. This is a, this is another really good example of how like simple sim simple like visuals can be appealing and like age really well. I think. Like obviously like uh, the thousand year door looks crisper, but I think there's a. Get him. You'd better be. Damn, I forget how much I love the soundtrack of this. I forgot how easy that is. Like, shit, I thought, like, they, they took a couple of hits, but no. Uh... Such a good, such a good, such a good game. Uh... As a kid, like, doing this for the first time is kind of intimidating, but no. How old was I when I first played this? I, I legit don't know. I remember, uh, we bought it off of eBay. So it had to have been, like, early 2000s. Hmm. Yeah, we got a strategy guide too, so like. Maybe 2001? Hmm. I knew we could do this. I love how I'm playing this, but not Origami King, the new one. We really are at that point where, like, even the games that I really, really like. Okay. I'd rather just play the old ones. Alright, here we go. Not that I'm saying. Or I'm not saying Origami King is bad, because it's not. Good fight and all that. You already pressed it? Yeah, because these idiots left the switch outside. This is a prologue encounter, so it's not that spectacular, but... <laughs> Isn't this awesome? This is something that just would not happen in a more realistic game, you know? Um... Ding! That's right, we can go. Oh yeah, um, the first reason this game is way better than the, the the sequel, you can actually spin dash. I do. I have no idea why they got rid of it in the Thousand Year Door. That always annoyed me. Oh yeah, and, and the Peach chapters in this game are way better too. I, I can't emphasize that enough. Like they're so simple and heartwarming. Like. Um, You are sure that Mario can never defeat us, right? I love how this game, like, kind of, like, kind of goes out of its way to emphasize that things are different this time around, with Bowser having, like, all this power. Why they decided to parody the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles of all things, but it's great. I love the Koopa Bros. Oh yeah, we're the coolest of cool.
Yes, ma'am. I love how they hype up his, like, their special attack. This is... Oh! I'm not easily impressed, either. Oh, no. <laughs> you idiots! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, that's great. I love that. All right. Oh, you don't actually see Princess Peach in that chapter, huh? I guess it's not until after you, uh... Is it until after you meet the, uh, the Star Spirits? If I'm rem remembering correctly? Damn, like, I, it's just something I like about this game. Like, Origami King, it has its own appeal, but, like, it's not really my thing, you know what I mean? That, that, that's kind of my, that's kind of my impression on it. Like, it's a great game, but it's, like, it's one of those things where I'm just like, eh, it's not really what I want. Oh, Close Call, yeah, I, I much prefer Close Call over... Should I go see Luigi right away? Mario, I'm so glad you're okay. The town is in uproar. The prince is kidnapped. The very castle uprooted is Bedlam. Save her highness. Yep, I am uh, working on it. So Luigi's just sitting here like a dumbass, not doing anything. Luigi just like, well, I'd love to come with you, but uh, I need to look after the house. Like, what a fucking dork. Like, I, I love Luigi in these games. He's he's hilarious. Right. I am one bad toad. I, Felicity, I so, I am so scared. I love how, like, all the toads have names, they all have personalities, and they all have relations with, th with each other. A gossip-loving toad. Underground news? Aw, oh, shit. This looks so real. I just love how it looks like. I love how you can just come here and look at like how terrible it is. So not every toad ha toad have ha um have names, but a lot of them do. All right. Um, yeah, I think you go up and speak to the star spirits. Oh, I, I love this area so much. Oh, I probably should have stopped at the toad house. Uh, whatever. Ah, uh, well, not a big deal. There's nothing up here. Isn't this, like, such a majestic thing? This is actually, like, the first screenshot I think I ever saw the game, was just, like, Mario climbing his mountain, and, uh... I don't know, the music is great, um... The aesthetic is great, uh... Alright, let me explain the plot. We're the Seven Star Spirits. I'd like to trounce Mario, or I want Princess Peach to like me. Of course, stars ignore such selfish witches. Oh no! So yeah, the plot is actually really similar to the, um... This guy's a Hitler stash. Alright. Yeah, 
Yeah, so the plot in this game is actually really similar to Super Mario RPGs, in which you're trying to get people, um... Trying to get people's wishes, uh, granted. Um, oof. I'm surprised more people don't point that out, but, uh, That is something I've noticed now that I've actually finished Super Mario RPG. My like, Thousand Year Door is certainly original, I'll give it that. Everyone's in prison. If only someone could help me. We're so we're so high above the sky right now. Even Mario doesn't have a chance of reaching us up here. <laughs> if only someone could help me. It's our boy Twink! A character that I wish we saw more of, because I, I really, really like Twink. Uh, he's so much better than Tech. Like, fuck. Princess Peachy, my name is Twink. A day ago. Literally a day. Just So he comes to Princess Peach? Oh, so you don't actually play Peach. It's just setting things up. Aw, don't worry about me, Mario. Oh, Mario. Where are you? Yeah, Paper Peach is a, a really compelling character. I really, really like her. Like, the way she's portrayed, per, portrayed in these games. Um, She comes off like a real, legit, like, JRPG princess. That's great. Okay. You got the lucky star. No, fuck you. I've already... I, I've played the game before. Oh, what? Oh, no. Wait. Ah, oh, damn. I, he, uh, Gabor on me. All right. Would you like to hear what I said again? No, I don't. All right. Okay, now we're going. We have to go through this tutorial that I don't need to go through. I think I, I think I know how to do action commands. Uh, and do you think I should like um, one chapter a stream or something? Like I think I could beat Koopa Koopa Bros Fortress tonight. Um, I mean, obviously, like I have other things I want to play too, but. Um, I mean, I just like the areas and the bosses and, like, the, the situation in this game so much more than the Thousand Year Door. Uh... No, I'm done. I'm good. I remember the tutorial being brutal, but I guess not. Alright. I guess that was before I knew how to do it. Here you are. She'll give me a raise? Oh, no, I don't think so. I don't think you're getting shit. I don't think you're getting shit, you piece of... You crap. Is that... Oh, the only reason these guys fight for Bowser is for money? Like, shit, do they actually believe in this cause of kidnapping Princess Peach? It's just... They're just fighting for money, okay.
Oh, and you level up here, too. Uh, I think we want badge points first. Oh, I should have done FP. All right. Anyway, well, it, it doesn't really matter what you do. Because you'll just do something different the next time. That she's very lonely. Aww. Yeah, way to make me worry, Twink. Let's get down to business. All right. It does kind of look like a Kirby game. Uh. Merlon was looking for you. He lives in that house with a spinning roof. He asked me to tell you to go meet him at his house. It's rare for him to come out of the house at all. Shit, is he is he hiding from COVID? Okay, uh. Because you told me. Because you told me to come, dipshit. Alright. You're Mario. I love the Merlins. They're they're great. I love these characters. Back in the day, I used to think they had like some grand legacy that would be expanded on in like subsequent games, but they never really uh, go into that. I don't... What was he trying to say? Yep, yep. I, I know where to go. Oh, fuck. Wait, who are these guys? Who are these handsome individuals? It's way too dangerous. Going to Cooper Bros. Fortress would be a huge mistake. <laughs> Damn. It seems like this Toad is always in love with someone. Right now, he likes Minty. I think he's in good spirits. As long as he can be near here, he'll be happy. Why don't you talk to her, you bitch? Ugh. All right. Water and dirt, sunshine power, beautiful blooms, beautiful flowers. My name is Minty. Please enjoy the beauty of this flower garden. Yeah, she's actually pretty important because she helps you get to, like, uh, the uh, World 6. Um, I again, like, it's not obvious at the, at the start, but she's very, very important. World 6, uh, the, the, get the 6 Czar Spirit, I, I should say. Yeah, I, I love how, like, how this is so well put together. Why don't we just send Merlin to fight Bowser for us? Because this guy clearly knows what's up. You aren't toads, are you? We're just cute, ordinary toads hanging out. <laughs> oh. oh, you're the Koopa Bros. The Koopa Bros Fortress. That's amazing. I love that. Ugh. Storming Koopa Bros Fortress. Every time I play this game, it just makes me happy. Like I love, I love like these uh, 
every chapter is just fantastic. Right. Where should I eat? Uh, I guess I am getting hungry. I didn't. I didn't eat before I went live. I'm shocked that I'm not hungry. To be fair, though, like I've lost weight too. So like I'm. I am shocked that I oops, um, that I haven't eaten yet. Uh, here we go. Knowing me though, I probably gained weight even though I didn't eat anything. But uh, we'll see. I'll wag my finger at you. Alright, here's the uh <laughs> It's getting like it's it's kinda difficult to replay this game because like, you know, it's pretty linear, but uh, whenever you do, you have a good time. Like it, it's been a long time since I've replayed it, uh, but now that I, now that I have, like I've taken the time to do it, like I'm really enjoying it. I, I think it's a great game. Um, it definitely lives up to the hype. Um, but yeah, I really need to go ahead and dizzy attack. I don't think I've ever seriously tried to use uh, dizzy attack. Uh, I guess I'll have it equipped it just because. I mean, I have the, I have the badges. Why not? Fright Jar. What does the Fright Jar summon? Is it Bowser? Here we go. Oh, I should I should have probably should have used Gambaria. Yeah. I probably should have like had Gambaria go first. I wasn't thinking about that. Um, I'm used to having like more party members and having like a quick swap enabled. So like normally I just like just whip somebody somebody out if I need to. But uh, Gambaria did not have the move. He big on that guy. Um, and one of the things I really enjoy about this game is, like, it, it plays differently than other RPGs. Like, it, it, it doesn't have, like, uh, elemental types. It has, like, uh... It has, like, uh, it has, like, situations like spikes and, like, uh... You have to take into account, like, how tall an enemy is. And, like, um... You know, you can jump over enemies, but you can't, like, hammer them when they're behind another guy. Like, it's, uh... It's things like that. It feels really different than other RPGs. I, I think it's one of the reasons it, 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 it holds up so well is, like... That's actually the main thing that really disappoint, disappointment, disappoints me about, like, most modern RPGs, because so many of them feel really, really samey. Like, I... Oh, no. Mean guys, they're really naughty. Stupid fuzzy, get back here with my shell! You have to go around, like, helping these guys. I love how like quick it how quick this is. You come here, realizes that there's a problem, and you take steps to fix it. It's great. Watch your overalls. Ah, oh, damn. Thanks, Mario. How cool do I look? Wait a minute, so they have to make their shells? Wait, so Koopas don't naturally have their shells? I, I mean, I guess that kind of makes sense, but... So they're not actually turtles? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Superpower, wasn't it? <laughs> Who's this guy? <laughs> Tim. Okay, you can't just help but go crazy. Okay, um... I think what you're supposed to do is corner him, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. 
How do you do this one? I don't remember how you get this. There you go. Okay, you sneak up on it, I see. It reacts to movement, okay. Thank you! Typical Mario Star, you're just as cool as I heard you were. Yep, I am indeed pretty cool. Nintendo is pretty awesome. Alright. I can't believe, like, I haven't been talking shit about Cyberpunk all stream. <laughs> like, eight years! I've been waiting, like, eight years for that game to come out so I can make fun of it. And, uh, now that it's out, I really don't give a shit. Like, ugh. What? Wait, could you be? Aren't you Mario? You are! My name's Cooper. Oh, I'm so psyched to meet you. Yeah, sure, I'll do it. I mean, we're just, we're helping everyone else, right? Like, why, why wouldn't we help Cooper? New York. I remember when I first played this, I thought fuzzies were something they invented for this game, but no, they're an actual Mario enemy. Um, I don't remember what game they're present in. And what, what game are they uh, commonly in, seen in? Like, is it three in World, I think? I guess I hadn't played World yet when I first played this. Not bad, chump. Must have been luck. This is the last one. Pretty quick. I think it was the same spot. Nope. Nope, wrong one. I don't think I've ever gotten it wrong before. Have my eyes gotten worse? Have I gotten older? Okay, uh, I guess they must have, because I don't think I've ever gotten that wrong. Uh, okay. Uh... Like, I love Goomba Wario, but like, he's not great in battle, so uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, switching out with Cooper. It typically, um, I think Paracarry is my favorite uh, partner in the game. I don't know how controversial that is. No, no, Watt probably is. I mean, Paracarry, Watt, uh, Bao. Well, Bao is my favorite character in the game, period. Uh, Bao is like shit. Like, I think like uh, Chapter 3 is something special in, in general, but... Um, take the stupid shell. Maybe. Uh, what a piece of shit. All right. I'm gonna sh We already got the shell bag. He's so happy. Professor Colorado. My favorite fucking character. In his egg? What? It's really weird that, like, uh, how Colorado seems to be a more fleshed out character than Cooper himself is, because uh, Cooper himself is actually pretty boring. Um, he's not really all that well established. Oops. Cooper himself, like, doesn't really have a lot of personality. Uh, compared to Coops, like, from uh, The Thousand Year Door. A uh, Cooper is just, like, a Koopa with a blue shell. Um, like, it's kind of weird. Um, like, I would legit say he's probably one of the um, weakest character-wise in the entire game. Like, of, of your party, like, Cooper doesn't really do a whole lot. Like, he's not involved in the plot in any way. He just kind of tags along. Which is a shame, because I like him a lot, but... Uh, here we go. Oh, damn, we're out of... Okay, hang on. I forgot about FP. I guess we're gonna have to boost the FP next. 
That's kind of that's probably why I did I shouldn't have a. Yeah, suckle on the. I cannot believe it's that early. Like it's only midnight. Like holy shit! Like I've been streaming for four hours. Um, I think I'm gonna order food and then just uh, and then just keep streaming. Uh, I'm not on stream, so I'm just gonna eat it and then like not talk and then uh, just play the game. <laughs> We'll be good, we'll be good. Yeah, we're gonna get the HP plus. Yeah, I think I'm gonna switch out um, Hammer Throw and... Uh, well, assuming... These things tend to be really expensive. Yeah, three. Uh, yeah, Dizzy Attack and Homer. Yep, perfect. Okay. So we have... I don't think I've ever actually equipped an HP plus before actually upgrading my HP stat before. It's kind of a weird feeling. Uh, right. I actually... I usually go to Toad, Town's, uh, Toad Houses all the time. I don't know why I'm a, I'm kind of, like, uh, not doing it this time. Uh, I haven't done it yet, but... Uh, here it is. So why, did, why are Toads, like, the innkeepers? Like, what's the logic? Like, why is it always them? Like, no matter where you are, it's a toad house. Like, do they control the economy or something? Like, shit. Like, why are they, Why is it a free service in this game? Like, it's free in the Mushroom Kingdom, but in, uh... Well, I guess Rogueport is part of the Mushroom Kingdom. Uh, technically. Like, it's free in this game, but not in the sequel. Which kind of, like, raises all kinds of questions about, like... What, what is Peach doing? Like, what is her... Like, Peach has... There has to be, like, something shady going on with, like, uh, the Mushroom Kingdom and its economy, because, like... Like, everything feels like it's, um... Princess Peach, why does she have so much money? How can she, like, afford, like, 60 different castles? Like, what... I think I need... Oh, wait, no, I don't. Got me. Like, coins are lying around everywhere, right? Like, why are you using currency that's, like, natural? Like, what, what, why... Like, anyone can get a coin. Like, like you don't have to work, it feels like. It's just... It's weird. streaming until like a long time because uh, I am really enjoying this right now and I haven't played games all week so it's like I didn't play a lot of games last night either so it's kind of nice just sitting and uh, playing some games Da, da, da. So I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna try to go for um, at least beat the fort fortress. I think I'll be able to do it that at, at the very least. Um, I kind of want to like play beyond that, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna want to. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna finish the game on stream. I think it's gonna be like a full, a full stream playthrough. But, um, because I've been wanting to play this game on stream for a while now, right? Uh, you almost want Goombario for like a lot of this first part because he's the only one that can, the only party member that can jump. So like he's really good against Koopas, actually. Uh,
I was thinking of playing Yoshi's Story too, but that can wait till later, I think. I have not played Yoshi's Story at all since, like, Woolly World came out. So, like, we've had, like, two Yoshi games come out since I last played Yoshi's Story, so it's gonna... It's gonna be, like, interesting going back and playing that again. Um, I think I think I will do a... I think I will do another N64 Classics video on that. Nintendo Classics on that one, too. I, I should just go ahead and, like, start doing more Nintendo Classics videos. Uh, I don't know. Even that, like, it's the easiest fucking process in the world. I just record footage and, like, um, talk about the game, but, like, I, I can't even be bothered to do it because I'm so, so busy. Um, Alright. I know I say that all the time, but, like, it's just, it, it's really ridiculous. Like, in, in my regular work week, I, I literally do not have free time. Like, I come home and go to bed and wake up and go to work. Like, every time, it's great. It, it, it is great. Like, I'm really enjoying it, but boy, um... Yeah, I think I like the combat in this game, too. Um, better than the Thousand Year Door. I think it, like... I don't know. I don't know how to explain. It. Like the Thousand Year Door feels a bit too overcomplicated in a lot of ways. Um, because like I think that's what makes this work is that it's so simple. Like the Thousand Year Door tries doing shit like with like style meters and like just the bosses having like a bazillion different a bazillion HP. Like uh, here we go. Oops. Will he actually go through all them all, or will he get stopped? No, no. That was, that was absolutely the best move to make. Alright. I was like, wait a minute, what is this? Okay. It's kind of weird, like, running out of uh, FP in this point of the game. When, like, usually it's like... I have so much, it's not really... I don't even think I use, like, um, FP attacks all that much against basic enemies later on. I'm kind of curious, like, what my actual strategy is what it's actually going to be, because I think this is the first time I've played the game um, since I seriously started thinking about, like, um, having, like, optimal stat builds. So, like, you can really break this game if you know what you're doing. Uh, I haven't, I haven't like, really messed around with that, but um, maybe, I, maybe I have a couple of badges that are really good. But... So, how long have I been playing this game? About, about a half an hour, right? Um, about an hour? Yep. We're already at the first dungeon. This game has really, really good pacing. It's, it's another thing I think uh, it has on the Thousand Year Door. The main thing I would say is that it, it doesn't have the pacing problem that the Thousand Year Door has. It's like inventive bullshit from start to finish. It's great. Like the Thousand Year Door really does feel like a lot of the time it's basically just padding like all the time. There we go. There we go. You made the first strike. I don't get why the bombs are in here. Like, like it's Koopa Bros Fortress. Shouldn't they be primarily be Koopas and different varieties of them? No, like the bombs are here um, as well. You actually meet Bombette in here, um, who is a pink bomb. What happened to the pink bombs? We haven't seen them in forever. Oh yeah, Koopas. This game is really subtle with like some of the things certain characters can do actually, because uh, most characters would get hurt by like attacking a, a Babam about to explode, but like Cooper can actually do it. So. Um, I don't know. I don't even know what you would call that, but it, it, it's really interesting how they, uh, how, how flexible this game is, like, and how how intuitive the combat system is. Like, it comes off really, really natural. It's great. And I love how that guy just stands there and is just like, yeah, okay, I, I'll fight you if I have to, but uh, <laughs> I can't be bothered. Oh, what a, what a cool way to, like, showcase, like, uh, so this guy will come out to fight you, but uh, the first guy won't. It's, it's kind of weird. This guy must be way more of a go-getter. Uh, this game has such a weird contrast between, like, enemies and, like, actual actual characters. Like, enemies don't feel like they, they actually behave like uh, real characters. Oh, oops. By the way, what are you supposed to do here? Is this the one where you, uh... Alright, 
Oh, do you... I, I think... Do, do one of them drop the key? Oh, maybe it's the one over there. Let, let's see. Um... Yeah, I forgot how much I love this game, because, like, the last couple of times I've played it, it's just been, like, fucking around my best files, like, the ones I've already beaten, and it's like... Yeah, when you do that as an adult, it, it, it's not really the same, you know what I mean? Like, uh... As a kid, like, when you're messing around, it's like, yeah, yeah, you have a lot of stuff to do. Uh, in this one, it's like... There is a point in this game, like, when you're at the very end where you've basically done any everything you can do. Like, there is... There is nothing more to be done in this game, and, uh... It's really sad, actually, because it's it's such a well executed, like such a well, such a greatly uh, produced game. Like you're really sad when it ends. Um, well, the ending is actually like one of my favorites ever. Not uh, one of my favorite ever. I, I've been saying that a lot about N64 games, but like I, I really do love like a lot of these endings. Uh, Ocarina of Time, Star Fox 64, Paper Mario, they're all great. Majora's Mask. Oh shit. Like, I think they're all sitting in front of me. Shit. Um, am I going to have to go through them one at a time? I would just use, like, multi-bounce and then, uh... And then use power shell, but, like, unfortunately I don't have power... I don't have multi-bounce yet. Like, multi-bounce is, like, a standard attack for me in this, in this series, but I just don't have it at the moment. Uh... Like, I have a couple of badges that I use all the time, but, like, <laughs> others that, like, I don't use at all. In hindsight, I probably should have gone to Chuck Wismo and done his quiz and uh, gotten the star pieces, because, like, now that I think about it, like, the star pieces actually get you really good badges in this game. Oh, here we go. I love this plot twist. This is, a uh, kind of interesting. Yeah, the dungeons in this game are really, really good. I really like, really like them. They are Zelda quality, uh, for the most part. I mean, yeah, I mean, they, they probably could have been a bit better, but to be that good. But yeah, I mean, they're, for an RPG, they're great, um, fantastic. That's actually something I noticed when I was playing like Final Fantasy VI for the first time. Is that like, wow, um, the, the combat, the the uh, the dungeons are nowhere near as good as uh, what I'm used to from the Nintendo games. Um, that re that really is something that needs to be said a lot more. I think is that like Nintendo RPGs are just so much better than what Square has been putting out lately. Like Xenoblade is uh, way more popular than Final Fantasy at the moment. Uh, yeah, I think I have to kill all these jokers. Like other than maybe like Persona, I don't think like any non-Nintendo JRPG is all that popular. And like Persona is mostly popular because of the waifus. It has nothing to do with the games themselves. Um, like, if Persona fans could just have sex, like, if Persona wouldn't have an audience. Uh, oops. I don't know, like, I am getting a... I really need to give Persona another shot, because I, I'm being, like, I'm making, like, a lot of these blanket statements, but it, it really does feel that way. Like, it, like, they only care about the waifus. Like, it's just... I was thinking I was gonna pull my PS3 out of storage anyway and play some God Hand on stream. I think I think my new adapter is actually gonna allow me to, to do that, so. Um, yeah, flower points, I think. Leveling up in this game is so satisfying. It doesn't increase your like hitboxes at all, but but like everything else is so important. Alright, oops. Yeah, I should have jumped on him. I don't know what I was doing. Honestly, like, I think this is the game that really made me love, like, Super Mario's. Like, I think it's a big reason why I'm so attached to it. Uh, especially compared to, like, The Thousand Year Door. But, like, maybe even other Mario games in general. Like, I think I like this game more than Galaxy, even. Maybe 64, even. I don't, I don't know. I, I think I think I, have a, I think I have a preference for it over 64, but, like, that doesn't mean I think it's better. Um, I think that is nostalgia. Because I... I, I did play a lot more of this growing up in 64. I actually own this game. Um, 64 I never owned until recently. Oh, here we go.
Ah, oh, damn. Oh, he got me. Ugh. Yeah, I wonder where my food's gonna get here. I'm gonna scarf it down and uh, save it for later. We'll see. I legit think this is probably gonna be a 12 hour stream because, like, I am. I'm having so much fun right now. I, I'm full of energy. Um, I probably should have spent today, like, writing, though. I don't know. I don't know, man. Like, I wrote a little bit yesterday. I always feel a little bit guilty when, like, I'm not writing, but then I remember, like, wait a minute, I've written several books. <laughs> I think my work rate is pretty good. Uh, like, I finished my project this year, so I'm not behind schedule at all. I, I do need to take it easy. I feel like Rabbit Hole, yeah, that, like, nightmare of getting that done, like, that's just... Uh, to be fair, that was, more, that was more because of the job than the, uh, the book itself, but... Yeah, um, if I had gotten that done on time, if... If I had gotten it done, like, when I wanted it done, like, by March, it would have been fantastic. But no, I had to wait until fucking November. I can't just... But, like, I am uh, really happy with how Lauren Frey is turning out. Um, I am a good ways into it now. Um, it's, like, starting to take shape. I'm starting to, like, flesh out the world a bit more. Uh, I, I'm really, really happy with uh, Lauren Frey in general. I think it's going to have, like, mainstream appeal, actually. Because I think it's, um... I think it's, like... Harry Potterish without being like a copycat, so I, I think it's gonna have a I think it's gonna have an audience. Uh, here we go. This is a trick, but you you kind of have to do it. Uh, you get bombat, so it, it kind of works out. I love how they go around like just fucking with you. It's great. What is this like black stuff? Like I don't understand what that's supposed to be. Oh. Oh, there's a save point out here, isn't there? Yeah, there is. Okay. It's kind of nice that you go outside to save. Uh... I actually don't know what's in this chest out here. I think I'm going to... You're going to have to swing back around to do it. So that... Yeah, I think there's, like, a really, very real demand for, like, more Harry Potter content, but, like, Joe just isn't really delivering on it. So I think, like, uh, I think making something that's set in, like, a magic school, like, that's going to be really, really popular among that group of people. Um, so I think Lauren Frey is going to is gonna have an audience. And it's not the same thing either, so, like, uh, that's something that uh, I'm really starting to realize. Um, it has the Harry Potter appeal, but it's not the same thing at all. Uh, and I think it's been long enough where, like, um, where people are looking for something a little bit different than Harry Potter. Even though, like, it has the same kind of appeal to it. Oops. So they were exploding. They were thinking they might rise up. But we've already fought other bu- We've already fought other ba -bombs. like, okay. Bomet joined your party. I love his artwork. Isn't it adorable? I just... I like Bomet in general, but... One of the funniest things about Bomet is that she's actually, like, supposed to be really, really attractive for a ba -bomb. So, like, uh... Male Bobomb is already trying to make moves on her. It's hilarious. There's this guy in the game that's actually like super in love with her. Um, like that, that is definitely one of the things I think the Thousand Year Door nails. It like it actually makes the partners feel like more alive. A lot, a lot of times, like she comes off. Uh... <laughs> that was a little silly. Like, she's certainly very likable, but you kind of wish, like, like, she returned and she sort of had, like, more of a role in other games. But no, uh, she's just kind of... Oops. Ugh. 
<sighs> yeah, I forgot how OP she is, shit. I guess she uses a lot of FP for early for early games, so that's probably why I don't use her very much, but I mean, it makes sense that an explosion is more powerful, but... Here we go. Why are her explosions so much better than these guys? Like, they do two damage and she does five? Like, what's the logic in that? Is it just because of the power of the Lucky Star? Okay. <laughs> yes. So the black ones are the bad ones. Holy shit! That's kind of that is kind of weird. Uh, yeah, the multicolored ones are the ones being locked away, and the, the black ones are ruling. Shit. That is kind of odd. I like, did Bombette not even consider them like bombs though, because she says that like all the bombs like rebelled and they, they locked up all of them. Like, what makes these black ones like more trustworthy than the multicolored ones? Like, what, what's the logic? Refund some coins if you use an item in battle. That sounds really dumb. Um, you get so many coins in this game anyway. Um, like, legit, the only time I think you need coins is when, like, you're trying to get past the, uh, the fucking, the, the toll guy. Who, for some reason, is, like, strong as fuck. Like, you know who I'm talking about? The, the, the toll Koopa? The guy who just jumps you? Oops. And, like, demands you pay up, like, 500 coins or some shit like that. Who's, like, strong as fuck. Um, you can walk away from him, but... Uh, hang on. I probably should have just used... Coop, um. Yeah, Bomet is great, but I, I don't like using her when I'm not exploding. Like, if... Like, she's good in really in really specific situations, but, like, a lot of times... Just use Cooper. Uh... The, uh, the key? Oh, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, you, you can go around. Okay, that's what you have to do. Yeah, there are... There's a locked door here that you can get now. Okay, I forgot to get the key. Right. Yeah, this is so much fun. I, I just love this area so much. Oops. I guess she can sacrifice her guys in general, but she blew herself up. I swear I do that at least once a playthrough where she gets like, where she hits a bomb and then explodes again in midair for some reason. Uh, I'm not sure why she does that, but alright. Does it help her recover? Oh, I think my food's here.
Got here a lot faster than I did last night. Holy shit. Okay. What was I doing? Oh, I was going back up. Okay. Catching you by surprise, huh? <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, I'm back. Ooh. That was good. You'll be all right, princess. Yeah, the minister. It's weird to think the minister is supposed to be Toadsworth. Or it's supposed to be the same guy as like the guy in Super Mario RPG. Who then became Toadsworth, who is now not even really a thing. Like, Toadsworth was a thing for a while in, like, the mid-2000s, but, like, he hasn't appeared, I don't think, since, uh... Honestly, I want to say the Thousand-Year Door, honestly. It's kind of weird, but anyway, uh... Where are we? Oh no, it's the diary. Oh, this is my favorite Paper Mario cliche, reading the diaries. Ah, oh. It looks like somebody left a private diary just lying around. There's something funny about like the idea of Bowser keeping a diary. Oh, you like doing this sort of thing, do you? Tisk tisk. 
day zero zero month star sunny is this going off the uh the, the three houses <laughs> ridiculous schedule uh, calendar all right I hope she likes me. Aww. Dry Dry Ruins. Uh-oh. Oh no, and she has nowhere to hide. Uh. <sighs> Forgive us, sir. Ugh. I love how we didn't see her like when he first walked into the room. How did he not see her? It's like, it's a straight shot. Anyway, whatever. <sighs> I shall help you. And he gives us focus, which is the most underpowered... No. No. The Star Beam is the only thing that can counteract the Star Rod that Bowser wields. It's kind of cool that they kind of established the Star Beam early on. So that's our goal, to like get all the seven Star Beam spirits so we can use the Star Beam and win. Uh... Like again, it's a very basic JRPG plot, but it's, it's very well executed, I think. Oof. Should I get back and play some more Diddy Kong Racing? I think I'm about ready to do it. Um... Yeah, I probably shouldn't have ordered food. I probably should have, like, had a quick meal. I don't know. It's... <laughs> I'm just like, wait a minute. Maybe it was a bad idea to order food again, but, uh... I mean, twice a week isn't bad, but... FP plus. Right. I mean, especially since I was so proud of my weight loss. Well, to be fair, though, I mean, I'm losing weight anyway, so it's like... Uh... <sighs> All right, so uh, how do you get to Dry Dry Desert? Is it the underground? I right, no, no, the train. You don't. I don't think you have to go to the underground until much later. Yeah, I think I am done playing Paper Mario for now. I think one chapter a day is fine. Uh, one chapter a stream is probably fine. Um, we should make some good progress. I think I want to play some more Diddy Kong Racing, actually. Um, yeah, so ready to rage at that. Um, I guess I just needed a break from Diddy Kong. Um, I mean, to be fair, I, was, I wasn't going to give up on it. Oh no, it's this fucker. I told you I'd be back. Now I'll get my revenge. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh no. <laughs> I forgot he does that. <laughs> what a dipshit. Alright. No, I don't. I think I did legit forget him the first time I... <laughs> oh no! This motherfucker who's not even out of his egg wants to fight me. Like, I'm sure this is gonna end well for him. 
To be fair, though, he does get a lot stronger because of this. I probably shouldn't have been mashing the button. I, I, completely fa I completely fucked that up. I was, like, thinking about, like, how I wanted to clean my house. Um, I think I might do that after the stream. Actually, I think I might end the stream and just do that. I don't know. Oof. Yeah, I'm kind of regretting ordering food, actually. Oh, well. I'll do it after I end the stream. It might be a couple of hours. Who knows? Yeah, I want to clean my house. I want to do some stuff. Um... <sighs> 99. Ah, oh, shit, we're so close. It's obvious they're working out and ordering stuff by mail. This is before, uh... Yeah, I think it's a good. I, I think it's a good spot to stop. Uh, I think I'm gonna pop in Diddy Kong Racing though. I don't know. Maybe I can play the Wii and do some uh, stream on that. Do some Super Monkey Ball. Yeah, I think I want to do some Double Dash too. Uh, maybe some Kirby Air Ride. I don't know. Pikmin. Yeah, you know what? I, I did want to play Pikmin tonight. Why don't Why don't I pop in some Pikmin? Pikmin 1, my favorite in the series. Uh, maybe we can wait till tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, I already committed to Diddy Kong. Um, yeah, I think another couple of hours and I will be ready to stop. Probably around the 7 hour mark. Back to the um, silver coin challenge, I suppose. Hello, select your V. Abracadabra. Come on, baby. Hello. village. Oh, damn, really? Oh, whoops. Yeah, I wish I had beaten this one before uh, quitting, but unfortunately, nope. Did I really not beat this one? I thought I did. I guess I, I guess it's the one I gave up. No, I beat the right. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, I did beat the 
the first race that I was struggling with, but not the actual. How are you supposed to get that? Like, I, I don't understand how you're supposed to... I don't understand how you're supposed to get that one. Um, I mean, I guess I just need to practice, but... Well. I'm not sure if there's anything in that other... I don't understand how you're supposed to get that one. Like, look at me, I'm way behind because of that. Uh... Where the last two are, though. Uh, there's one over here. Yeah, it's gonna take a lot of practice, I think. I thought there was one over here. Where is the one I'm missing? Like, oh, here it is. Okay, I forgot. Oh, gee, I'm. I'm sure I'm gonna make it this time. Uh, just go for it, even though you're in last place with no w hope of recovery. All right. Yeah, uh, right, we're gonna we're gonna retry that. Oh wow, you can just go through it. Okay, so you can just go through it. Okay, that's kind of interesting. All right. So you don't have to like go through the hole, you can just go through that thing, which is weird. But, all right. These two are not. The only thing I'm wor the only one I'm worried about is that weird as fuck one, like in the corner over there. Like, how are you supposed to get it? Like, I th I guess you could just grab it, make a hard turn. Like the way it's structured, it's like. It slows you down so much, there's no way. There's no way you'll be able to do that. Like, there's no way. Okay. so far behind. Alright. Hmm. I guess, like, it's what I can do is just, like, learn to take the well. So far ahead of me because of uh, where that last point is. Like Greenwood Village is hard as fuck. Okay. Uh, something about this track that just bothers me. I just fuddles me. I guess I'm getting used to the mirror mode, but now I'm just confused by the. Uh,
Okay, we, we have to figure out how to get that. Like, first of all, how do we get that coin in a way where we don't lose speed? Like, I don't... It seems almost impossible at this point. Uh, and obviously it isn't, but... I mean, we do get kind of a head start with that. Uh, I think we're hitting the well pretty well. Did it, okay. Yep, did it. Okay, yep, yep, I think that's reasonable. Yep, I think that's good enough. Alright. We just gotta get the rest of the coins and we're good. Uh, and we gotta get caught up too. Uh, love you. Okay. Damn, they're way ahead of me. Uh, take that crunch. Damn. I mean, we're getting there. Like, we got, we got all the coins. We got in fourth place. Like, we just there's just a big gap between like first place and fourth. Like, really noticeable. So, you kind of have to deal with that. Um, actually, like maybe I should get the, the coin back here first and then get the well one. Cause I would say a big part of my strategy is getting the. So far behind, I'm not gonna be able to keep, keep up. Why am I dicking around with Banjo in the back? Like, where is everybody else? All right. all the coins, but I just cannot stay in the lead. Actually, I'm nowhere close. Ugh. Maybe I could hit some more boosts, but oops, hang on. I guess I could try to hit more boost pads, but I mean, I gotta worry about collecting the coins too, you know? Like, I 
keep missing that coin. I'm rage quitting at this point. It's like, it's one of those ones where it's like, you feel like you have to do everything right to make it to make it work. Uh, I had trouble like winning the race to begin with, so. I guess I should be collecting bananas too, so I can raise my top speed. But, um, Did I miss the one back here? Well, at least I'm not an 8 this time. Uh, I'm a little bit closer to the... the end. But... Where's the last one? Uh, here we go. But even if I win, it's like... No! Yeah, you have to hit that, like, at a speed. If you go too fast, you go over it, but you have to hit it at, like, the right speed. All right. Yeah, I'm not going to win, but uh, I'm getting closer. Uh, yeah, I think the main thing is, like, get the coins as quickly as possible, go through the well twice, and then you to catch up, and then hit all the boosts. Yeah, there's a lot I can do. A lot I can do. Uh... Fuck you, booster. Six? Are you serious? Six? Oh, I, I think I could have made it. Yeah, it's like it's better than eight. No, you know, like I was, I was close to managing fourth. I could have easily managed fourth. I just need to like, cut down. Serious? I was I was breaking and I still couldn't make that. Okay. I was breaking and I still couldn't make the well. Oh, shit. All right. I mean, is that really a shortcut though? Like. I don't know what it is with this course, but I'm just failing pretty hard at it right now. Ugh. Hmm. Yeah, I think if I didn't miss the, the well the first time, I would be a lot better off. Uh...
What does the shield even do? It's like, it comes off like one of those pointless things. It protects you from snowballs, I can tell you that, but like, that's such a rare occurrence. Like, oh, it protects you from this random obstacle. Like, I don't know how you're supposed to do this. Like, okay. There's gotta be a way. There has to be a way to curve. Yeah, I keep jumping in the well, but I keep jumping back out again. Because I'm going too fast. It's Breaks and it's still not working. Like what? What is the deal? Stop bouncing! Hey, right. your cars are like freakishly bouncy in this game. I don't, I don't understand it, man. There we go. These guys are faster than they should be, too. Like, just, just a feeling I have. Yeah, I'm in 8th place before I get sidetracked by the... Uh, the thing. I... Just like that. Right, awesome. Yeah, I'm getting closer, but like the gap was so wide to begin with. Like shit. I yeah, maybe the well isn't the way to go. I don't think it's really uh I don't think it's really making me go faster, and I'm like, I mean, keep hitting myself, so I'm kind of...
and he's like Yeah. Okay. 
because I didn't need it. Fox loses his control of that position. What? Why is it the curvature? Got it. All right. Yep, yep, yep. We got it. We got it. Okay. Oh, no, no. They're way ahead of me. Shit. Ah. I was like, wait a minute. Wait, where are the rest of them? No, they're way ahead of me. Yeah, that's the big problem right now. I can get all the coins. I can stay competitive, but I can't stay... I can't stay in front, I guess.
I damn fucked that up. Where's the last one? Yeah, here it is. Okay. They're way too far ahead for me to catch up. Like, I'm doing pretty well, too, but damn. Like, how do I close the distance? Like, really? I almost got to set. I almost got up there. Like, if I could just reach them, but they're s they pull so far ahead. All right. Okay. I run into my own thing? Okay. Alright, this is getting out of hand. Uh... it okay that might actually be a way to do it like get it get a magnet and just okay it's hard to like get back into first place when you have to go out of your way like that Oh, come on! What is with the bouncing? Just... Alright. Alright. It's getting really tiring. Oof. I definitely want to beat this, though. Um, so I don't have to do it next time. Alright. This bubble that shouldn't have been here.
in third place. Come on. I'm not even sure how I did this, but I managed to, uh... Oh, wait. Yeah, now it's giving out on me. Like, now the magnet just doesn't want to work. Wasn't being very effective, now was it? Okay, two. Oh, of course, that guy is way ahead, though. Oops. Pipsy is so far ahead, you can't even get... I think it's Pipsy. Oops. She's so far ahead. Okay. Yeah, I just can't catch her. Okay. Well, second's a big improvement, though. Big, big improvement. Boy, I really should have won that. Did you see the way I was racing? Like, shit. Hey. Okay, well. That might actually be a good idea to go to the well with the bananas. And they really shouldn't be able to just... Far ahead, there's nothing I can do. All right. Uh. Oh. Yeah, I almost got there. They were a lot closer together that time, so it's honestly probably a little bit closer than it was uh, when I got in second. But yeah, you have to get in first, and that's kind of what's killing me right now. Um. The instant I start going off road, uh, collect some bananas or get some coins, it's uh, leads to trouble. All right. So far ahead? How did they get that far ahead? Every single time, every time I get close, they take off so quickly. There's no way to, there's no possible way to catch up. There's just. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm second, and yet I was so far behind. I think it's legit like RNG. Like, I legit don't think I, I need to get lucky in order to get the pull out on top here. Okay. Fuck. Fuck you, Timber. I'm pretty consistently getting a second now. Uh, like, if I could get near him, I could win! Who's they? Wait, what awards? The Game Awards? Who won what? Like, nobody except Naughty Dog won anything. Like, shit. The rigged Game Awards. Oh, oops. so far away you can't even use the magnet on them. They just like endlessly accelerate it feels like. Alright. There's drumstick. Uh, Alright, that is second place, but who is in first? Okay, I think what I can do is that I can hit this one, hit the turn, accelerate, fuck. Here I am struggling to keep second place when, like, I'm, I need to be winning first. Um, I'm gaining on him, but... Crunch? That's who I'm competing against? Really? Crunch of a... I thought it was Pipsy, because I thought... No, I guess the pink one is Pipsy. 
Oh yeah, Diddy Kong Racing is great. Um, I can't like reiterate that enough. I am having a blast playing this. I like it way more than uh, Mario Kart Double Dash, actually. Um, not C Mario Kart CD4, uh, Mario Kart Double Dash. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really down on do Double Dash at the moment because I, I recently like uh, I recently like bought it and played it uh, a lot, and I'm just like, you know, I don't really like this game very much. It really is like a six or seven with that. Like, it really is like not that good. Um, yeah, I'm having a lot more fun with this. Um, Lap two. I missed the coin, shit. Yeah, I'm definitely, like, getting there, but... I think it's, like, because of that one coin, and because the lead gets... The guy in front gets so far ahead, like... I, I, yeah, it's the one with the, the curve around the tree. Like, I, I can't seem to find a good way to nail that. Oh, what? What? Come on! No! Okay. Yeah, I'm little. I'm legit getting like frame perfect. Like, here, and I'm still losing. Uh, I'm way behind. Not just a little. Like, I, I am legit. Like, not sure how I'm gonna win at this point. Uh, here we go. Did I already lose? I think I did. This second is the best I can do! Oh yeah, I can see why. Diddy Kong Racing is great. Um, lots of great racing games for N64, though. Like, I think I prefer F-Zero X, but... Um, personally, but yeah, I can see, I can see why uh, you might like this a lot. It depends on what you like, really. It really does. Uh, it's a preference thing, honestly. Um, I wouldn't... I don't fault people for like this game. More than I do. It's not like today where people just say that, like, oh, uh, The Last of Us Part Two. It's uh, one of the best games for me right now. Uh, just... Yo, I think I'm just gonna try to. I think I'm gonna get the coin and then use the thing to. No, didn't work. Okay. I'm still ahead though. So I mean, not not ahead, but I'm still like, I can still see them. At least. Yeah, that one turn just throws me off so much. All right. Uh, how did I get in third? What? Okay. Damn, yep, they fucked me up. Fuck me. Right. Okay, there's Banjo. Uh. I'm in second. Oh, I will be in second once I get a hit on this fucker, but... The guy in front is so far ahead, there's no way for me to catch up. It's... I have no idea what I'm doing. I have no idea what to do, even. Like, shit, I'm just, like, struggling. I've been struggling with this forever. Alright. Like, is this a matter of luck, or what? Is it just a matter of not failing? Just... Okay. I think I'm doing everything perfectly, honestly. Like, I'm doing everything I want to do. It's like, I'm not missing any turns or missing any coins. It's just... I mean, a big part of it is that I have to go out of the way to get silver coins. So it's like, ugh, that's kind of fucking me at the moment. But generally speaking, I'm pretty happy with how things are going. Here we go. I see, like, I can get I can get that one pretty quickly. Like, obviously I'm losing a little bit of speed, but it's not a big deal. Like, I should... There we go. How the 
fuck? How was I? How was I in first? How was I in first? That, is there some kind of shortcut that I don't know about? Like, how was I in first just there? Like, it said I was in first for a minute there. Like, it, it, okay. Ah, uh, oh, fuck. If I just hit that, I would have. Okay, I think I'm close enough where I can win. Uh, I mean, I just gotta f stop fucking. Yeah, they're not getting far enough ahead to cheat, so let's see how this goes. Uh, right now, I'm like missing all my turns. Uh, oops, shit. Yep, I missed my thing. Okay, I got caught up. Yep, yep, we're there! Are right, you fucker. We did it! Yes! Finally! <sighs> Finally! That took forever! Like shit. I had to take a break from that one. That was a... Uh, that was a frustrating one. Alright. Uh, Boulder Canyon. Let's see how this goes. Boulder Canyon. And then we have to fight um, Smokey again. I cannot wait to be done with these silver coins. Uh, not a not a fan of them at all. And they and they're like most of the game too. Like it, it's one of those things I'm just like, eh, not too happy about that. Not too happy about them existing. If there's one over there, uh, and I'm in last too. Like I'm not sure how I'm gonna be able to. Yep, yeah, there's one of the left. Uh, yeah, I still gotta find out where all the all the coins are. I think I found most of them, but I actually do need to get the rest. Was, that, was there one to the right? I thought I saw one. Yep, I shouldn't have been pushed back there. Yeah, I, I don't think getting the server coins would be hard, but yeah, I'm, I'm having a lot of trouble with the AI, with the race itself at the moment. Like, why am I in 8th place? Do they get harder with the silver coin challenge? It's like... I am not a fan of the silver coins. I just getting sick to death of them. Uh, but if you're, I think I have like two more before uh, uh, Funland, uh, before the uh, the end end game. So we'll, I don't think are they in the last area? I think they are. There are a couple in the last area. I think you do have to do them again, maybe. But I, I don't. the last level? Oh yeah, it's the Haunted one. I don't think that's too hard on this level coin one, uh, but we'll see. Like, the big thing here is, like, the logs and just how they're everywhere and just... Oh, here's, here's one. I'm not sure how I'm in front, but okay. I didn't think I was. I don't think I was hit, hitting very many uh, hitting spots very well at all. I, I don't know. Get the logs blew me back. Damn! What is with these logs?
keep getting knocked around. It's really driving me nuts. Um, I'm not having much problem with the silver coins. It's the, it's the, the race. Like, something with the race that's just throwing me off. Maybe it's, maybe it's the mirror mode, but I think it's... I don't know. Like, the logs. I don't remember them bothering me this much when I um, did it the first time. There's two there. Okay. But where's the last one? There's one on the right. Um, Oh, that's right, there was one over here. Yeah, I think I missed it. Ah, well, it wasn't a great race anyway. But... Yeah, someone keeps spinning this log around. Like, is it just a fuck with me or what? Yeah, I think you should go to the left always, because that's where the coins are. Two more to go. I'm not quite sure where they are though. Oh, there's the one on the right. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I'm in first, and I might end up losing because of the silver coins. Ah. It's kind of frustrating, but. Hmm. Wait, was that one back there? I thought I saw one. gotta be kidding me. You have to jump off the... Okay, yeah. I guess I was never gonna get it under those. So you're gonna have to jump off the bridge and go to the right to get that one. Okay. Uh... So yeah, like, usually they have, like, one really obnoxious one. Um... Yeah, I think that's the thing to do here, is just jump off... It's kind of a neat idea for a track, though, is that you can do this. I mean, it doesn't do any any good, but... I love how it switches between tracks depending on where you are, it's great. Very banjo kazooie ish. Is Rare the only company to do that? Because, like, I feel like it's one of their trademarks. Come to think of it. I mean, their soundtracks are greatest anyway. Like, top tier. But Where's the last one? Yeah, I think it's the one on the left. Yeah. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a while. Shit. Before I, before I complete this, yeah. It's gonna take me another couple of hours. Ah. The silver coins are just boring, you know? 
I don't want to race the same track over and over again trying to collect something. Like, I just want to. I gotta remember, I gotta memorize what the, the silver coins are. Why is it so grind, grindy? It's like, it's so unsatisfying getting all these. It's just like, you're just like, more like, ah, finally. As opposed to like, oh, that was fun. Like, it's just shit. Yeah, this, this is one of those games that really overstays its welcome. You know what I mean? Like, it has a lot going for it, but boy, does it want you to stick around for a while to see everything. And you have to do this, too, if you're gonna get the, uh, the fifth and final tracks. to like dive off the track and you just like slide in. Uh, I think I would prefer to do that. Get the bananas. Slide in. Oh fuck yeah it's not gonna work. Yeah I think I'm gonna have to jump off. I love you, Diddy Kong, Diddy Dixie Kong, Diddy. I love you, Diddy Diddy Diddy. Oh fuck! I forgot to get the. Uh, I forgot. I forgot to get the other thing. I'll have to do it next time. To be fair though, I have other red coins to get, so it's like, eh. I'm kind of worried about those too. Uh, I'm getting smacked around a lot by the wall. Yeah, yeah, I lost my momentum. Like, I got that boost, but then, like, the hovercraft is really bad at, like, handling momentum. Because, like, I keep trying to, like, land my... take a landing, but no, it doesn't work. Uh, there's no way I'm gonna win. I'm just too far behind. How does he stop, like, right before he boosts? Like... I'm not even close to the finish line yet. Right. At least I got all the coins though. Right? Yeah, there's like there's like stages to this where you have to like get all the coins, then you gotta win the race. At least you have like unlimited continues, right? This really tries your patience. I've been playing this like I, I was playing this for like what two hours before I took a break and played like Star Fox. <laughs> it really tests your patience. Uh, there's a reason I don't replay this game very much. Uh, Okay, how am I gonna do this, guys? It's, um... Yeah, these silver coins are really kicking my ass. I mean, I guess... I guess Greenwood Village was worse, but... Yeah, that... I don't know what could possibly be worse than Greenwood Village. Um... Now, is that really faster than just... Yeah. 
Yeah, I keep losing my control over my vehicle. It's getting really annoying. Uh, I feel like the hovercraft is becoming my least favorite thing because, like, I struggle, like, when it's on the water. Like, there's this weird momentum thing that I, I don't really understand where, like, it, like, speeds up whenever you get a boost and, like, you take a sharp turn. Like, sometimes it just doesn't work. It just doesn't work properly. Which, like, you lose your momentum after the boost is done, basically. Like, when you turn. Here we go. How close am I? Okay. I mean, I guess it's better than what I was. I think I just gotta practice, honestly. Like, just get a, get, just get a good route going. And get all the coins. Just, I, I just hate the coin thing. Like, I just, just have me win the race. Like, why is the coin thing necessary? All right. And I still have, like, time trials and shit to do after this, too. Like, I gotta... Manage third, which is actually pretty good. Yeah, let's see if I can get second, but I, th I don't think I'm gonna win. Yeah, third's not bad. Um, we're getting there. <laughs> I've never seen a Sony fan say they like Diddy Gun Racing. I've seen them say like Crash Team Racing, which is which is a ripoff of this, but. Uh, <laughs> I've never heard them say that, like, oh, man, I love Diddy Kong Racing, but I hate Mario Kart. Um, I've never heard them say that, um, ever. Like, why would they? Why would they ever praise an N64 game? Uh, I wonder if, like, people who argued, like, whether this game was better than Mario Kart 64 were, like, actual fans or not, or just... I, I don't know. It seems so weird to me, like, arguing over which Nintendo game is better, because, like... These days, like, it seems pretty consistent. Like, everyone agrees, like, which games are good for the most part. <sighs> yeah, it's only lap... Yeah, it's only lap one. Yeah, these logs are just fucking me over at the moment. Uh... I, I, did I get the one on the, the right side? I did! Where, Where's the last coin? I was like, wait, that, that has to be the one I missed. There's some weird ones I tend to forget about, like this one here. I keep running into things and losing my momentum. It's driving me nuts. Was it behind me? Like, I... what the fuck, Diddy? What, the... what was that? What was that, Diddy? Ugh. That was like Mario Kart Double Dash levels of just like, what the fuck was that? Uh... Yeah, that was that would not have looked out of place in Double Dash, honestly. Um, that's that's the kind of bullshit I hate in Double Dash. That happens all the time. Uh... Da -da, da -da, da -da. I'm not sure what the last one is. Uh, maybe it's the left here? I mean, this is my last lap anyway, so I guess I'm fucked. But... Oh, what? He went to the left the entire time? I just didn't get it? Weird. I must have missed it when I came down here. All right. uh, I guess it's really easy to miss an easy one and then just forget about it. Because you just typically get it. Because that's one of those ones you would always get. Uh, Yeah, I, I need to. Like, I, I need to get on the um, the cyberpunk thing. Because um, I'm already getting, like, messages on that old video I did in, like, July. Like, talking about how bad it was going to be. Like, people are, like, coming to me and being like, dude, you were right. You predicted the future. <laughs> I was just like, well, yeah. I'm Harmon fucking Smith. I know everything. Um... But yeah, I was absolutely on the money about cyberpunk. If anything, I kind of, I think I kind of understated it. Um, yeah, I know, I know there's one to the right there, but 
I keep losing my speed somehow. I don't know what's going on. Right. Yeah, I keep bouncing too. Yeah, yeah, bouncing really fucks with the hovercraft. Da, da, da. Yeah, I think there's nothing to do except like get so good at the race that you just dominate it no matter what happens. Um. Oh, this is a really good example. Yeah, we need to get to the one to the right, but we're going to lose uh, a lot of time, so what are we going to do? <sighs> Holy shit, like, I was not used to that much kick. I was not expecting that. Uh... But yeah, like, Cyberpunk, there's a lot to talk about when it comes to Cyberpunk, I think. Um, and unfortunately, I haven't been following it. I've been too tired. I've been, like, uh... I haven't even been gaming because I've been so busy. Like again, like I, I can't emphasize this enough. My personal life is very, very hectic at the moment. Um, like this is the first time I think I've sat down and played games all week, um, which isn't like this is becoming like un it's, it's becoming like unusual for me to play games for this amount of time. Um, but I guess I'm always gonna be a gamer, so it's, it's, gonna, it's still gonna happen. I'm always gonna take some some days where I just do this. Well, I mean, until I get married, anyway. Uh, that was always the plan. I don't understand guys who bitch about their wives, like, not a, not allowing them to play video games. Like, wh why? I don't know, you need to be there, like, for your family, you know what I mean? Like, you can't be playing games, like, all the time or shit. I just, oh, fuck. Yeah, I don't, I don't care for that mindset at all. Ugh. I'm not even married yet. I'm always talking. I'm already like, so yeah, yeah. I can totally see where like people like James Rolfe are coming from when they don't want to work all the time or play games all the time in order to spend more time with their family. Like shit. I totally understand. Like maybe if you don't love people, like I don't know. Like you wouldn't. I wouldn't like give up gaming, obviously, but it's more like I wouldn't spend like all my time playing gaming. Uh, I mean, you, you would do other things, right? Yeah, at that point, like, you would be, like, providing for your family and stuff like that. Um, honestly, I'm really, really glad I, I don't have a family right now because of the, uh, <laughs> all the shit that's going down. Uh, yeah, it, it, it can wait until after things calm down, I think. I feel so bad for, like, my ex who, uh, who has had a baby this year, which is, like, holy fucking shit, dude, like... How, how fucked are you? Keep in mind, this is like the girl I don't really, uh, um, don't really like all that much as a person these days. Uh, but like, I still feel bad for her. Well, I don't know, saying I don't like her is a bit of a stretch. I guess we're not friends, is the way to put it. Like, I'm normally friends with all my exes, but, uh, she, her, yeah, she's a bit, uh, she's a bit much. It's not like she's a bad person either, but it's like, yeah, we don't really get along. Like, especially these days, like, holy shit, like, if I saw her again, I'd probably, like, be a bit more... <laughs> I'd probably call her out on her shit a bit more often. Uh, I mean, I guess I kind of did last time I saw her. Uh, hmm. But yeah, she has had a baby. And I don't know how she's doing, actually. I deleted my Instagram. After the whole Black Lives Matter thing. I, I, I just about everyone after Black Lives Matter. Like, if you supported BLM, I was like, no, I'm done with you, you're not. <laughs> we are we are done. It's over. Um, I, if you supported BLM for any reason, you're just you're just an ignorant fuck. You don't deserve my attention. Um, come on, I almost had it. I was so close. All right. Yeah, we're almost there. We're almost there, boys. Yeah, they're, they're just for fun, really. Like, they're not a big deal. Um, honestly, like, at this point, like, it's the main reason I'm so angry about Cyberpunk. It's not necessarily the game itself being so terrible. It's the fact that people, like, are damage controlling it, like, making all these excuses. Like, oh, man, uh, you have to buy the PC version. It's the definitive way to play the game. Like, no, fuck off. Like, like, fuck off. Why did they release a broken version of the game? Like, just... It, it's really dumb, like... I'm more angry at that kind of mindset, that kind of pointless mindset, than I am, like, the actual thing itself. Um, 
I do feel like a lot of YouTubers are wasting their time with Cyberpunk. Uh, I feel like most people should be like getting, being concerned about the election and the incoming, oncoming recession. Um, he's like, obviously I am. Um, I don't know, man. Like, I have so little respect for like people around me. Like, you really deserve what you get. You know what I mean? Like, you had a shot to like really improve the state of the country, but like, no, you you you, you bought into bullshit instead. Uh, I, I don't really feel sorry for anyone around me who um, you know who supported certain things or uh, politicians. It's it's like really like you you expect it to think different. Um, Yeah, I think it's safe to say that like America's basically over um, at this point because they've they've done too much to, like fuck fuck with people this year. Um, what the fuck? What, what, were, what were we doing? Okay, um, where, where's the last one? How did I get so far behind? Wait. Do, 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 do. Yep, 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 yeah. So the PC gamers are full of shit again. Because they were trying to tell people that, like, the PC version was fine, but, like... You, you can't really take what the PC gamers say seriously, can you? They always make shit up. They always say they have, like, working versions of games that aren't on PC. Like, <laughs> they always downplay all the problems with the PC platform. It's just... They're, 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 they're complete hacks. They're complete fraud. Um, but again, like, I think PC is a dying platform, so we'll, we'll see um, yeah, things get really bad. We might see a lot of these companies start folding in the next couple of years. Um, because, like, who's going to pay for microtransactions in the middle of, like... Uh, it might actually be a really good thing, actually. To see, like, these microtransaction pushing companies, like, go out of business. When people, like, don't have money anymore. Because of the socialist revolution. Well, which isn't actually going to happen. Uh, yeah, I think the socialists... Uh, I haven't been following this closely, but I think the socialists are going to get pushed out of like the Democratic Party eventually. Um, I think they're already in the, uh, the early stages of that. I guess like the purpose of the socialists was to like try and like uh, prevent them from being uh, Donald Trump supporters. Um, So now that, like, that... So I think in the long run, like, after Trump, they would want to get rid of the socialists. Like, they don't seem to get along very well at all. Um, but we'll see. Uh, I, like, like I said, the socialists were always just useful idiots. But, like, they weren't actually going to institute, like, the socialism that people would want. Or, like, the, the, the one that they think they want, actually. Uh, Where's the, where's the last coin? Oh, I missed it. Shit. Even if I win, I think I fucked it up. <sighs> but I got a bubble. I got bubbled anyway, so it's not going to do it. Uh, I don't know, man, but uh, I think I'm pretty secure where I am. Uh, I think. I don't I don't think that like anything's going to happen here. Um, Yeah, like, literally every major game this generation was, like, awful. And, like, people are still defending shit like Cyberpunk. Like, I, I don't understand it. Like, stop playing video games. Like, how fucking hard is it? Like, shit. Like, people bitch about, like, The Last of Us Part Two getting, like, print. Like, just, just play the games you like. Like, who cares? Like...
I mean, the one good thing, though, uh, Cyberpunk wasn't nominated for any awards, so that's good. I mean, how could it? Like, it didn't, it didn't even come out in time, but... Um, I guess it, like, really alienated the game journals, too, because I think that's one of the bigger blows against it, is that, like, it didn't even get, like, the high scores, like, they would have gotten otherwise, because, like, they alienated their, uh, their, uh, their, the, the game journalists by, like, with their, um, supposedly anti-trans thing. I don't, I don't know, even know what that's about. I don't know why, uh, Reset Era and, like, the game journalists, like, started railing on that game, but, like, I think that's gonna be, like, the thing that kills it, like, the, in the short term, is that, like, uh, they're not even giving it high scores like they would with, like, The Last of Us Part Two or anything else. Like, um, they win against, like, um, something, and, uh, they aren't getting support from, like, the community online. And without that, like, propaganda, you don't have any, you don't really have any, like, long-standing appeal. Um, you have a handful of people who really like cyberpunk things, and that's it. Um... <sighs> yeah, I keep getting behind. Um, but yeah, the Cyberpunk thing, uh, The Witcher 3 was never good. Like, seeing people, like, treat CD Projekt Red as if they were, like, one of the best in the industry when they put out, like, one successful game, it was, like, it was the most laughable thing I've ever seen. Um, never, never a fan of that. Like, The Witcher 3 wasn't good to begin with, but um, the, to see it, like, pushed as, like, one of the best games of the generation, like, an equal to, like, something like Ocarina, I thought, like, no. No, it wasn't. Like, The Witcher 3 was always trash. Um, the original books are trash. Uh, the fucking TV series, is it's, it's all bad. Like, I don't know, man. It really does feel like a lot of these people just sort of live to consume products. You know what I mean? Like, like it, it was really weird to me watching Angry Joe um, react to the Game Awards. Because I was kind of curious as like how he would react. Someone who supposedly really, really liked Final Fantasy VII would react to, like, uh, Sephiroth being in um, Smash Bros, and uh, he didn't give a shit because like um, Smash Bros isn't in his isn't in his thing, and he's not gonna check it out because like oh man I I can't get into an old game because uh, <laughs> my audience wouldn't like that like yet he's like he's reviewing like Call of Duty games every year when he doesn't need to like Madden games occasionally like the new Battlefield like Dragon Ball Z game constantly like he never tries anything new you know what I mean like he has he's uh, more interested in like getting views than he isn't actually, like, delivering, like, finding good shit to, like, promote to people, right? Like, he'll do a Ride to Hell ret uh, Retribution review, but he won't try Smash Bros. He won't try Nintendo. Like, I don't think he's played anything at all since, like, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, which uh, I, I myself did not play because uh, it looks like shit. But... I don't know. Like, these people, like... And, and, like, Angry Joe had the audacity to come out and, like, call Cyberpunk 2077, like, his most anticipated game ever. Like, how big of a pleb are you? Like, fucking really? Like, what? Well... Like, it's, like, really. Cyberpunk 2077, that's your most anticipated game of all time. Like, what exactly about... What about it exactly makes it so good? Like, the most frustrating thing is that, like, no one can tell you why they're looking forward to it. Like, when it comes to, like, Zelda, when it came to Breath of the Wild, like, when when people were, like, talking about why they were excited for it, they would give you all these... Um, even even early on, they would give you all these reasons, right? Like, I want to, I want to explore, I want to do stuff. Like, uh, you know, the greatest video game franchise ever, ever. And, um, at this point, like, I, I'm convinced that, like, PlayStation and Xbox gamers are purely consume products. They don't actually care about them. They don't actually really use them even. They just want to like buy shit because like to make themselves feel happy for a little bit and then like move on to the next thing. You know? They squander their uh, money essentially. Um, it's very consumers. And I, and I kind of wish it was uh, acknowledged more in the community. Like you don't need to buy every game like you don't need to be religiously following like gaming news like legit like every gaming company is awful like it, it's bizarre to me like seeing people um bitch about like censorship policies and day one patches when i'm just like i support like nintendo like in the past 10 years i haven't like gotten any of that like, it's like I'm in a different world. Like, seeing people bitch about microtransactions, like, oh, how could they do this to us? Like, see them bitch about, like, DLC, like, seeing them bitch about, like, games that don't work. When has a Nintendo game ever launched and not worked? Like, 
<laughs> what is a Nintendo game ever looked like Cyberpunk? And yet, you, you'll see these same people insist Nintendo is like behind. They're like they're 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 old. They're outdated. They're stale. They need to like release a new console already. Like Rich from Youth Tech USA keeps doing this. Like we need a Switch Pro now. Fuck off. PS5 isn't shit. Like Xbox Series X isn't shit. Like it, it's uh. It almost it honestly doesn't even feel like the, the new consoles have come out. Like I. I have not been, I am not, I am never going to buy one. I, I mean, I might get a Series X. I think that's going to be the plan going forward is just getting like, you know, the new Xbox to be able to play everything on Xbox Game Pass. When, once they start like releasing Series X games, I think I will go ahead and get one. Um, but like, I won't be buying games for it. Like, it'll mostly be like a stream box and like, uh, entertainment center thing. Is it com does it come with a Kinect? Does anybody know? Cause like I kind of want like a connect to my Xbox, um, so I can like give it voice commands, so I can like turn it up or like change uh, change my movies or whatever. If I'm watching some shitty Jackie Chan movie, <laughs> like that shitty like a uh, uh, Fist of Fury remake he did, which really wasn't very good at all. Um, well, I didn't really watch. Like I had it playing in the background and I was like seeing Jackie like uh, fight people, but I was just like, eh. this isn't as good as the original. I don't think it was made all that long, all that much longer after the original, too. They, Chinese people were, like, rehashing shit, or, like, remake shit, like, four years after the first one comes out. Um, like, it looks worse. Like, I don't I don't get it. Like, the, the, the original Prince of Fury is great. It's actually, like, probably my favorite Bruce Lee movie. Um, Game of Death would be my favorite if it was actually finished. Like, seeing, like, what he filmed of Game of Death, it was, like, the coolest fucking thing. Like, he legit did a great job, like, um, with it. Bruce really was, like, on another level. Um, I'd like to be his, um, be able to, to do the same, the sort of thing he did. And, like, what when it comes to, like, creativity and, like, uh, developing his philosophy and stuff like that. I, I mean, I guess I kind of am when it comes to, like, video games, but, like, let's face it, video games aren't as, you know, culturally relevant as, like, martial arts were to, like, Asia, Asian cultures. I mean, I guess I'm doing the best I can. I'm happy with who I am, but it's like, eh. Definitely one of those people I highly, highly respect. Um. Get front front. How did I get in first? How'd that happen? Did I get the one on... I think I got the one on the right, right? What one am I missing? I legit don't know if I got the one on the left or not. Uh, yo, what others did I miss? How did I get in? How did I get in first when I? I, I was just talking about Bruce Lee and I ended up in first? How'd that happen? Like, did he g give me, like, a boost from beyond the grave? Shit, alright. Uh, thanks a lot, Bruce, I guess. Uh, shit. I mean, to be fair, like, um... Um... Do not pray for an easy life. Um, pray for the strength to endure a difficult one. Pretty good advice in general, I think. How did I get so far ahead? How'd that happen? I, I don't understand. Okay. Um... Yeah, if I didn't have to stop, I definitely would've won. Uh... Actually, I think I might still be able to win. Uh, yep, yeah, he got stuck in the log. What the fuck was that? Like, I legit stopped. How did I win? Like, Bruce Lee... How'd that happen? Like, how did I win? Like, I, I have no... Bizarre. Alright, uh, I guess never give up? I guess is the, uh... Is the lesson to take away from that? Even... I guess victory can come from the most unexpected places? Even when, like, you supposedly fuck up? Like, gee, like, that's kind of, a, it's kind of deep, man. Uh, okay, uh, I don't know what to take from that. Like, I'm just, like, I'm baffled. Like, what? What? So, yeah, this is the last course before the end, or the end of Dragon Forest. Uh, finally, um, this shouldn't be too hard, but, like, uh, we'll see. I had no problem with the race itself, but, like...
yeah, it's not like that diverse of a of a track. So like, like the simpler tracks are way easier to get the silver coins on because there's nowhere for them to hide. There's no shit like with a multiple curves or like what have you. I don't think I'll be able to do it the first time, but um. Okay, yeah, two more to go. It's not a hard race at all. Ah, where did that bubble come from? He just laid one? Ah, okay, ah. I mean, I, I do think that's like, um... Yeah, it, it's really weird, like, when you get really, really good at something, how, like, easy it becomes. Like, I remember when this was, like, impossible to do, and now, like, now I can do it. It's like, yeah. Now, I haven't... I'm still, like, trying to, to like, watch every uh, great martial arts movie. Like, I haven't... There's there's so much shit I haven't watched yet. Like, Drunken Master, uh, and, uh, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Like, lots of classics uh, that I still need to get through. To be fair, though, like, I recently discovered this really obscure one that I don't think anyone has really heard of. Like, Shaolin Prince. It's, like, it's the greatest thing ever. Like, I legit think I like it more than End of the Dragon. And, like, any Bruce Lee movie. Uh, any Jackie Chan movie I've seen. Like, it is... It is crazy how good that movie is, and, like, I've never heard anyone talk about it, so, like, uh, I, I think I'm gonna, like, um, I'm gonna try to figure out how to take, like, uh, how to get footage from it, um, I actually don't know how to, like, capture, um, video legally, I, I, I mean, from Amazon Prime, like, uh, like, I wanna, I wanna, like, put it, like, together out, um, you know, a, rep, uh, a retrospective on this movie and, like, explain why it's so great. But, like, I don't know how fair use works. So, like, I, I, I don't know how you would, like, take that, um, take that footage legally. Um, I mean, Nostalgia Ch Critic does it all the time. Uh, it's like, what, you have to use, like, seven clips of, like, you can't use, like, seven clips a uh, second in a row or some shit like that. I don't, I, I actually have no idea how it works. Oops. Uh, Yeah, there's lots of good ones out there, I, I know, um, but I haven't seen. I'm, I'm still getting through a lot of them. Um, like, all the ones on my Amazon Prime list, um, all the free ones, I'm going to start, like, looking at other ones, too. Um, I think I'm going to watch Ender the Dragon. Uh, not Ender the Dragon. Um, what was the one? Drunken Master, probably next week. Once, like, my... Uh, I get caught up on everything. Yeah, I'm officially, like, uh, completely recovered from uh, <laughs> all my financial uh, problems after quitting my last show. Not problems. Uh, I made all my money back, basically, so that's good. Um, it wasn't even really a problem, right? I was so in control, like, it barely even felt like I didn't. I wasn't working. It was, it was really weird. Um, uh... It's gonna take a while to get through this. I, I want to race the dragon again. I want to see how how I do against the dragon. Uh, I want the dragon rematch remake already. Oh wait, what? rematch already? Oh, yeah. Where's the last one? Oh, here it is. Yeah, it's not that hard at all to get all of them. Uh, the issue right now is I just gotta stay in front, and that's uh, kind of proving to be a, kind of a nightmare. Okay, how'd that happen? They just had it lying there. I'm getting really sick of like getting bubbled. Like it's like it, it, it's like it just bothers me no end. Right. Yeah, I think I just gotta keep doing it over and over again until I win. I mean, that's all you need to do. But like the fact, how many times on average do you have to redo a level to like get all the silver coins? Like it has to be like what, like 
10 or 12 times, 10 or 15 times, right? Like, it takes, like, what, about half an hour, usually, from start to finish, and it's, like, brutal each time, like this. But yeah, I am a, I would say Shaolin Prince is now my favorite martial arts movie of all time. Uh, for now. I, I might find something I like more than it, but um, but I, I fucking loved that movie. Like, that was legit, like, the most fun I've ever had watching a film. I think a long time, I think. Um, or maybe ever, honestly. Like, it was, that was something else. Like, damn. Legit, like, some of the greatest fight choreography I've ever seen in my life. From, like, several different people, too. It's not just one guy. It's, like, a bunch of great people. Um, really, really entertaining. Um, and, and I think it's a really good point, like, uh, when people, like, bring up, like, oh, man, good movies don't get made anymore. Like, watch old movies. Like, shit, like, you don't have to watch the shit they turn out. Like, shit, all right. Um, okay, yeah, we're almost there. Uh, just a little bit more practice. It, it's an easy crack, but... Ah, oh, <laughs> Crash 4, yeah. I can't... They nominated Crash 4 for, like, a game, um, an award at the Game Awards, and I just laughed my ass off. Like, there is no way Crash is... Why was Crash even nominated? Like, that game sold, like, what, like, 70,000 copies? Like, it was, it was nothing. It was... Nobody no knew that game came out. It was awful. It did so badly. Um, really interesting, too. Like, it, it kind of gives you the pers a, pers a perspective of, like, why the Insane Trilogy was so popular. It was just, like... It was just, like, um... Oh, uh, we're cashing in on nostalgia. People played this game back in the 90s, so uh, they'll buy it again now. And they tried to make a new one, and uh, people didn't buy it again because they didn't actually like the Insane Trilogy. They said they did because they were supposed to. Like, oh, it's so hard. It's like Dark Souls. Like, it's the Dark Souls of platformers. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Insane Trilogy was a joke. Uh, well, Crash 4 was a joke. Uh, oh, shit, I missed one. Uh, how am I in eighth place? All right. Yeah, I keep getting way behind. Uh, but it's not a very hard eighth place. Like, I can get up to fourth pretty easily. But yeah, like, usually, like, the guys in third are, like, way above. First and second, especially. Like, look at that. Yeah, I haven't been hitting my boosts, so that's probably why I'm so behind. But boy, I'm just... It's not a really long track at all. Where'd Banjo come from? Wait, how the fuck did he get here? Wait. Yeah, third. I cannot believe I made third, but... Oh, yeah, yeah. The hype went away with the same yeah, yeah. So what? So why do, like, Sony exclusives sell that well? You, people don't actually like them. Is it just because they're exclusive? Just because of, like, the Sony marketing budget? That has to be why, right? Because people don't actually like Uncharted. Right? Like, Uncharted is, like, really no different than Jack and Daxter or any of these other PlayStation games. Like, if they weren't exclusive, nobody would care about them. Like, it's just... Like, it's really bad. Like, Sony fans will hype up absolute bullshit just, just for the sake of, like, saying they have something on Nintendo. It's just like, oops. There was a boost over there. Uh, I forgot that one. Uh, what? What? Oh, come on! No! Are you serious? Okay. This race is really wearing me out. Ugh. Yeah, I didn't win, but I thought it was doing so well too. Like, no. <laughs> Every time, you're gonna see me in second, hit that boost, and then get a get uh, go up to first. I guarantee it. Like, it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be so satisfying when that actually happens. Oh. Oops. I 
I don't know. Sony bought like uh, Sony must not be hurting for money because they just bought like uh, um, Crunchyroll, I think. Well, Funimation bought Crunchyroll. Uh, Funimation, who is owned by Sony, bought Crunchyroll. Um, So yeah, they're probably gonna ruin anime next, um, somehow. I'm not sure how they would do that, though. Like, how exactly would they fuck with the anime? Like, people are saying, like, oh, censorship, but, like, so... <laughs> like, like, uh, I don't see them, like... It's not gonna be, like, as bad as, like, the gaming situation, I don't think. Oops, uh, did I... Did I really... Yeah, I, I was fucking around with the racers too much. I didn't think about the thing to focus on them. Yeah, I forgot to get the coins. I was too busy focusing on the rays. Yeah, and I missed my bonus, too. I missed my booster, because I, I didn't get it right away. Right. Haunted Woods. Yeah, I don't think I had a problem with, like, um, the one I played. Uh, I can't remember which one it was. I can't remember what it was called. It was one of the later ones. Yeah, it wasn't one of the original trilogy. It was the one on. It was the one on. It was the one. It was the one on everything. The one with like the robot on the cover. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? Where he's in a suit, a robot suit. Yeah, I played that, and it was. Uh, it was. I didn't hate it, but it wasn't like. Yeah, it was like. Eh, it wasn't great either. I mean, I spent a day like getting through it, and I was like. Eh. It wasn't great, but I, I don't know, it was, it was something different. I guess it's like how most people view video games. Like, yeah, I don't normally play games, but I'll, I'll pop in Skyrim or whatever. And like, wander around Westeros for a while. Oh wait, Westeros, what am I talking about? That's, that's the wrong generic fantasy world. Uh, oh, here we go. I'm so glad, like, Game of Thrones uh, isn't a thing anymore. Like, now that the show's over, people have stopped pretending it's some great fantasy universe, which is uh, a good thing. Um, never a fan of Game of Thrones. Uh, read the original books. Um, the only thing uh, I think I enjoyed about the books is that, like, uh, it got me talking to this cute girl sitting behind me in uh, my English class that I'd never spoken to before. Um, one of those I wouldn't even have spoke. I would never have spoken to. I would have smashed if she wasn't si if she was single. I just, uh, I'm still kind of salty about that. Um, I think she still she still lives in the area, actually. I don't remember her name. Ah, so salty about that. Um, yeah, she would have gotten it. Oops. Uh, if I had half an opportunity to. Oops. All right. Yeah, she liked it, so like I guess it wouldn't have worked out. But, um, Somebody like the, somebody like, somebody like the, somebody the girls that used to be hot, like, these days, um, back in the day are, like, uh, fucked up now, like, really, really badly. Uh, fat, drugs, that kind of thing. It's, uh, really, really sad to see. Very, very pathetic. Uh, oops, um, yeah, it's really weird, like, in comparison how well I'm doing compared to them, uh, it really is like a, it really is like a stereotype. Like, it really is like one of those movies where like you just come back 20 years later and like you're a completely different person. Um, uh, let's see, Rekshi. Did I go to the right? Yeah, I did. I think it was the right to the right that I need to go. Shit. Hang on, let's reset that. Yeah, she was really cute. Why did I only speak to her once? Well, oh yeah, she wasn't single. I think that was, like, literally the only reason. Uh, I think. I don't remember, but I, I think that's why. There's lots of girls at, like, last year of high school that I spoke to once. Like, I never spoke to again. It wasn't because of, like, anything that went wrong. Just, eh, I was busy at that point. 
Like, at that point, like, I was worried about, like, being in, going into poverty, so it's like, yeah. Living in poverty, so it's like, yeah. I don't have time for, like, fucking stick to bitches. I think the logic was that, like, I would get with better girls, like, after high school. But, like, um... I didn't really happen, honestly, because, uh... Uh... Yeah, I just didn't meet anyone better like, for a long while. So, like, after high school, you need money for yourself. And I didn't have shit, so it's like, eh. I just spent years, like, fixing that. Just, oops. To get back to where I was. I'd say I've only just recently, like, gotten to the point where like, I'm way, I was way better than I ever was. Um... There we go. So I think my next 10 years will be solid, but like, yeah. We'll see. Yeah, I, I think they do, actually. It's, it's really awful. I'm not sure if it's like... Do you think it's because they just don't take care of themselves at all? Like, I think that has to be, like, a big part of it. Like, I know lots of women in their 30s who are fine. Like, uh... Like, a lot don't. And I think it's mostly just due to not knowing how to take care of themselves. Because they always had someone, like, making decisions for them, like, growing up or whatever. I don't know how to like take rhythms at all. Um, I think that's why like, they thought themselves out so much because uh, it's the only way they can have like anyone like, do something for them. Um, I, don't, I can't imagine like buying a woman dinner and then like. I don't, I don't know. I don't. I can't imagine myself being used like that. Like I'm so just. Uh, I'm so against that kind of thing. Just, uh, I don't know. My thought radar must be really good because I haven't met like a thought. I, I, I don't deal with thoughts. So it's like all the girls I talked to are really really nice. Uh, right, um, oops, I, I fucked it up. I missed the last last coin. Oops. How are you ever going to use the magnet if... I got second. I missed the last coin though. So I didn't get all the coins and I missed one. I legit think that like makeup fucks with women because uh, they just apply more makeup instead of like learning to take care of themselves, like actually losing weight or whatever. Because like it, it's the fat that I'm noticing that's really, really distracting. It's really awful. If they're not fat, they're on some kind of drugs. Um, okay, lots of you can say lots of things about drugs, but uh, it keeps women thin, so that, that's something. Uh, Really? Oh, come on! Bullshit! Alright. I hate it when that happens. That is complete crap. Okay. It's not even that hard of a race, but I'm just struggling with it for whatever reason. Um, I think it's probably for the best to go to the right first. Uh, and then go left. You have to go both ways, but... Okay. Wow, that was close. Like, uh, it's a pretty tight race. Uh, did I miss both of them? Alright, uh... I hate 
this guy. All right. Oh damn it! I forgot the last one. Shit. Uh. Okay, so I won't be able to get the last booster because I'll be so busy trying to. Uh... Oh, fuck you, conquer. I can't believe I won that. Shit, I guess I guess they didn't hit the booster like they were supposed to. Alright. Alright, let's see how the how the dragon handles me uh, this time. Alright, Smokey the Dragon, let's see. how this dirty bastard takes off before I cannot stand how he does that that is that is complete crap Fire just gets more aggressive this time. Damn. Uh. Da da da. Da da da. I cannot stand how he just runs off, like before the thing. Right. The first time was not hard at all, but. Um, I can't believe this is an N64 game, because it just feels so, uh... It still feels so engaging, you know? I think I'm gonna try to shoot him down. Okay, you piece of shit, you filthy fuck. Uh, right on target, oh, fuck. No, come on! You kinda wanna see how, like, how, um... A missile makes some react before I uh, decide on what to do next. Here we go. God damn. I get, me getting hit like completely ruins me, but I don't think it slows him down at all. Uh, we just throws more fireballs this time. They're pretty easy to avoid the first time, but like I think now they're a bit more actually. This is probably still easier than the octopus one. I don't think it's going to take me nearly as long, but... He's not, he doesn't seem as OP, honestly. Like, uh, like the, the octopus was just ridiculous. This one's going to go on for a while, but... Um, honestly, like, it doesn't feel like he gets too far ahead of you, honestly. Uh, like, if I could just avoid the fireballs, I think it would be fine. Okay, yeah, 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 we were uh, pretty close. Pretty close to getting there. <sighs> Bad luck. <laughs> Try again whenever you're ready. Da 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 da
Got him. Oh, fuck. Oh, come on, hit it twice. Ah, damn. I'm so close to get it pulling ahead, but no. Like, if I get ahead of him, it's, it'd be it'd be smooth sailing. It's a lot like the uh, the octopus one, but it's easier, honestly. Like the dragon is really not that tough. Uh, compared to all the other shit we had to go through, like, yeah, no wonder he had to put the silver coins in the hardest to, to reach places, because like he wasn't gonna stand a chance otherwise. Oh, shit. All right. Um. Like, he was hoping I would give up. He, went, he was hoping I wouldn't have to race him. Uh. Yeah, once you pull ahead, like, there's really nothing he can do. Because he can't fire, fire ahead of you. Like, he just trails behind. Oh, there we go. But like, if, if they're already there, if they're not, like, appearing, they're not as easy to... Okay. That was really easy. Like, even the rematch was not all that tough. Um... That was easy, wow. Like, the walrus uh, went pretty smoothly, too, but, like, why did it take me, like, an hour and 15 minutes to beat the octopus? Like... So how do you get TT? Like, is it the time trial? Is it the, the trophy challenge? Or what is it? You are worthy of facing Whizpig. Good luck. Oh, oh, don't you beat him once and then go to Future Funland? Hang on, how does this work? Did I not actually find the, the key? Where is the key anyway? I actually don't remember. I remember all the other ones, but not this one. Weird. Ooh, banana. This is gonna be yeah. This is the whiz pig race, isn't it? Okay, so you race him once, and then you can't beat me. I've got a better ship. Yeah, so if I remember correctly, there's something that makes this uh, race cheap as fuck. Uh, can't remember exactly what it is. Uh, but. But if I remember correctly, it's uh, almost impossible. The one where he's on a rocket is probably worse, but like. This is the one like, I got stuck on, I think, uh, for a while. Because I think you have one in a car and you have one in a plane. I think you have to beat Fleeter Funland and then you fight him again. Um, if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, I love Timber Tiger. Huh? Should I just switch out for the, the badger? It 
da 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 Hello friends. Select your view. Abracadabra. Can I be even now? Bye bye for now. How exactly are you supposed to catch up this guy? Like this game is ridiculously tough. I don't understand how you win. Like, it's like... I love this game, but shit. Right. Even just fighting this guy again is like giving me like nostalgic like ah, flashbacks. Just like, ah, damn, I hated this, doing this for the first time. Uh, it's a really annoying raise. Um, I think you have to hit, like, all the boost pads or some shit. Like, even get close to beating him. It's like, really? Fucking really? the car can float like what's how exactly yep second awful yeah, there's nothing I can do I just got destroyed I mean I'd like to beat him and unlock future Funland tonight uh, but well I'll probably like beat it Beat the game like tomorrow night, maybe. Diddy Kong Racing. All right. This game is brutal. I don't understand how they seriously thought this was like an acceptable level of difficulty for a kids' game. I mean, harder than Dark Souls for sure. And Dark Souls doesn't let you uh, reset, like, right where you left off. Like, I struggle a lot more with this than I do with Dark Souls. Um, I, mean, I really want to play Pikmin. Uh, I've been wanting to play Pikmin all day, but, like, I didn't have my GameCube plugged in. I think I could just stop and, like, get it plugged in. I've been playing N64, I'll stop. I should probably give it a break. Um... Yeah, I kind of want to play some Soul Calibur, some, uh, some Pikmin. How exactly? Am I sure? Yeah, I remember I looked up a guide to find the best guide. To... Am I sure the Badger is the way to go here? I remember using the Badger. Yeah, I think it didn't work. I think I used someone else. Uh... Yeah, I think I used the Badger and it didn't work. Uh... So should I just try, like, random characters until I... Should I just try random characters until I win? There's no obstacles, so, like, I guess you want someone someone with the highest speed. You don't need someone with high acceleration. This guy is shit for acceleration. I 
I think I was pulling ahead there until I uh, fucked it up. Okay. Yeah, I think I want to play some Pikmin. Uh, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this game is obnoxious. Okay, yeah, I I'm gonna beat it. I, I promise I'm gonna beat it. Probably just not tonight. Uh, I think I'm ready for something. Uh, what should I play now? Um, I thought it'd be kind of obnoxious to do it, but no. Uh, okay, um... Yeah, I, wanna, I definitely want to play some uh, Pikmin, some Luigi's Mansion. Um... Oh, wait, it, it did pop up, right? On the screen? Yep, there we go. Yeah, I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I didn't actually check to make sure the, uh... Oh, I didn't, I didn't change the memory cards. Oops. Uh... I actually... <laughs> Oops. I've never actually played Pikmin on this memory card. Um... Okay, I guess we could go ahead and do it. I mean, I have a bunch of files anyway. There's no point in having a bunch of files on Pikmin, but anyway, um... I think I normally do delete them. So I, I play through this game, like, quite regularly. It's um, one of my all-time favorite GameCube games. Uh, my favorite game in the Pikmin series by far. Um, like, one of Shigeru Miyamoto's uh, most creative projects ever. Um, I deeply admire this game. I think it's fantastic. It was a cut above, I think, most GameCube launch titles in its... Um, in its ambition, and uh, I wish Nintendo still made games like this. For a long time, people were calling this, like, the last new Nintendo IP. Um, I, I guess, like, the last classic Nintendo IP is the way to put it. Because um, this game really does challenge you to, like, <laughs> to, like learn its mechanics, and I, I just, I just really admire that. Luigi's Mansion is nowhere near as brutal. Um. After playing Pikmin 3, it's going to be weird coming back to this one. Because I, I don't think I've played this in a while. No, no, I played it last year. This is one of those games uh, I want to play once a year for sure, but... Every time I play this game, I'm just, like, taken aback at how blurry it looks. Because, like, you don't think Pikmin 3 looks as good as it does, but then, like, you go back and play the original, and you're just like, wait a minute. Uh, oh, I haven't zoomed out yet. Um. Yeah, it's too close to my liking. Uh... Wait, where's the onion? Here we go. 
I, I just really admire this game. Like, I just love how you just wander around, find this thing, learn how to interact with it. Um... And I love how Olimar describes things. I love how they set everything up. Like, I hope they, I hope Nintendo someday figures out a formula to make Pikmin really successful. Um, I think they're on the right track with, like, uh, making their deaths, like, comical. Um, like, if Miyamoto, like, um, was able, like, had the opportunity to, I think he could do it, but it's like, ugh. I know Pikmin by its nature is something that I don't think is going to be ever be mainstream, but, um... I want, you wonder, you really do wonder how Pikmin survive in the wild. Aw, oh, damn. Aw, oh, every time I do this, it just, it just warms my heart. I love, love Pikmin 1. Like, this is, this is like what I think Pikmin should be. Like, it's just you collecting things and, uh, exploring a planet, that's it. There's like no, there's no bullshit plot. I just, honestly, like, in hindsight, I think the big thing I have against Pikmin 3 is the fact that it ha tries to have a story. Like, it really should just be about you trying to, um, survive this alien planet. Like, I think Pikmin 3 is at its best when you're trying to collect fruit, actually. Um. Well, actually, I think Pikmin 3 is at its best in the challenge mode, but... Yeah, I'm, I am ready for Pikmin 4. Like, it is the most underutilized IP ever. <laughs> I am I'm so ready for Pikmin 4. Um, I hope it gets made. Because, like, they, they never really hit it out of the park. You know what I mean? Like, I love this game to bits, but boy, is it kind of flawed. Um, it's length, mostly, I think, is the thing that really gets most people. Um, like, hardcore, yeah, it, it's either, like, too hard to get into, or it's, like, um, you get into it, and it's over really quickly. Because, like, it's not nearly as difficult. Well, maybe I'm just because I know what I'm doing, but <laughs> maybe I'm just full of shit, but... It's not that hard. It's only like the most difficult game Nintendo has ever produced. Okay. This game is like unforgiving. Like shit. Like people bitch about Majora's Mask being unintuitive, but this is a uh, this is something else. <coughs> but yeah, I, I hadn't played this in a while, so I was really eager to get back into it after playing. After playing Pikmin 3, like, I think it is safe to say that, like, I do vastly, vastly prefer this one over, over 3. Um, I said they were about equal when 3 first came out, but, like, I, I, I really do feel like this game is way better. Like, at this point, like, 3, there's nothing about 3 that makes me want to replay it that often. Like, if 3 had not been re-released, like, I probably wouldn't have replayed it. Like, I, I care about the story, about, like, the general single player, like, that, that, like, that, in that way. Like, it's not compelling enough to, to keep me coming back this keeps me coming back like every shit every whenever i want to play it like it's fantastic i think la yeah has it been like it's been a year or so since i've last played this um i took some time and just uh, beat the game beat this and luigi's mansion in about a week it was great um Yeah, I have not played this in a while. Um, I probably will breeze through the entire thing, but we'll see. Uh, this is not one of my first GameCube games. I think, uh, what was my first GameCube game? Oh, it was Wind Waker. Yeah. Yeah, Wind Waker, and then I think Harry Potter. And then Luigi's Mansion, I think. Yeah, I'm going to I'm have to, like, do a Harry Potter game retrospective, because I, I, I had a look on uh, YouTube, and I noticed that, like, not a lot of people have made one, so I think it's uh, I think it's very doable for me to just make a really, really good Harry Potter retrospective um, on, on the games. Because um, I, I only played up to the third one, and, like, I remember I beat the third one in, like, a week, and I was like, eh. I haven't played that game in so long. Hang on, we gotta, we gotta get all the... It's such a good, like, simple tutorial. Like, you just... 
It introduces you to how it works. It's just... Yeah, I'm about to look at my GameCube collection and see what I want to stream. Like, I think I would want to do a Nintendo Classics video on uh, Soul Calibur 2. I think I'll, I'll think I'll do one on like Soul Calibur 2, Luigi's Mansion, and Pikmin uh, for sure. Actually, I should be doing them on a bunch of things. so satisfying when you get a big one back and you're just right there to watch it happen. Um, yeah, Pikmin is a, a game, one of those games I would actually seriously consider speedrunning. Uh, this and Super Metroid, I've um, I've dabbled in Super Metroid speedrunning. I, I can get like under, and I, my record is an, a min, an hour and 28 minutes. Um, I've dabbled in it, but I'm not like super, super good at it. Um, this, I, I've never tried it, and maybe that may, 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 might be something I can do, is just for fun, just speedrun Pikmin. Because it has been a while since I've really gotten to this, into this game. Uh. Oh, thank you, yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah, um. Yeah, Cyberpunk. It's basically what I said it was going to be. Um. If anything, I think I understated it. Honestly, I think I, I said the, said this earlier in the stream, but uh, I I um I underestimated how buggy it was gonna be. I think um, I don't know. I, I didn't actually watch that video again. I, I need to like recheck what I said. I, I said it wasn't gonna be good. I think I was kind of emphasis emphasizing like the quality aspect. I don't think I was like <laughs> really saying talking about how it was unfinished. Um, but yeah. You know. uh, thank you. All right. Here I am, uh, playing a good game that's actually finished, uh, Pikmin. I don't know, something about this game just makes me happy. It's so satisfying. Like, even though I'm, like, really, really good at it, and, um, I don't really struggle with anything in this game anymore, but, um, I don't know, it still makes you really happy to see. I, I hope... Hope Pikmin 4 goes back to, like, being brutal. Like, I hope it's, like, really, really brutal, um, but uh, I don't know. I don't know, like, the, the thing about Pikmin, the thing that made it, like, hard to begin with was that it was so, like, weird and so different that, like, to most people, it, like, made no sense, and uh, you had to, like, sort of learn it. And you can't really do that twice. Like, in a way, I think this game's kind of a missed opportunity. I kind of wish, like, this game was better than it is, because, like, it really is too short, like, uh... I complained about Pikmin 3 being too short, like, this one's even shorter. Um. Huh. It's very tech demo -ish. I, um, I really wish Switch had games like this. Like, I really wish, like, they had more experimental games. Like, the experimental games that get made today, it's shit like Box Boy, which, uh, not quite what I'm looking for. Yeah, well, the thing about Cyberpunk is that the signs were always there. Like, it wasn't me talking out of my ass. It was me, like, making reasonable observations about, like, what the development cycle for the game had been like. It was just... Like, the game journalists, the um, the YouTubers that were lying to you, there's just no no getting around that. They were, uh, they were being deliberately dishonest in order to like, try to hype you up on a product. And I think now they're trying to spin and say, like, uh, oh, it's uh, it's the last-gen versions out of the problem, when not really. Like, it, the whole game is a mess. Here we go. Um, I haven't played this game in, like, a year, I think, and uh, I'm, I'm kind of curious about how well I, uh, how I, how well, <laughs> how hard I demolish this. Um, it, it has been a while.
we're kind of limited to what we can do at first until we can get like blue Pikmin. But um, once we do, like the game, you can basically do anything in the game, which is kind of awesome. Um, it's one of the things I like about it. It's so open ended. Like it, it really does feel like you could. Uh, it's all up to you about what you want to do uh, first or next or whatever. Um, up until like the very end, uh, where you have to like beat the beat the final boss, which is more of a bonus boss if anything. Uh, but it, it, it's a nice final challenge. Um, I kind of wish. I was used to Pikmin 3, because Pikmin 3 is a... Uh, they die a bit quicker in Pikmin 3, I think. Uh, there we go, got him. I think the C-Stick works so much better for, like, uh, controlling the Pikmin. I just find it so satisfying. Alright. Um, um, yeah, we're not taking those on. Okay, we can take these guys on. Got him. Okay. Let's see how let's see how far we get. I'm, I'm really curious how, how far we can get in one day. Um Oh yeah, Donkey Kong Country is an absolute must. Uh yeah, obviously you want Zelda. Um I'll have to look at my list. Actually, I guess I could just pull out my Switch. Look at my most played games. Uh Let's see. Actually, actually, there's a bunch of ports I don't actually own. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, Dragon Quest XI. Uh, let's see. Breath of the Wild, obviously. Octopath Traveler. Hollow Knight. Fire Emblem Three Houses. Smash Bros. Ultimate. Uh, Dragon Quest XI. Odyssey, Super Mario Odyssey. Animal Crossing. Uh, arms. Yeah, I put a lot of time into Arms. I put that much time into Pikmin 3? Wow. Um... Dragon Quest Builders is really good. Um, I'll have to look at, like, Luigi's Mansion 3. Uh, that's great. Um, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Uh, but yeah, I would I would start with Donkey Kong Country for sure. That game is great. Um, I, I own the Wii U version, so, like, I didn't actually buy the Switch version, but it, it's a great game. Um, yeah, lots of great games on Switch. Um, yeah, I, I need to get back into, like, playing my Switch more often. I've been... I've been hooked on, like, retro gaming for the past couple of weeks. Uh, as you can clearly see, I've been playing, like, lots of, uh, Pikmin. Oops. Oh, well, uh, well, the original Hyrule Warriors. Like, I don't think the new one's all that good. Actually, you know, maybe I should give like uh, Age of Calamity another shot because I'm, I've been like shitting on it a lot, and I'm just, <laughs> I've got a feeling like eh, maybe I should be a bit more, um, have a bit more of a, a thorough opinion, because like people are talking about like lo uh, the story shit, and like I don't know a thing about that. Um, I mean, the story in the original Hyrule Warriors was awful. Like I like the original Hyrule Warriors, but damn, was it terrible um, story wise. Oh, here we go. Nothing's better than having a gaggle of red Pikmin, I swear. Uh. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Um. Oh, I, I love Donkey Kong 64. I'm a big fan of that one. Uh, I was actually playing it on stream a while back. Um. Yeah, I'm a big fan of that one. Um. I like that game a lot, actually. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and get some yellow Pikmin. Um, let's get the yellow Pikmin before the day ends. Uh, actually, we have a lot of time. I swear the days in Pikmin 3 go by a lot faster than in Pikmin 1. Is it just me? or Are the bulb orbs bigger, too, in this one? This guy looks a lot bigger than the Pikmin 3 ones. And I think they take more hits, too. Is it just my imagination, or what? Yeah, I think I think Pikmin 3 plays a little bit differently. I think I lost a lot of Pikmin there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's going to take me a while to get used to Pikmin 1 again. Uh, Pikmin 3, I think... Uh, I think Bulborbs are a lot smaller in that one. Uh...
Oh, do I not have enough Pikmin? All right. The bananas. Yeah, yeah. Pikmin Three is a great game, but uh, yeah, I prefer the original for sure. Uh, Yeah, Pikmin 3 is a great pick. Um, I mean, I, I prefer this one, but um, 3 is definitely um, definitely a great game in its own right. 2 is the one I don't care for. Um, I don't know. I don't know why so many people are like so fond of 2, but like I I have always disliked 2. Like ever since I first played it, like I've just like every time I play it, I'm just like this is this is not Pikmin. Yeah, yeah, Smash Bros is good. Uh, Ring Fit Adventure is good. Um, I mean, of course you have to get Smash Bros. Uh, like, how do you not get Smash Bros? Like, ugh. Sephiroth is in the game. Um, I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, next week, I think, uh, he's coming. Not next week. Uh, yeah, it is next week. Wow. Um, hard to believe it's that soon, but yeah, it's coming. Uh, yeah, I can't believe, like, the Bulb Orbs take more damage in this game. Uh... Yeah, they're a lot hardier in this one, I think. Uh, here we go. Yeah, ARMS is underrated. Yeah, ARMS is... Uh... Damn, I need to play more ARMS. It's been a while. <laughs> Actually, I have a lot of things, a lot more things I need to do. I, I, I really do need to cut back on the games, because, like, there's always so much stuff I want to play, but, like... You know, I'm, I'm making stuff on my own now, so I, I gotta focus on that. Shit. Yeah, Banjo's a lot of fun. Yep. Oh, whoops. Uh, yeah, I might as well bring back the uh, the ship part while I'm collecting stuff. Oops. They're really using all of them? Oh, a handful of them. Okay. Du, 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 du. Yeah, there are lots of good games coming out next year. I, I expect like three is gonna, uh, next year is going to be fantastic for Switch. Like No More Heroes three, Rune Factory five, uh, lots of good stuff. Um. Ah, damn. I'm so used to being able to sort them. Okay. Uh. Oh, come on, no. Okay, just. Oh, damn, yeah, you have to use them to pick up the rocks. Um. Yeah, once you get three more parts, we are on to the next area. Like I said, the game is, like, a lot of fun, but boy, is it short. Uh, really, really short, unfortunately. Um. Yeah, Traverse Strikes again is a must-play if you're a Suda fan. I would suggest playing No More Heroes first. Oh, yeah, No More Heroes was re-released re on Switch, so you should check those out as well. Uh, and Bayonetta, obviously. Uh. Oh, what? What the fuck? Oh, damn, they were so close that... Okay. Um... Yeah, I, I didn't see that coming at all. <laughs> I didn't see that coming at all. Uh... I guess the rocks are more dangerous. Yeah, I guess they toned it down for Pikmin 3. Wow. Uh, in this one. All right. Uh, well, thankfully, I was worried, like, my yellows were extinct for a minute there, but now they're fine. Um, yeah, No More Heroes 1 is one of my favorite games of all time, and it's on Switch. Uh, 
Of course, Nintendo Switch Online is a must. Uh, you get all these NES and Super Nintendo games. Um, yeah, Switch is a great purchase. <laughs> There's lots of stuff to buy, as you can see. Um, but honestly, like right now, I'm just chilling and playing uh, old games on the on the Wii. I don't know. You can't beat like some of my favorite games ever. You know what I mean? Like Pikmin. If I had all the uh, the yellows I needed, I'd probably be able to last my way through this area. Ugh. And even like these little grubs are like eating Pikmin. Shit, this is a lot harder than Pikmin Three. Like shit, I don't think I've ever noticed that before. But yeah, I'm struggling a lot with it. All right. Uh... Was that not, was that not, not enough? All right. Uh, okay, and I think there's one back here too. Yeah, yeah. So you gotta blow that up too. Um, yeah, I think I should have been able to get all of those, but I think I messed it up. Uh, I mean, I'll get it next time, but um, yeah, if I hadn't messed up my uh, my rocks, I would have been able to. They go down there right away, but... Actually, there's some more over here, so let's see if that works. I don't know, there's just something about... Really satisfying about watching Pikmin work, you know what I mean? Like... Like, like knowing that you like did everything right, and they're all... They're all on their way to becoming a successful... Oh, here we go. A successful species? Oh, here we go. Got my whimsical radar. All right. There's a ship part back here, so we have to blow this wall up. It looks like there's nothing back there, but there's a, there's a thing. Yep, there it is. You can see it. Actually, we need more rocks. Shit. If I didn't blow up so many... All right. Oh, there's a lot of dudes back here. Um, man, I miss Pikmin 3's fast travel option and having multiple guys. Um, yeah, we better hurry up. I think those guys will be fine. Uh, yeah, I got two machine parts today. Uh, I'll probably get two tomorrow. Oh, did they get, did they get back already? Um, I think I have everything I need. Uh, yeah, it looks like they're all back. Uh, yeah, I need to finish Blaster Master Zero too. I, I really like the first one, but I never, I never finished the second one, uh, unfortunately. I don't know. There's a lot of games I need to get caught up on Switch. Um, I actually should have been pulling these guys.
Uh oh. The riots have the riots already started in uh in DC? Oh shit. Yep, it's uh ramping up. It's happening. Uh Yep, you didn't get a single Pikmin. Oh, they're so hungry. Oh. Why don't they... Why aren't they active during the day? Like, do they only hunt Pikmin at night? Like, I don't... I don't understand how this works, but... Okay, um... Anyway, um... Yeah, we gotta raise our yellow Pikmin population. We're, typically, in my... In a typical playthrough of this game, I typically have, like, really, really high, like, red Pikmin counts. And then, like and okay-ish, like, yellow Pikmin counts, and then I spend the rest of it, like, trying to boost my blue Pikmin. Uh, like, you need, like, blue Pikmin for sporadic things um, to navigate, like, certain areas, but, like, generally speaking, like, you're pretty good if, if you just have, like, a bunch of red Pikmin. I mean, they're the ones you get first, so, like, it kind of makes sense you have m m most of them. Uh, okay, we're gonna put about 60, I think. 65, 70. And then, like, the rest will be yellows. Oh, but I don't even have, like... I don't even have 17. Uh, it doesn't even really matter, uh, but alright, let's... Uh, Isn't this game, like, kind of relaxing when you get the hang of it? It's kind of weird, <laughs> but... <sighs> I just love it so much. All right. <laughs> like, Antifa is, like, doing shit there. Um... Like, people are getting the crap beat out of them for some reason. I don't even know what's going on, but hang on. Oops. Oh, whoops, what? That's the wrong side, you idiot! Okay, did that guy just kill himself? He did. Ugh, what an idiot. Alright, wait. Yeah, I'm so used to, like, the way Pikmin 3 does it. Like, I'm so baffled when I have to do it with someone else. Alright, with another character. Alright, with another, in another game. Alright. Oops, I thought that would be enough, but no. Uh, hang on, shit. Yeah, I guess I normally like having a, a handful of Pikmin uh, handle the bombs. I guess I don't like normally like having so many Pikmin around when I'm handling bombs, but all right. Um. I right, regroup, guys. Regroup, you idiots! All right. Alright, repopulate, repopulate. Alright, uh, oh, here we go. Yep, there's a, a wall to be broken here. Hey, yeah, picking three is a lot of fun. Um, I'd say it's worth the money, actually. <sighs> Wait, what? Where are all my guys? Are they really all just... Ugh. All right, I guess we could pull out some more. Grumble, grumble. Is 
the forest naval, the next area. Yeah, and then you have like the. Uh... There's not that many areas in this game. There's like five of them. It's really weird to think how short this game is. Yeah, I need, I need to breed some yellows. And the rest of them can go help take down that wall. Yeah, I need yellows, so I think I'm going to come back with the yellows and I uh, pick this up. I got to destroy that wall, too. Uh. Yeah, you don't really appreciate how, like, Pikmin 3 makes things, have made things so much easier. Like, it's not, it's so weird coming back to this after, immediately after playing Pikmin 3. Um. Yeah, I'm sure it'll drop in price eventually. Yeah, yeah, I don't think you need Pikmin 3 right away. Like, pick the must-have must games first. Um, games that you really want. So I guess Tropical Freeze in this case. Um, I'm pretty sure that's cheaper now, right? I don't think it's sixty dollars. Uh, oops. Here we go. Um. Find some more bomb rocks and I'll try to blow up that whole that shortcut to the uh, to the base because I'm I'm kind of sick of walking around. But many bombs, I recall. Oh, here we go. We got it. All right. Is there another one over here? Uh, there's a bunch of guys, but um, I don't think it's anything we can't handle. Uh, one of the ship parts you don't actually need, so... Ugh. Gotta love how Olimar doesn't actually know how his own ship works. Alright, we got that one back. That's going to come back. That should be back before the end of the day. And then, okay, so... I think that'll... Uh, that's enough to get to the next area. And then from there, we can get the blue Pikmin. And then from there, we can... Uh, continue with what we've been doing. Uh, yeah. Weird to think Witcher 3 is now an old game. <laughs> Ugh. Still no Witcher 4 in sight. <laughs> I 
I legit think I'm probably going to finish this in one sitting. I am that enamored with this game. Um, okay. Uh, Why aren't they picking this stuff up? Alright. Yeah, I have a handful of yellows. Uh, yeah, I want, I want to get the shortcut thing open. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I want to get the shortcut open for sure. And then probably open the way to the next area. Yeah, I should have had the shortcut open already. I shouldn't have had to make them go around, but alright. Nothing like playing some Pikmin. Yeah, they're always last. Alright. There we go. Oh, they can actually throw them. Okay, I thought... Weird. Alright, uh... When do they actually throw them? Alright, oh. Yeah, I think that's gonna lead to the forest navel. So I think from there we're gonna get we're gonna get the blue Pikmin, and then we're gonna Just pick them up, like... Alright, we got it. Eh, 53, I mean, is that really... There's two of them. I would like to have a hundred. This is kind of a difficult encounter. Here we go. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah, Melee is big. Like, there are so many big GameCube games that are, like, really valuable. Like, I paid, like, what, $50 for Kirby Air Ride, uh, Double Dash? Uh, Melee, I think, goes for 80 And that was, like, the best possible price I could find for them. Uh, there's no real, like... Here we go. Yep, there we go. Look at all this chaos that's happening around them. I don't give a shit. They're just gonna sleep and let themselves die, I guess. Uh, yeah, let's go back. Uh, are you missing any Pikmin? I guess we are. Uh, yeah, we're probably not gonna come back until we get blue Pikmin so we can actually get these water ones, but um, I think... Where are the other ones? Yeah, yeah, water... I think you need water for that, and I think you need water for those, too. Is that really all the parts you can get at this point in the game? Maybe you can get the ones over here. Uh, I guess I'll have them build the bridge, because I have nothing else for them to do, but... Um, just to see what's over there. The bridge is going to be gone by the time we get back. One of the things I really like about this game is how, like, uh, you can do things like build bridges, and then you can come back later and find that, like, animals are starting to, like, eat them. It's great. Um... It feels really organic and natural. The game is so well thought out. Um, oh, I see. Oops. What? How'd that guy get in there? Get out! I don't know. Like, I, I can't feel sorry for that guy. That was his fault. Okay. I don't know. I don't know anybody who goes to GameStop. 
Like shit, GameStop is a complete joke. All right, here we go. Do you really? Yeah, I th is that really all I can do? I guess we can go to the next area, but it's like, wow. I thought I could get a lot more than that, but I mean, like, I guess it's only day three, but um, I think I think I should have been able to get like everything before the end of day two, but um, whatever. Um, if that's the best I can do. Um, Oh, we're missing a couple. Wait, where are they? Oh, well, whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, I mean, we have like 27 days left, so I'm not really worried, but, um... <laughs> I mean, I've beaten this game how many times? Like, it's it's not that hard. Yep, Forest Naval. Um, yeah, we're gonna get Blue Pikmin, and then we can do whatever we want. Oh, it's gonna be great. Yeah, new Star Fox uh, needs to happen. We were talking about that when I was um, earlier on, when I was uh, playing Star Fox 64 earlier. Like Star Fox 64 2 needs to happen. Um, all right, let's see. Yeah, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna have 30 red Pikmin and then 30 yellows, and then try to get. My priority is going to get the blue Pikmin and have them uh, build them up. Uh, let's see here. Actually, I should probably have more Pikmin. Yeah, I might as well get more red Pikmin. It's going to take a while to get down to where uh, the red, the blues are. It takes a while to find the blues, in period. Like, I remember it taking me a while to find them the first time. Because they're kind of out of the way. They're pretty near, but, like, you have to, you have to, like... You have to be, you have to go, like, to an awkward sort of, like... You have to go around in an awkward sort of way. Uh, this is probably my favorite other area in the game. It's so cool and dank and just... It's so intimidating, imposing, compared to most of the areas. So where is it exactly? I kind of miss this. Um, in in newer Pikmin games, like you keep your Pikmin so long, they just naturally go into flowers. I don't. Is the honey even really a thing in modern Pikmin? All right. Uh, oh, here we go. We can go straight down here. Okay. Wow. Okay. It really is right there. Like, why did I think? Okay. Uh, let's put the red Pikmin back then. I mean, you need Red Pikmin here, but, um... Yeah, we can build up Blue Pikmin first, uh... I thought you had to go through some thing, but no, it's right there. Weird. I thought you had to go around. Weird. Uh... 
Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Starlink was only ever a thing because of Star Fox, yeah. Starlink was such a joke. I, I was not a fan of Starlink. Um, I don't get why people promoted it so hard, heavily either. Like, Arlo will swear by it as being, like, the best Star Fox game in years. It just, ugh, it's, it's weird. All right. Oh, maybe I should just build up the blues. And then just... They don't even really need blues here that much. They're mostly useful in, like, the Garden of Hope and the uh, other areas. I mean, you, you need them a little bit here, but, like, they're not, like, they're not some game-changing thing. Like, there are some puddles you need to navigate. That's about it. Yeah, I gotta stand here and, like, actually build these guys up. I gotta baby these guys for a bit. So I have more than 20 of them. Like, shit. I love how quickly Pikmin multiply. Multiply, it's great. Alright, uh... Am I legit going to play through the entire thing tonight? I think I am. I, I, le I legit think I want to be able to. Am I really going to beat this and then immediately go to Luigi's Mansion? Instead of, like, waiting an entire week, I'm going to go ahead and beat entire games in, like, days. I mean, I guess I love both games. But, all right. Uh... Okay, I think that should be good. Uh, let's go. You'll win that tug of war eventually. Um. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know they don't... I know. I, I know how Pikmin behave. I've played the game before. Alright, um... Honestly, like, I like having uh, red Pikmin down on the field because uh, they can deal with the Fire Hog so easily. Um... this game. Alright. Oops. What the fuck? Hmm. 
I don't like how long it takes you to get up here sometimes. Like, you have to, like, go through these narrow passageways. It's like, ugh. Alright. Kind of a buzzkill, but... Damn, really? Where, where is everybody? Alright. I have a hundred people picking on the field, but I have no idea what any of them are doing. Alright, uh... Lots of, lots of these brick walls that... Honestly, it's so difficult to find uh, the... It's so difficult to find the... Uh, the bomb rocks in this area. I honestly don't remember where they are a lot of the time. Actually, I don't remember where they are now. Um... Nintendo hasn't announced anything in a while. I'm thinking they might do a big direct in January. I mean, they, they, there's plenty of stuff coming out. Um, the enemies do take more hits in this game. Yeah, I really shouldn't have, like, these guys on the field. Uh... Yeah, I think I should have a bunch of reds here to clear everything out, and then... Uh, let's see here. I don't know what is with me and not being able to, like, save up yellows in this, but... Uh, I'll be really glad when I finally have every Pikmin, like... anything these guys can do against uh, against uh, red Pikmin because they're immune to fire. I love how like uh, one of Pikmin's um, one of the red Pikmin's primary attributes that they're immune to fire isn't like inherently obvious or explained. You just sort of you just sort of figure it out in gameplay. It's uh, pretty cool, actually. Oh, here we go. I think I'm gonna go ahead and wipe all these guys out. Um, Really, that really took everything I had, huh? Uh. Let's go back up and see if. It's gonna take a while to uh, to get all this stuff. I haven't gotten anything yet. I haven't broken any of these walls. It's just to be fair, I had to get blue Pikmin. Um. Wait, oh, Pikmin don't follow you up the geyser? Ugh. Yeah, we're gonna have to figure this out. Where are the... Where are the rocks? Yeah, we need to start bombing these walls, because I'm just... Ugh. 
I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. All right. Uh. Okay, uh, that's, uh, 78. I think I'm gonna wait. Alright, so... I think I'm gonna try to find, a, find out where the bomb rocks are. I think they're back here. I think you need to, like, take the... Yeah, where are they? Yeah, here they are. Yeah, I think what you do is that you, uh... Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do first time they are. Take some blues, come up here. Uh, get that thing built. Have access to bomb rocks, and then open up the gates. Wait, where are my Pikmin? I think they're all where they need to be, but... Uh... I, know, I probably should have accomplished more today, but it's difficult when like you're <laughs> when you don't have all your Pikmin in one place. Days remaining, 26. Yeah, parts remaining, 24. Yeah, I think once we, like, really start, um... Uh, only 15 blue Pikmin? Oof. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's, it's kind of, like, a little bit one-sided here. Uh, yeah, 15 red, like, 15, like, what, 15 yellows, 15 blues, 100 reds, yeah, that's it. We need, like, more Pikmin. We need more some variety here. But yeah, let's uh, bomb open the gates and uh, clear things up for transportation. Because the big problem right now is that like it's taking such a long time to uh, to get Pikmin from point A to point B. So let's get the let's get the bomb let's get the walls bursted the burst burst the walls break down the walls. All right, uh, and then everything else can be reds. Because we need a bunch of reds to deal with, like, the uh, the guys on the ground there. Okay. Okay, I need the I need the yellows for the for their thing. For the bomb rocks. And then I need the blues to, to do their thing. Alright. All right, boys, do your thing.
Here we go. There's so many guys I need to kill, it's like, ugh. I need to stay on top of everything. You have to kill, like, everyone you see, otherwise you might run into, like, issues with, uh... There we go. You gotta be kidding me. Alright, so it's gonna take a while to get everything, uh built here. I should have done it last time right away, but anyway, whatever. Not a big deal. Uh, yeah, so I gotta build this thing. I gotta build the next thing. I just... It's gonna take a while to get that built. Uh... And that's like all the blues and yellows I have at the moment. Uh, it should be easier when it starts getting a, a little bit built a little bit more, but yeah, it really should have happened already. All right. Uh, oops. That frog was really aggressive. Uh, you got to be kidding me. That is ridiculous. You never know what's going to happen in Pikmin, huh? Uh... Damn, that is ridiculous. Uh... I think they're pretty active. All right. Yeah, we got to... Once we get that built and once you have access to more rocks, I think we're good. Um... But we, we got to... Oh, damn. Really? You have to go, you have to go around a bit. Shit. Uh... I hate how, like, every time you walk by those, they have to stop and, like, fuck with them. I just... Uh... Alright. Like, the way they're placed, you can't even walk around them. It's, it's really obnoxious. Alright. You know, things grow back all the time. It's like... Uh, really? Come on. I'm losing all my guys to like these ridiculous weeds. Like, just, just cut, cut it out. All right. All right. Here we go. All right. Uh, we'll just throw them up there. Oh, it's still not high enough. Oh, here we go. Yep, we got it. Got it. All right. Wait, do I have any yellows left to carry the rocks? Ah, come on. Every single time. All right. Uh. <sighs> okay, uh, let's go back. I'm not going that way. I guess this way is more secure, but... Uh... I 
gotta get, I gotta get yellows. Where are the yellows? I just, ugh. It's been a while since I've played. I don't remember how long, how many days it took me to play last time, but like, I want to say it was like eight days. It didn't take me that long. Um, to be fair though, I think like once I get through this awkward phase of like not having enough guys to do certain things. Um, why don't they pick up things automatically? Why do they stop? I don't understand that. Okay, um... There we go. Alright, I went from nothing to having 70 guys. Alright, let's, uh, let's see how this goes. are everywhere. They're just threatening me every, all the time. It's just, Okay, we have plenty, I think. Uh... This thing is so sturdy, it's going to take, like, a lot of rocks. A lot of them. Yeah, really, really sturdy, really strong stuff. Um, <sighs> Alright, well, I have a lot of rocks to, a lot of walls to break, so... I mean, right now, I've been I've been actively like trying to do all this stuff. Um, there we go. There we go. Yep. I think Pikmin AI in this is still pretty bad. Um, they didn't improve it until Pikmin Two. Uh, here we go. Oops. Love me some Pikmin. All right. There we go. That's bursted. Oh shit! Yeah, we could we could go ahead and break this with uh, everyone else. Uh, I thought that was a wall too, but it's not. Uh, all right.
Actually, do you really need this one down? You have the bridge. Oh, well, whatever. Which is honestly way more effective, but... Uh... I have 319 Pikmin. Ugh. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like I should be getting way more parts than I am. To be fair, this is one of those areas that's kind of confusing. Uh. In a lot of ways. All right, here we go. Yeah, I think once I get like a handle, everything and. Uh, oof. Yeah, how many how many parts did I get here? Two, I think. I spent like what two days here, and like I'm well on my way to getting several others. Like I could get like that one, that easy one right away. I just haven't gone down there yet. I I don't usually go down to the right, uh, go down to the left. I usually go down to the right right away, and then like get the get the two over there. I guess this, these are the more time consuming ones. Uh, okay. Um, Fuck. I guess I, you don't want non red Pikmin fighting these things at all. Like, red Pikmin will just straight up destroy them, but everyone else, oof. Good luck. Oops, yeah. Yeah, parts remaining, days remaining. Yeah, we have plenty of time. I don't think I need, uh, actually, I think I, yeah, yeah, I think I'm gonna get some, uh, get some yellows. I think that's the bare minimum I need, actually, uh, <laughs> yeah, let's see how this goes with, like, bare, 20 yellows, I barely have 20 yellows in it. Yeah, if I fuck this up, I'll have to reset the entire day, but, um, it's never fun, like, resetting up. It's never fun, like, building up Pikmin from scratch. Uh, I mean, I guess it doesn't take long, but... I mean, considering where we are... Is the body gone? What happens to the bodies overnight? I don't really explain that. Alright, uh... Nope, stop! Stop it! Okay. Who did I lose? Oops, I forgot about this guy.
Yeah, I better I better kill this guy uh, before I do anything else. I completely forgot about this gate here. Oh, that's trooper. All right. If he turns around, I'll have to pull them off, but I don't think he will. I'm gonna have to kill him anyway, but like, I'd like a little bit more room before I separate them. And have the reds attack him, and then the yellows. Oops. All right, here we go. Bitch, 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 bitch. All right, I love you. All right, here we go. Uh, we are... I forgot you don't have a charge button in this game. I'm so used to having a charge button. All right. I guess you have, like, the, the C-stick, but it's not the same. Oh yeah, there's there's something else up here, isn't there? Yeah, you need yellows for the thing up there and the blues for the thing up here. Okay. Okay. Uh, no problem. Um, not a big deal at all, uh, actually. Um, but I'm gonna get this thing first, just because you know that's what I was prepared for, prepared prepared to do. It really should be a bit more organized. I've I've been kind of botching it. Like it feels like I I have a, too many Pikmin doing one thing at once, um, only one thing at once. Um, trying to break down barriers. Uh, hopefully enough. I have enough Pikmin. Um, if I can get like yellow Pikmin to bring it down and then red Pikmin to carry it, I'm basically good. But. Um, The days are going by fast, shit. Okay, that should be it. Oh, you really gotta... You gotta have blue, red, blue Pikmin. Okay. Um, okay, I'll, I'll take some reds and then just come back. So what? Probably about like thirty blues. Yeah, probably shouldn't be getting both these at once. Uh, but ah, oh well, whatever. Not a big deal. Uh. Yeah, it takes a it takes too much time to get back. Uh, here we go. Yep, we're good. Yeah, some of these guys are being awfully slow. Ah, I complete forget. I keep forgetting about that f barrier. Uh, they're everywhere. I'm getting really sick of them. All right. Uh, Yeah, so I think 30 blue should do it. Uh, so I guess I could put up 30... Let's see. I only need 50 out. I 
don't even have 30 blues. Uh, hopefully that's enough. Damn. This keeps getting in my way. All right. Yeah, I shouldn't have had to go back and get this thing, but... Ah, uh, whatever. Uh... There's so many things in this area that slow you up. It's just it's kind of annoying. Okay. Oh, what? Come on! Are you fucking serious? <sighs> All right, uh... That was like 12 of them! Like, okay. Alright, well. I was gonna get more anyway, but... I would like to have gotten them both. Uh, yeah, next thing you know, I'm, I'm not gonna have enough yellows. We got it. Isn't it, like, possible to, like, get this set up in a way where, like, you could actually lose this thing, and since it's an essential item, you can't actually beat the game if that happens? Okay. Aw, my Libra. Aw. And you forget sometimes that Olimar has a wife and kids. Kids, especially. He talks about his wife a lot, but not so much his uh, son and daughter. Uh. If I hadn't lost them all, if I hadn't lost the blues, that would have been fine. Uh, but no, uh, let's see how let's see how heavy this thing has to be at least thirty. There's no way I'll be able to lift it. That's what I have. There's no way. Yeah, no way. Yeah, I need more resources. Uh, get out of the water. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll just come back here later when I have more guys. Uh, I guess I can just come up here for now. I think there's something else up here that I need. If I'm remembering correctly. Actually, I can come back here later when I have more Pikmin. Uh, blue Pikmin, I should say, specifically. <laughs> specifically blues. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go back to the forest. And uh, there, there are just too many times where, like, I'm doing something and I just can't do it because I don't have yellows or blues. It's just it's getting really obnoxious. Um, I mean, I could get, like, those two right away. Um, and probably the one in the pond if I had, like, more blues. So I think I'm going to... Go back to the forest. Uh, grind me out some blues. Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and take down some of these barriers. Since I have some, since I actually have yellows on me. We got it. Alright, awesome.
I got it. I got it and run fast enough. Like the obnoxious thing about this is how many like how many bomb rocks it takes to get like any of these things open. Like it takes like what eight of them each, which is ridiculous for for one barrier. But like they're everywhere here for some reason. Like I typically ignore them, but like this time I think I want to try. I wanted to try to break them down. Uh, I think once I have more blues, I'll be able to handle everything. Uh... Okay, uh... Yeah, we're gonna break this wall. Okay, yeah, I think I got everything. Um... Oh, there's another one? Fucking really? I don't have a lot of... Yeah. <laughs> My red Pikmin are just swallowing everything up. Alright, so... Yeah, the Forest of Hope. Let's uh, focus on building up yellows and, and blues. Um, so we can complete the Forest Naval. Um, yeah, I think... Um, I think if I had a good run, I would have collected a lot more pieces. I guess I just kind of forgot... Um, some of the things you have to do. Like, I guess it's not necessary to bomb down all the walls like I was like I was doing. Uh, all right, here we go. Hard working. All right. My primary focus right now is, like, building up the blue Pikmin, but uh, I think I probably will collect uh, machine parts, too. I mean, you kind of have to, right? And that's the entire point of the game, but...
think after this, I'll probably go to the, um, the first area. Now that I have all the Pikmin, there's no reason not to go back there and get the second treasure. It's kind of nice the tutorial area has uh, some more to it, but... Alright, uh, let me see here. What am I doing? I have damage two of them. Do they get bigger if you leave them alone? Is, th is that what it is? Where, where do they come from? Do they just come from underground, or like... Why are they sleeping out in the open like this? Oh, whatever. Do they not have any other predators? Or just... Yeah, I think I'll kill them with reds and then... Uh... I think I'll kill them with reds and then... I think reds are way better fighters, actually. Um... Yeah, what up reds help deal with the uh, the big ones? Shit, that's kind of ridiculous. All right. Uh... more blues than anything, but all right, whatever. It's day seven. It really shouldn't have taken me this long. I think I did beat it. Like, I wonder what my record is. Like, it really shouldn't take me this long. It, it does feel like I'm, I'm kind of lollygagging a bit. I thought I would get through it really quickly, but yeah, I guess I have gotten a little bit rusty. Um, more yellows than I got anything else. I guess I did, but okay. I mean, I guess I need more blues than anything, but... Eh. That's all of them? Shit, I don't even have 30 yet. Yeah, I need, I need a lot more blues for sure. Uh... And I don't need this red, fuck off. Uh, I think I can walk on water? Oh. Uh.
Uh... I think everything I need is, like, water-related. It's gonna be a while before I can, uh, use them again. Ugh. Cause I have so few Pikmin! Alright. Uh, I guess I could just get some more yellows. I think I need more blues and yellows, for sure, and here I am dicking around with reds and yellows. Ugh. No, I need I needed the blues to build that bridge, so I just like ugh. Alright, uh Yep, I need the blues to build that. Like literally everything else I need I need to do here, it's it's all blue related, so I'm just like Yeah, maybe coming here to like um to build up my blue was not the best bet I could have made. Alright, here we go, I think we're done. Alright. Um, yeah, it's, it's, um, let's use them to bring everything back. Perfect. Uh. Are you serious? Who drowned? You idiots! <sighs> you deserve to drown, you fucking retards. Alright. Alright, uh. That is ridiculous. I really should have been able to... Uh, that was not something I should have struggled with. Alright, uh... Here I was, like, thinking I was going to beat the game today, but, like, I'm really struggling with, like, a lot of shit that I really should have done a lot better. Um, what is this yellow doing? <sighs> you deserve that, you piece of shit. All right. That yellow was just asking for trouble. Libra, Sagittarius, uh... Yeah, I might as well get all the things here and then just go to the, the first one. Ugh, I don't know, man. I'm... I'm really struggling. Really struggling, man. <sighs> I mean, I'm a, I'm a good way into the game, but... When do you think I'm gonna beat it? Like, day 15 or something like that? Like, I can see it being around there. I think last time I did it, like... Before
before I hit the double digits. I just, ugh, I don't remember for sure, but, um. Yeah, we gotta go up there and build that, break down this other wall. I keep breaking down walls rather than gathering things. <laughs> it's like, ugh. Still need the blues to do like some other tasks too. It's like, uh Okay, let's break down this gate. And then uh what next? It feels like I'm not accomplishing much, which is weird, but bit more. <sighs> it's gonna take me a while to beat this guy. Like literally everything I have left to do in the area is fight these major boss creatures. Which is probably gonna take me a while uh, with my resources. Um I think I could just get a bunch of reds and then just come up here tomorrow. Um save my blues for when I need them. my guys go? How many did I lose? Because I couldn't... Uh... have 28 blues like what the f what's the deal with that anyway all right i specifically came here to build up my blue population and i still haven't done it yet whatever i'll kill this thing up here and then just have a bunch of blues just take it i don't give a shit um uh... That's what am I doing? That is exactly what I... I was like, wait a minute. I forgot to throw them up there. Alright, uh... Wow, that was... That was dumb as fuck. What was I thinking? Yeah, I guess I'm really tired. 
Did I think the water would go away after I opened the gate? Like, what? <laughs> what? Oh. Uh. shot a lot of times. A lot one shot a lot of times can like really really hurt so it's one of the things I like about this game it's so punishing. Like one mistake can really cost you. You have to take a lot of risks. You're Where's the where's the treasure? Oh, it's over here. Okay, I was like, wait a minute, where is it? But I lost a bunch of reds here. Like shit. Like my population went way down. Well, to be fair though, like. Worried about losing my guys. I'm just. too many guys. Uh, let's... Looks like I've built my blue population up quite a bit. I think I got them all. Yeah. Do, 
Doo -doo -doo. Hopefully that should uh, put me in there where I need to be. Alright, let's get some reds and then um, get back to business. I'm slowing through all my red Pikmin, though. I'm kind of worried I'm going to run out of red Pikmin now, but I don't know. I don't think you really need them. I mean, after the after the navel, it's like mostly blue Pikmin. And then you can just build them up whenever. Uh... Things everywhere. Wow. Da, 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 da. Twenty-six. Ugh. These bulb orbs are a lot bigger than I think they are in Pikmin Three. Is it just me? Like, that's kind of bothering me. Like I'm just like, wait a minute, when do these things get so fucking big? All right. Uh. Pull them out when they're safe. Uh, I think I had to murder all these guys first before I can. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to come back here next time so I can clear these things out. It's one of the reasons I didn't want to go to the forest naval. Um, is because when, like, you leave them alone, or leave an area alone, like, enemies come back, and it's like, you have to clear them out again, and it's like... Uh... Yeah, I might as well just get, um, grow some more blue pick them. I have so many red picked in anyway, it's like, it's not even a big deal that I have to kill these guys, but, um, it, it does waste time, um, it does add up, just, you know. And shit, why are there so many of them? Alright. Come back uh, with um, tomorrow, and then just do all of this, all right, here we go. and then just get the rest of the parts. Because I think we're in the position now where we can do it. Followed by a hundred. That is not a hundred. Wait, wait, where are the rest of them? Wait, oh, wait. Here they are. I was like, wait a minute, that is not a hundred Pikmin. I don't think that was twenty. All right. I guess it didn't come out properly. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna try to open the path in the next area. 
but uh, I also want these guys picked up and converted into blue Pikmin. Um, favorite game ever. Okay. Oof. Did I really run out of Pikmin? Oh, here they are. It's like, wait a minute, where are the rest of them? Right. I literally only needed 10, and yet I'm already... All right. yeah, I'm gonna try to kill the Snagret. Uh... Yeah, I think tomorrow I'll be able to, to round up the last of the parts here. Um, then I'll go back to the forest table. It really shouldn't have taken me this long. It does feel like it's kind of dragging a bit. And the Snagret is a complete pain, so... So I have that thing, and then I have uh, that other one that I cannot remember. I cannot remember how you get over there. I really don't. But I'll, I'll have plenty of time to figure it out tomorrow. It shouldn't be too difficult. Um... Snagger tonight. Oof. Oh, I could wait until our next Yep, the blue Pikmin went way up, went, spiked way high. Uh, reds suffered a bit, but I won't. Yeah, I think I'm going to start Luigi's Mansion tonight. I think I'm going to finish this and then start some Luigi's Mansion. Um, Alright, um, am I legit going to just use 100 red Pikmin? <laughs> I really don't give a shit, huh? Um, 
Alright, we're gonna use the reds to kill the Snagret, and, uh... I don't know, the Snagret freaks me the fuck out. There's something about it that just bothers me. Like, what, what the fuck is it? Why did they come back? Alright. Why are there more of them? Alright. Now, first, uh, first things first, kill all the guys that, that should have been gone yesterday. Idiots are probably gonna fall in the water. Yep, do it. Yeah, well, they deserved it. Like, shit. Like, just don't fall in the water, idiots. Alright. Oh, there's more than one of them, isn't there? I said the Snagger, but there's more than one. Uh. Yeah, better might as well re replenish my forces. Yeah, these guys are kind of a pain. All right. My Giger counter. Yep. All right. I am. Da, 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 da. Okay, that should replenish the red pigment I lost. And now I can go try to find... Uh, where am I supposed to go for the... Uh, for the last one? I think you could walk up there, so I think you just take the blue Pikmin and... I think that's what you do. Bum, bum, bum. <sighs> oh, here we go. Yeah, you go up this log, which is, doesn't make any sense to me. Right? Oh, no, you don't. No, it, you do. Okay. That's exactly what I was supposed to do. Okay, yeah. Uh, Oh, 
Of course it's going that way. Um... All right, I think we got everything. All right, we got everything in the Forest of Hope. Awesome. Uh, so we got enough Pikmin to pick this thing up. Which I don't think I do, actually. Hang on. Nope, I do. All right. Just enough. <laughs> Barely, but... All right, I got the last of the parts. We are good to go. All right. Yeah, I think I better spend the rest of the day uh, picking up Pikmin. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I guess we're basically set to go for... Yeah, this might as well, might as well raise our Pikmin count since we have, like, lots of resources left uh, to exploit. It always sucks when, like, you have everything in any, every, any given area, and you sort of have to wait for the day to end. You can technically just end the day whenever, but it's like, eh, why would bother? When you can just... You're gonna run out... If you run out of Pikmin later, it's gonna be cause you more problems. I do tend to run out of Pikmin near the end uh, when you're fighting that final guy. That guy tends to be a nightmare. Uh, I mean, there are things you can do to make it easier, but it's like, yeah. suck at getting this, uh... I cannot believe... <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna ignore it. I don't, I don't give a shit about fighting that thing. Uh, that thing can just sit there. I don't care. Uh, I'm surprised it didn't come out and get it, get me one night. <sighs> I had other things to do, but all right. anyway... Uh, I'm just gonna wait for the day to end, honestly. Uh, da, 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 da. I love this game. Da, 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 da. I think it's good. We're probably not coming back here, so we might as well pick everything up. Mm 
Yeah, you know what? I think I am done with them. I think I am done playing this today. Um, we made plenty of progress. Uh, I'm pretty happy with how it how it's, uh, it's come, but um, I think I'm ready to play. Um, should I start Luigi's Mansion? I might as well, right? Hmm. Yeah, should I keep playing or should I? Uh... If I had, like, been dreaming nothing but this, but, like, mm. yeah, I think I'm ready to play something else. Um, yeah, what do I have here? I guess I have Soul Calibur 2. I guess I can flap in some Soul Calibur 2 and play it for a while. Uh... Yeah, I'd, lo I'd love to keep playing, but yeah, I think I am ready to play something else. Uh, all right. Yeah, next time I'll finish it. Uh, some Soul Calibur and then some Double Dash. Uh, I would love to, I'd love to be able to finally beat Double Dash, but I mean, um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm a little bit too tired to do that. I think I am about ready to end the stream. So yeah, Soul Calibur 2 was, uh, for a really long time, one of my favorite fighting games ever. And I think it's starting to show its age now, but back then it really was something special. Uh, in fact, I still really, really like it, in spite of everything. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think I'm going to raise the difficulty. Uh, how about hard? Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't think I want to try to run through arcade mode a couple of times. Let's see, I guess we should start with uh, my boy... Raphael. And God. So yeah, I, um... I, I still like this game a lot more in Soul Calibur 6. I think it... I think it's way better. I didn't like Zhang Hua as a kid, but as an adult, like, she's really appealing to me. Alright, here we go. Okay, uh... I mean, I, I guess I, I did... I mean, I guess I always thought she was okay, but here, here we go. Uh, yeah, I've not played in a while. I am so out of practice. All these voice clips are just ingrained in my memory. I just love them so much. I... I don't know. There's just something about this game that I just, I just love. Just I. Uh, I guess I never got good at it, but um. That bitch. I just love everything about this, like the historical fiction aspect, the, uh, the weapons from all over the world, like it just, it just, it's such a great fighting idea. Well, it was, I should say. Damn, how the mighty have fallen. Yes, Keelik, you're gonna have to fight. It's a fighting game after all. I don't know what this stage is, but it looks awesome. Like a, a pit, like just a platform in the middle of ruins. That's awesome. I love it. It makes no sense, but boy, I love it. How do we get here? I don't give a shit. We're fighting. I just love the animations. I love everything about this. This probably is like. This came out like, what, 2003? This is probably one of the best. Uh, GameCube games of that era. Oh, it was 2002, 2003, I think. Or was it 2004? Wow. I'll have to check. When did this come out? not very good at this. I mean, I guess I never got good at it. Um, I mean, I was able to win Master Mode, but uh, Weapon Master Mode, but I think it was because like Link is so broken um, with the AI. He sucks against like actual human-controlled players, but like because of his the way his moves work, he's able to like exploit ring outs really, really easily. Um, he's great at that, which is great against Weapon Master Mode, which is uh, typically really gimmicky. Um, I love this game, but boy, have I played it to that. I've done everything there is to do in it. Um, My girl Cassie! Damn, I love Cassandra so much. I think, like, I saw this character for the first time, and I was like, you know what? This is what, like, a really beautiful woman looks like. She's, like, the ideal for, like, most people, I imagine. It's kind of weird, because she's not to my preference, but, like, when I saw her for the first time, I was like, yeah, that's what beautiful women look like. Um, it always stuck out to me, I think. I could tell she was, like, one of the main characters, like, right off the bat. I don't know how. Uh, I mean, I guess, like, everyone in Soul Calibur is, like, some degree of importance. But, like, Cassandra kind of, uh, just... you 
Yeah, should I start switching characters? I'm not sure how long I'll be playing. Yeah, I just love her costumes. I just... Uh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Cassie. Uh, oops. What is her type? It's, it must be not be anyone in the cast. Uh, because she says that to everyone. Like, does Cassandra ever get married? There's no, ra there's no way she wouldn't get with Lane. Like, everyone... Like, let's, let's be real. She would be with Link. Like, if she had a chance, she would be with Link. Um. Yeah, I think I'm ready to end the stream. I'm really enjoying this game. Um, I want to stream it some more and, like, maybe show off some of the, the classic stuff. But, um. Yeah, I think I'm, re I think I'm ready to stop, unfortunately. I, I love the game, but... <sighs> yeah, I think I've, uh, I need some exercise, I think. Alright, so, uh, yeah, thank you all for tuning in. Um, 